La donna è mobile, qual più mal vento, muta d'accento e di pensiero. Sempre un amabile, leggia droviso, in pianto in riso, e menzognero. La donna è mobile, qual più mal vento, muta d'accento. Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She's a bit shy. Guys, a few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer supported, you know, YouTube demonetization, all that. So I make nearly nothing from ad revenue. So please consider sending a super chat. All super chats will be displayed in stream overlay. I will read all super chats $20 and up. Eric, can you pull it up? Uh, yeah, $20 and up. $50 and up triggers TTS. That is text to speech. See all other triggers in the description. We've got air horn, we've got fireworks. So, uh, yeah. Also, if you don't want YouTube to take their cut, YouTube takes 30%. You can donate through Streamlabs. It will be treated just like a super chat. Also, I just wanted to apologize. Sorry for the late start here, guys. Uh, we had a couple of little, uh, technical issues behind the scenes before the show started, a couple uh, couple flakes, so, you know, dealing with it. But uh, so thank you guys for your patience. Guys, we also have channel memberships. To become a channel member, hit that join button. You get a cool badge next to your name in chat. We have six different tiers of support, a ton of perks. We will shout out anyone who joins or gifts memberships. Lowest tier is just $5 a month. You can also gift memberships too, guys. We're also live on Twitch right now. Guys, do me a favor. Right now, pull up another tab. Go to twitch.tv slash whatever. The link is also in the description. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. If you guys can't catch the full shows, we have a clips channel. Link for that is in the description. Go subscribe. And uh, Eric, do we have the Instagram tab pulled up? Is that? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, if you guys... Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> okay. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. That's our Instagram, by the way. Okay, cool, guys. Oh, also, today's episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is an online service, yeah, online service that helps men get access to chewable tablets that helps them achieve stronger and longer lasting erections. So everything is done online. So there's no awkward, you know, in-person visit to the doctor and you get the medication shipped direct to you. So there's no awkward pharmacy visit either. Guys, get your first month of Blue Chew for free with my code, whatever. All you gotta do is chew it and do it. Without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, and occupation. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Maya. Um, I'm 18 years old. I am a food server, and I'm currently a student at SBCC. Hi, my name is Tram. I'm turning 25, and I run an e-commerce business. I'm Amanda, I'm 18. I work as a hostess at an Italian restaurant and I also go to SBCC. What do you two study? Um, I'm currently a business major, but I'm thinking of switching to communications because I'm wanting to transfer to UCSB in two years. So hopefully everything goes good with that. Uh, I'm studying kinesiology. Okay, and what's your e-commerce business? Uh, Etsy. Etsy? Mm -hmm. So like you make trinkets and jewelry or? Uh, digital products and apparels. 
Like digital porn? Digital products oh, and a paper. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm Sydney. I'm 22, and I'm a student, but I'm an actress and a server right now. Where do you go to school? Uh, the City College. What do you study? I'm an actress, acting major. Acting major. Okay. Tara. I'm Tara. I'm a fourth year at UC Santa Barbara studying philosophy and psychology. Um, and I also work as a server. Age. As well. And I'm 21. What do you study at UCSB again? Philosophy and psychology. Philosophy. Yes. Got it. Cool. Guys, everyone's Instagrams are in the description. By the way, thank you to our member. I believe that was Shane. Let me look. Looks like it doubled up or something. I don't know. Thank you, Shane, for becoming a member. Appreciate it, man. Okay, so we're going to go around the table one more time. Current relationship status and longest relationship. Go ahead. Um, I'm currently single. Very single. Very um, single. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no intentions of getting a new relationship anytime soon. Uh, my longest relationship was two and a half years, and I did just ended uh, before I left for college in June. So yeah, no, no more relationships for quite a while. Okay, no more relationships for quite a while. What when you say very single? What does that mean? It means I have no intentions of having any relationships anytime soon. What if a great guy comes along still? There's, I mean, how many great, great, genuinely great guys are there at UC Santa Barbara? There's a lot. You're just probably overlooking them. Oh, maybe. That's, that's valid, <laughs> honestly. But I don't know. I just don't really see myself getting in a relationship anytime soon. Um, Why? I don't, it's not like the, my previous one ended like anything bad. Like he wasn't a bad guy or anything. He just wasn't the best boyfriend. And I just don't really want to... Um, go through that again um, why did he dump you oh no i dumped him no no no. Why i dumped him yeah um i don't know it was just like we it ended because of college but it's just like i feel like this happens to a lot of girls like you realize afterwards like maybe that relationship wasn't as great as you thought it was while you were in it so it's like when you have people congratulating you after you break up with someone you know maybe that's a little eye-opening that oh that was not the best relationship why wasn't he the best boyfriend um he wasn't <laughs> he just wasn't enough for me if that makes sense like he needed to work on himself a lot more um before i feel like he could have been the best boyfriend that he could have been because he wasn't a bad guy at all he was a sweet guy sweet he guy just, yeah totally he treated you nicely nicely yes you said he's not enough in there goes the poster. Oh. oh. That was planned, by the way. That was planned. Well, welcome to the Whatever Podcast, where we are the uh, pinnacle of professionalism. I'm pretty sure one of these other ones will go, too. But uh, <laughs> um, so uh, continuing on, <laughs> Wait, I, got, I feel like I got something for that. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, so. Uh, you said he was a sweet guy, nice guy, but totally. he wasn't enough. What does that mean? Um, like I said, like he just needed to work on himself a lot. Um, I feel like he didn't have any like really like goals like going for him. Um, since I dumped him though, like he's been doing a lot better. Like he joined the um, what's it called? He joined the Marines. Uh, I don't know. I think he's doing better Kilo's from what I. Eighty six donated fifty dollars. <laughs> Kiki, I know you're cute, but stop hogging all the attention. Give the guests some space to express themselves. Oh, whoops. Uh, yo, Halo Spartan, thank you, man. And by the way, thank you for using Streamlabs to do that TTS instead of YouTube. YouTube takes a cut. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you want more of your patronage to go to the show, uh, consider the link for that is in the description. Exact same triggers and all that. What, what is going on with my hair? You guys see that? Hold on. Do you guys see this thing? You guys see that? What is that? The Ooh. fuck? Okay, anyways, I guess I'll leave it. Hold on. Okay. Um, your boyfriend's not enough. Why is he not enough? It, um, or was he not enough? He wasn't very in touch with his emotions. He didn't know how to respond. Like, and it, was, it just made things tough. And I'm not saying that I expect every single person that I come across to, you know, be perfect at responding, but it's just, he was just exceptionally bad at it. Like really bad at it 
Is there anything else? No, he was he was a great person. Like he's really nice. It was just mm-hmm. like the like emotional aspects to it sometimes weren't necessarily what I needed in a relationship. So again, there was no there was no beef or anything. Like he, I okay. he still writes me letters all the time. But he writes you letters. He does. When you say letters, do you mean Instagram DMs? No, I mean like he writes like letters on from parchment the and quill. Not <laughs> parchment and quill, but like on like pen and paper in his very sloppy handwriting. Um, that's not is, why I don't. Is he him. left-handed? He is. Actually. What a fucking legend. <laughs> W's in the chat for yeah. for the fellow lefties. Unite. Honestly, I think um, left-handed people need reparations. <laughs> reparations? What do you mean by that? Well, like left-handed people are pretty much the most discriminated against group of people what? I don't ever. Hate on left-handed people. Ever. I've never hated on a left-handed. Scissors? Person. Have you tried to use scissors with your left I think, hand? I think it's so not fair. I don't. Think it's, it's messed fair up. At all. It fucking is. desks and shit are all it's scuffed anyways okay so <laughs> we're gonna come back to the very single thing we'll, t- we'll talk a little bit about uh we'll do- we'll talk a bit about that so current relationship status longest relationship single like a dollar bill single <laughs> like what um like a dollar bill what <sighs> shit what is the uh... okay you're single like a dollar bill what is the <sighs> Okay, well, um, and longest relationship? Uh, longest relationship would be two years. Two years, okay. Why are you single like a dollar bill? <laughs> um, I'm pretty picky. To be honest, my last ex, he w- all he did was play video games and he was not ambitious. <laughs> and I had to tell him, hey, like, you know, you have a lot of, you know, experience in the food industry. Why don't you, you know, make it, I don't know, build your own business or work for a higher end restaurant? And he was like, no, I'm good, I'm making minimum wage. And I'm good at playing video games and, you know, just oh, like living comfortably. I, I kind of remember where I was going. So you said single as a dollar bill, but you're Vietnamese, correct? Yeah. Single as a dong? That's the Vietnamese dong. currency, yeah. right? How yeah. do you say it? How do you pronounce it? Dong. Oh, isn't it spelled mm-hmm. D-O-N-G? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're single as a dong. Pretty okay, much. hold on. <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. right. I'll be here all night, guys. a real knee slapper right okay. there. Okay. Um, so, okay. <laughs> so, when was your last relationship? My last relationship. Or when did it end? My last relationship was a year ago. Okay. A year and a half ago, actually. Okay. So, you two, we have very single and single as a dollar bill. What about you? I'm single. I'm pretty single, but... What? Pretty... Okay, pretty single. We have some very interesting answers here. You're pretty <laughs> single. Okay, so you're currently sleeping with someone. Um, but you're not in a relationship with them. I guess yes. I'm. I'm. Can you having, tilt the mic down? Oh, that's fine. You're fine. You're fine. Continue. I'm having fun, but like I know like where I am, and I know like my s- emotional state right now, and I'm just experimenting, and I'm just like, I know well enough to not like talk to anybody because I don't want to like personally hurt them. Just because like, like I think the last relationship I was in was like three months long so like I don't know I'm pretty like emotionally intelligent to know that like if I need to get into a relationship right now and I'm not right now did did you say your longest relationship Mm mm-hmm okay Uh, so pretty single you're experimenting right now what do you mean by that with ethical non non monog excuse (laughs) I can never (laughs) say that ethical non monogamy is that what you're talking about I don't know what that is it's where you're seeing multiple people but you're kind of upfront about it sure okay yeah the term is enm ethical non-monogamy okay so you're seeing multiple couple guys right now a couple girl are you i i know i'm just i'm just straight okay yeah so a couple guys though you're seeing yeah how many guys are you seeing um that's classified that's classified that is spill, classified. spill the tea let's hear it i'll tell you how many guys i'm seeing <laughs> oh yeah how oh, many yeah. <clears throat> Seven. Seven. That's right. You see what that? are the names? You see that? Everybody's been asking. What does the seven on your lapel mean, Brian? It means hey, I'm Martin seeing seven dudes. Fifty dollars. She doesn't know Thank what you, reparations Martin. means, but guarantee she's a registered ardent Democrat. Take your <laughs> selfies in the light of the asteroid. Oh, <laughs> Martin. Hey, uh, thank you for the soup chat. Uh, here, I'll send the asteroid right now. All right. Oh, whoa. What? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, thank you, Martin, appreciate it, man. Um, okay, so how many guys are you seeing? 
That's classified. Can you give us a range? Like, is it three, four, three to five? A baker's dozen? Two. Oh. Wait. Is that... Stop the cow. You being honest? Yeah, I'm being okay, honest. two guys. Just two. Okay, two guys, sure. All right. Sydney, what about you? Um, I'm single, and my last relationship was over a year ago. Okay. By the way, guys, we're going to be doing a dating app review. Um, <laughs> so we will pull up their, some of the girls' dating apps here, and we'll do kind of a little review here. should be fun. Um, okay. And then, Tara, what about you? Um, I'm currently single, and my longest relationship was a year or so, and it ended six months ago. Okay. Eric, can you close the door? It's a bit windy. Um, so just going back to you two, actually, well, to everyone. So this whole single thing, right? Like, what do, I kind of wonder what single even means nowadays, you know? By the way, is that a hickey? Oh, no, I have eczema. How yeah. are you going to call her just like what? so blunt like that I shit? Is I promise, guys, I have eczema. It's, I deal with it a lot. It's really... It's it true. Sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Um, so just Everyone going back to... Everyone always asks me that. Everyone always thinks it's a hickey, and it's not. I'm like, I just have a skin Stop thing. Stop the cow. I, oh, come on. <laughs> that was uncool. So, okay, you, um, so you guys are both single. So, and I, th what I was arriving at is, you know... Single is kind of this nebulous term nowadays. What does being single really mean? Um, so you're very single, but like you're dating, right? Like there's maybe some guys in the picture. Or... Yes, definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, is there kind of just how many? How many? What you got a roster? Or you got a <laughs> you got a bench? What what are you working with? You can expose. I mean, okay, there was, for a really long time, I was only seeing one guy, and it was, like, casual, but it's just because I didn't feel the need to be, like, getting with other people, because, like, I, like, he's good enough, so it was, like, whatever. Sure. Um, however, he has since been, and I don't know if you caught us talking about that earlier, he has since been unadded and unfollowed on Instagram for reasons I don't want to get into, but... Mm -hmm. um, I mean, after that, like, sure, like, I've been on my little hinge binges and everything, but, I mean, I don't really, like, we can get more into this, like, later, but dating apps, like, I don't really consider, like, they're not dating apps, they're games. Like, it's not, I don't. What do you mean? Like, they're games? I don't, I don't use them to, like, ever meet up with these guys. It's just, like, a hot or not. Like, it's a fun game. Like, yes or no. Do you scroll with it your, with your friends, for example? Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. We, like, sit on the couch and we'll, like, be like, oh, my God, like, do you think he's cute? No. Oh, my God, no. Or yes. And it's just a fun little, fun little time. So who here is on a dating app or has ever been on a dating app? Show of hands. Okay. Or has ever been on dating app? Well, let's say app. who, yeah, okay. And then who's currently on a dating app? Show of hands. Okay. So um, have you guys... Have you ever met up with someone from a dating app? Yes, that was the guy that I was... Ended up dating. Just a Wait, little... No, 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 not dating. No, 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 no. We were not dating oh, at oh, all. Ex excuse <laughs> me. Correction. Not dating. Okay, so... And were you... Um, but that's the only guy you've met from a dating app? No. It's okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not judging you. Just I'm... No. Okay, this is... The, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. People meet up. It's a dating app. You meet up with people. That's actually the... I don't think it's anything to be really ashamed of. The vast majority of people are meeting online nowadays, so super, super normal. Okay, so, uh, okay, dating app, dating app, dating app. So, have you ever met up with a guy from a dating app? I have. What about you? Uh, I have a couple times. Sydney? Yeah, I have really good experiences from it. Okay. T Dog? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's her, actually, my bad. Oh. <laughs> Yes. yes. Oh, okay. I was waiting for that. Okay, cool. So we will do the dating app review in a little bit. So let me see the other thing I wanted to go on. Oh, okay. So originally, originally you two were going to come on the show. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Um, you two were going to come on the show Sunday. What, what happened guys? We, we missed you. We missed you guys. I'm just gonna say it. I got yeah. blackout drunk at a danger, and I again, I profusely apologize. That was not my intentions, but um, yeah, I 
wish I could tell you all the fun I had, but I don't remember most of it. Oh, hold yeah. on. Derek Manx one donated fifty dollars. Thank you, man. Why oh why is the pot calling the kettle black? Single that's growing the world. Is self respect in short supply? Remember we are not the same. Good guys aren't out having sex <laughs> oh with everything God. in sight. Body count matters. Okay. Here. Your response, I believe this is addressed to one or two of you. Do you guys have a response to Derek Man X one? Good guys aren't out having sex with everything in sight. Mm, I, I, sure, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't really understand it, honestly. I don't honestly. understand what he just said. So. Do, you, do you have a response to him? I don't really understand what he just said. I, it didn't really make sense but to tell me. Us, but, okay, yeah. moving on. Tell us about your blacked out was it president's or it was president's day yesterday yeah right? it was your blacked out sunday it's actually it actually worked out because it was good we had you guys on this show because we have a smaller house today so uh but yeah, tell us so you guys you guys uh you were going to be here on sunday but you know <laughs> got blackout drunk yeah. danger um it was were you fun. you were both out together i, I wasn't blackout but i did fall asleep but we were totally planning to come. But no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were. I was. I literally woke up on the couch. It was dark outside, and Amanda was sitting next to me, like on the other couch that we have. And we, we were watching TV, and I'm like, Amanda, the podcast. She's like, Maya, we already missed right. it. I was like, Oh shit. Okay. It was like eight by the time we. She woke up. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Um. It and it actually worked out perfectly because. Uh, yeah, we had a pretty full house that day. So, um, actually, on the semi related to this topic, uh, I hope. <laughs> well, two things. So we had a girl who was going to be on the show. Um, we had a girl who was going to be on the show. She's in the thumbnail. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to change the thumbnail because she flaked kind of last minute. I'll ch So guys, I hope I, I'm not like misleading you. Uh, and she reached out to come be on the show. She's like a big TikToker, like got 7 million um, TikToks. We're going to try to reschedule with, with her, but um, I, we just didn't have time to change the thumbnail. So if anybody, like I, I hope you don't feel like I've clickbaited you she was going to be on the show her talent company reached out to book her on the show but something came up so she, we're going to try to reschedule but um yeah i'll change the thumbnail after the show um and then the other thing is uh am i for the title of the video so in last show i jokingly i don't know if it was jokingly i jokingly proposed to one of the girls and she accepted so technically i'm engaged but is it chat? Is it? Am I? Is that clickbait? Am I? Am I abusing? Or is it kind of just in good fun? Chat. <laughs> is it? Am I abusing? Is it a little clickbaity? I don't know. But anyways, um, we'll probably change the title after the show. But yes, I did engage to her. Conveniently enough, I. Um, I'm holding on to the ring because she's very forgetful. You know, she has uh, uh what's it called? What's that? What's that thing where you forget a lot? Alzheimer's no the other one amnesia. amnesia yeah she has amnesia so like you know I'm holding it uh, safe anyways okay so let me get a couple super chats here and uh, and just a reminder guys also I do want to get Eric can you pull up the chat the normal chat so I can see it if you need to star anything that's fine all super chats will be displayed in stream overlay I will read super chats 20 and up 50 and up triggers TTS I have received some of your guys's um, feedback about the TTS and that it's very distracting. Uh, on one hand, I want to provide value to the people that support the show and enable us to continue, you know, running a show and, you know, it's pretty expensive to be doing this whole operation. Um, and, you know, like I said, we're demonetized on YouTube. Uh, you know, we've got a couple, we've, this is only our second sponsored show. Um, so we really do rely on the patronage of, of our viewers. So I want to provide value where I can to the people that want to contribute to the show. However, I also acknowledge, and I see the comments, I read the comments that TTS, uh, it, it sort of does interrupt the flow of the show. So I chat, I'm reading the chat right now. If you guys want to share your thoughts on the TTS, one thing that I was considering was trying to, and I don't want this to come off as like, a money grabber, me being greedy, but perhaps as a way to limit the frequency with which TTS interrupts would be by boosting the TTS trigger to like something higher. I don't know if that would resolve the problem, but um, I don't know. I like, I'm fine. I, it's not like I'm fine with it at 50, but it, it, a lot of people are like 
Brian, it's interrupting the show. It's interrupting the show. So let me know your guys' thoughts on the TTS. So yeah, um, maybe higher, but like, I don't want to come off like I'm being greedy, but like, I obviously want to provide value to you guys. And I think the TTS, sometimes, it, yes, it's definitely can be interrupting, but it's also, sometimes it's fun. It's funny too. So anyways, moving the show along here, guys. And I do, and when you, don't get me wrong, those of you who do the TTS, I'm super appreciative of your support. Um, I hope I haven't discouraged you from, from wanting to, uh, you know, interact with us. And Bryce, if you are in the chat, we will have you, we'll call you in in probably about, an, let's aim for like 9 p.m. Pacific. We do have a call in for tonight's show. Okay, after that thoroughly dull monologue I just presented, let us continue. So, wait, did you tell us about your blacked, it wasn't blacked out Sunday, but it was, uh, oh. did, you, did you guys have a little afternoon delight oh we were offered coke on the way I to the danger <laughs> okay just that sounds like a typical yeah. isla vista sunday you know no i've never like i've never had anyone just like offer us coke like just for the heck of it like we were this guy okay we got to the address our uber dropped us off and he was like hey what you guys want some fireball like they were playing die outside and i was like yeah, I want some fireball. And so he had like the little shooters, you know? And mm -hmm. so it's like, everything's sealed. Like we're not getting, you know, like roofied or anything. Cause I actually just happened to a friend of ours the other day. Um, not the other day, Yikes. it was like a couple weeks. Yeah, no, that was scary to hear about. But, um, and so I'm just like chatting it up with him, just, you know, casual. <laughs> oh shit. Cheeks, thank you, Even man. Cheeks donated $100. Here is a controversial question for the panel. Would your fathers approve of your promiscuity in your young years instead of waiting for just one guy that is experienced to settle with before you hit a wall later in your late 20s slash early 30s? Um, <laughs> okay, so would your dad approve of promiscuity? If your dad, I, and, I mean, that's, make, that's making some assumptions, but oh. Smoggington donated oh. $50. If things don't work out with my courtship of Kiki, they think could totally join the team. There's currently a roster spot open. Thickney? That's still a thing. I thought I thought we moved past the nickname. The Thickney thing? <clears throat> yeah. No, I th I think you've actually further, uh, you know, locked it down as your name now that you've said that. It's like the Streisand effect. I don't know if you've heard of that. Like no. if you address something okay. in an effort to hide it, it just okay makes it worse never again do you do you have a response to him uh, okay so um i have an interesting response to thickney um, or the previous one to the to the one that was asked about um the dad thing whatever like would your dad be proud sure or actually let's save you for okay. after once we have you go first go ahead um as we'll explore later when we see the whole like the hinge thing, my relationship with my dad is not very good, so I don't care what he thinks. Sorry. Okay. Um and you, are your dad and mom are they still together or separated? No, they're they divorced when I was like two. Okay, got yeah. it. Uh what what about you? What do you think? So the question was, would my dad approve um <clears throat> like yeah, it, like of, having like being like being a hoe basically? Ba yeah, basically. No. Instead of like waiting for like your twenties or thirties or something, no. I don't know. He would want me to like you know find a great guy and just stick by him mm -hmm. instead of like you know being a hoe and just you know sleeping around. Okay, got it. Yeah, I agree. Obviously, whose father wouldn't care about that? Like, sure. obviously, my father cares, you know. But like, I'm also my own person, and I know like myself well enough to not like get into a dangerous situation or like get pregnant or any of those like horrible problems obviously but you know i just i try to do it without like you know with carefree you know i'm still young you know i want to like experiment have fun but also be safe at the same time sure. like i'm i really don't I don't know i'm not like a sex fiend like every single day like i don't need sex all the time so like if that's what they're trying to get at like uh, but that's my opinion okay can we get a tattoo check by the way you got some interesting tattoos on your arm oh, there. yeah um I what have is an, that one i have an eight ball right here okay. and then i have three playing cards oh, on my all arm. sevens whoa yeah whoa. Sevens. look at, look at all sevens like mm. okay um <laughs> any other tattoos or is that it um i have one on my rib right here but it's like a small heart 
Okay. What's the seven one? What is what is that? The sevens. Um. So my family. Wait. Can you scoot this way? Just we can't. Yeah. yeah. So my family, we grew up playing like cards all the time. So mm -hmm. I wanted to get like playing cards. Um, seven 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 is my mom's like lucky number. She thinks it's like really lucky for some reason. Um, and then I wanted to get one for each of my family members. Okay. So like this would be like my dad and then my mom and then my brother. Okay. Oh. DRB underscore 84. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. $50. Ladies, by what age would you want to get married? Well, we'll get that as soon as we just go around the table on our previous uh, TTS. But thank you so much. We'll get to that right after that. Go ahead, Sydney. Um, honestly, like, I don't have that type of conversation with my father. Like, we're pretty, like, open and, like, we have conversations with each other. And yeah. he knows, like, my dating life. But I'm not having those conversations with my dad, sorry. Tara. <laughs> okay, some people might find this really <clears throat> weird, but after I had sex for the first time, I literally scheduled like a dinner to go with my dad to, to tell him because we're just, oh, wow. That's so nice. <laughs> just cause we're really close. And I was like, mm -hmm. I feel like someone wise and responsible in my life should know about this because it's like a big, life thing i don't know and so i i never told my mom like i've never explicitly talked about sex with my mom ever but yeah after i had sex for the first time i like see i didn't go to dinner to like tell my dad and he was like <laughs> he was like was it safe was it like were you i don't know he did and he oh, was like and then he was like okay now i'm ready for can we like order food already i'm hungry yeah and then that was it. <laughs> see i did that with my mom like i went out with my mom somewhere and i like had that conversation with her and was like open about it but yeah i told my dog after i lost my virginity oh, yeah. perfect yeah was that like what a year ago or what what'd my dog say yeah. he was like brian you fucked up <laughs> i could see it you fucked no i'm kidding um okay so the previous tts was at what age do you want to get married why don't you go ahead when i was little i was like 24 or i'm not getting married but now that's like that's dumb so i'm thinking maybe like 28 -ish? 28 okay yeah. Actually, I think that's the average age most women get married. So really? that's, yeah, at least nowadays. So I think that sounds about right. Go ahead. Yeah, I would agree with her, like 28. Okay. Yeah, probably like 27 to 29 years old. Okay. Yeah. I don't really have an age on it. I've never really thought about that too much. So, I mean, anywhere from 26 to 30, I'd say. Sure. Tara? Probably 25 to 27. Okay. And everyone here, I mean, the question assumes you want to get married. Does it, yeah. show of hands, does everyone here want to get married at some point? It's okay if you don't, that's fine. Okay, and also just really quick, kind of related to this. Do you want children? Perhaps obviously not now, some of you are young, but at some point, do you want kids? Definitely, yeah. I, okay. I've always seen myself as like a maternal, like I have a lot, a lot of maternal instincts. Like I definitely want to be a mom. Not yet, but definitely. Oh. Sam Skills Super Chat. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it, man. According to Study Finds, Inge is the best dating app. But yep. have you heard of the Thursday app? Only available in London and New York, but it only functions on Thursdays. Is that a good idea? Yeah, I heard about that one. That's, um, I, I believe Hinge is actually responsible, or at least the company that does Hinge is responsible for Thursday. Um, is it, is it only, so it's only active on Thursday. That's not bad. That's kind of a, a rather novel idea. And it probably encourages you, like, it's only active on one day, like, okay, let's make plans for this weekend, Friday, Saturday. That's kind of cool, but it's kind of niche. I don't, well, it's niche in the, I don't know, but it's, I heard about it like two or three years ago. So it's still only available in London and what did he said, New York? Mm hmm. That's a long time to still be only in two locations. So they're testing that. Dude, God. what the fuck, boys? What is this? Hold on. Yo. <laughs> help. Yo, help me. Tara, can you like just put, put your hands on my head for like a minute and just like apply pressure? Just get some water on it. Oh, or no, wear a hold hat. On. You're going to fuck my hair no. up. What the fuck? Get out of here, Tara. You're <laughs> fucking my shit up. You're making it worse. God damn. Okay. Sorry. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, moving along. Uh, so, do you want kids? Uh, I want two kids, two or three kids. Sounds nice. 
Yeah. Kids? I want like two to four. Two to four. Okay. Sydney. I don't think so. And if I did, I'd want to adopt. I wouldn't want to have any my own. That might, but you want to get married, right? I mean, I, yeah, I would like to, but again, like I'm. If it doesn't happen. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've. Because yeah. that, that, if you do want to get married, that could, and you kind of want kids, but you might want to adopt, that, that might be a roadblock. I know uh, that I would want to adopt. I wouldn't want. You don't want to push a no. football out of your mm, I'm hoo-ha. good. I'm good. That I sounds, know that, I know sounds that for painful. a fact. Mm-hmm. Sounds painful. I know for a fact I'd rather adopt than have my own. Okay. Yeah. Tara, what about you? I want lots of kids. Yes. I think about it. I think about it a lot. Like the, I don't know. I don't know. How excited will be to like hug them. I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure you're not okay, high? <laughs> I swear to God you're high tonight, but I could be wrong. I'm okay. 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 Cool. All right. So by the way, guys, thank you for all the, uh, couple memberships came through. Eric, were there some gifted memberships or, oh no, it was just awesome. Yo, awesome. Thank you for becoming a member, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the family. Okay. What is your most controversial dating take or opinion related to dating? Oh, man. Um, can we come back to me? I'm not sure yet. Yeah, sure. We'll come back to you. Do you have anything, oh, T-Dog? Oh. That's your name, right? T-Dog? Call That's whatever you want. A- anything? <laughs> anything. Can I call you Gertrude? <laughs> uh, I okay. Know. What does that mean? Wait, what? What does that mean? Gert- oh, Gertrude. It's just an old person name. Oh, that's like Star Wars or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely Star Wars related, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> uh, I'm still thinking about my answer. Okay. I have one. All right, go ahead. Sit, no, sit go there. ahead. You oh, do next. you have one? No, go ahead. Okay. It really pisses me off. Just like, so I have like Tinder and I have Hinge. I just got Hinge a few days ago because Tinder was very just like hookup y, and I don't do that. So I got Hinge. But before I got hinged, like, obviously on Tinder, it would literally, like, the opening line for most guys would be, like, they're, like, linked to their Snapchat or, like, linked to their, just, like, it wouldn't even be on Tinder. Or, excuse me, on Tinder. But it wouldn't even be, like, a, hey, what's up, how you doing, just, like, straight up, like... Here's my they, contact card. Yeah. yeah, are they like, bots? They just send or is it legit? Cards. No, it was legit people. Legit. But it, like that, just like honestly, just like really like pisses me off because I want to be like, hi, how are you? Like, hello, like open with something else instead of just like straight up like here's my Snapchat because it's kind of like okay, so when are you coming over? When are we hooking up? When are we like? And I'm just kind of like you can't even fucking like say hello first. That bothers me. That's about it. And, and memes and memes, memes. <laughs> when there's a fucking meme drives me crazy i don't mind a good meme though if it's funny if it's for me a meme is like the fish picture for girls you know mm -hmm, yeah see a meme is that for me Mm -hmm. i'd rather have the fix the pit the fish the thickney (laughs) (laughs) i'd I'd rather have the fish picture than a fucking meme okay so how many guys like is it does it really happen that frequently i got it like yesterday like some guy who's just like, hey, what's up? And I was like, oh, at work, what about you? And it's just like chilling. And then Snapchat. And I was like, mm. no. And then he insulted me because I was just like, nah. And he insulted me. He's just like, okay, that's fine. Like I was trying to get past this. He's like, but your blonde friend in the ne- picture next to you is a baddie. And I was like, so because I said oh, no yeah. about the Snapchat. Yo, that's what a fucking legend. But like, I was just like, I respect like trying to like get at my friend because I Ooh, was like, good no. Good question. But. Yeah, yeah, the friend. Okay, friend photo. Wait, so one, so, okay, with the Snapchat thing, by the way, I don't use Snapchat, so I don't really like, <laughs> hold on. It's Ian okay. Cheeks donated $50. Another controversial question. Would you guys ever date one of the alphabet people? Like a T. <laughs> if you say yes. Check yourself. Oh, cheeks. Okay, you're gonna get us canceled, buddy. Um, what's an alphabet what? people? What? I don't. Under, I don't understand. Oh, you're, I yeah, think he's gonna get. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know what they're talking. About. Uh, cheeks. Just a little. Just, just a little more careful. But um, okay. Would you? Here. Okay. I'll ask. Would you? Da- would you date someone who's trans? Um, I, that's what he means by T. Probably not. But I don't know. I mean, if you're hot. I mean. Sure. Fuck no. Okay. I don't know. It'd be open up for discussion. I mean, like, if I really had, like, a connection with them, maybe, but, like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I I feel like I'm on the same boat. I'm leaning more towards no. Sure. But, yeah. 
Sarah? I'd say no, because of family, yeah, having family is important to me, so. Okay, so bringing back to, back to Snap, your big complaint is you're on Tinder, and the guys say hey, and then they immediately send you their Snapchat. Yeah. So I'm not on Snapchat. <clears throat> Is the implication with Snapchat, I always thought Snapchat was like for nudes, sending nudes. Not is so that... much anymore, personally. I mean, I mean, I don't think it is. I think it's like another like form of like big communication over anything, but. Luke. Um, but <laughs> I, I feel like Snap, that's where the messages disappear. So like, it get, doesn't it get they, a little more heated, I right? I mean, you can set them up to save now too. Per, and, like, perma I, or 24 hours? Yeah. You, oh, I mean, you okay. can save and. But I mean, I think Snapchat is more so just like a, like there's private stories and shit, but it's like, oh, like look at this dumb photo or like pictures of people partying and stuff. It totally could be for hooking up too. Sure. I'm a little rusty in that game, so I don't really know, but the fact that they just like send that link immediately, it was like driving me crazy. Okay. Yeah. And so just all the girls really quick on the Snap thing. So a guy matches with you on Tinder and like one of his first messages is trying to get your Snap. Is that like a bad thing? I, you look I down see on where it? she's coming from because it's like you're not even putting an effort into like what if I don't want to add you on Snapchat? What if I don't like our first conversation? Like there what was if not even not... a conversation. Exactly. exactly. Like that's I, I see why it's that's worse. frustrating. It's like, like you don't even heck? there's no effort at all. You're just going straight to add me on Snapchat. Why? I would say it's a deal breaker. <laughs> it's just <laughs> annoying. If a guy did that to me, I would like yeah, just it's immediately. straight up just annoying. Yeah. But Hinge, I don't mind. Hinge, I'm kind of liking. Like I have like some dates for Hinge coming. Like. Hinge is, Hinge is more of like the adult version of Tinder, if that makes sense. But I'm still learning Hinge. I just got it a few days ago. Okay. You have a few Hinge dates coming. What do you mean? Like I have like... How many do you have scheduled? Oh, shit. <laughs> two. Okay. That's fine. You have two dates scheduled. Yeah. And when did you download Hinge? Four days ago. Four days ago. When are, and when are your dates? What days? And also the location, so we can show up and make sure you don't get kidnapped. I'm kidding. I but uh, wet, wet, like uh, you got Friday, Saturday? This week. Back to back? This week. Back to back? Back to back as in day back like to back? Like Thursday, Friday? Yes. It's Thursday, Friday? Yes. Okay. Spencer, 3400 Thank you, Spencer. Appreciate it. $50. What's annoying to guys on dating apps is when girls have in their bio don't just say hey. Then when you attempt to be original, you don't even get a message back. Sorry, you get the bare minimum of a hey until you earn that conversation. I totally disagree with that. There are some guys that come on with the strongest riz like of all time. Like they will say the funniest thing and I'm like, okay, well I have to text him back now. So I don't think that that's true at all. Like you guys, some of the guys are actually like really funny and it's like those are the guys that I usually text back is like the ones that are, if, if I text them back, I'm terrible at replying. But it's like the ones that I do text are either just really hot or like they said something funny that caught my attention. What makes so. a guy hot? Really, really um, hot. You look Physic good. Physically, I'm Like babe status? No, no. They, uh... So, well, actually one thing. Can you pull that one up real quick, Eric? The, uh... Were you going scrolling up to find the other one that might have come through? Um, don't just say, hey. I mean, the other thing I would add to this, Spencer, is... Uh, oftentimes, like, so there's a dating app Bumble where the women have to message first. It's really interesting on Bumble, like girls on all the other dating apps will be like, if you just message a girl, hey, on another dating app, like that's not enough. Unless you're like really fucking Chad, good looking, right? But like if, if you just, you got if you've ever looked at a girl's uh, dating app inbox, it's fucking insane, dude. Like so many options. So yeah, you have to say more than hey. However, on Bumble, from my experience on Bumble as a guy, and I got, I got a lot of messages on Bumble, bruv. 95% of the messages are hey, how's it going? How are you? Some permutation of the following. So yeah, uh, it seems to be the case that when the shoe is on the other camel's back then I butchered that one yeah, okay bad, yeah. Fuck that one up. <laughs> okay so you have two dates back to back yes Thursday Friday you downloaded hinge four days ago yes did you did you have any other offers for any other dates that are kind of in the process of being scheduled N non no no concrete ones no okay 
That's pretty impressive. Thank you. Well, impressive in the sense that you downloaded the, the app four days ago and you already have two dates. Uh, to be fair, I was supposed to have one last week, but oh. he canceled on me because of work. He's like, can we reschedule? And then okay. That's pretty rare for guys to flake on girls. But. Honestly, though, I really, it was not attractive, but I respected it heavily because he like texted me like, the day before, and he's like, I would really love to meet you, but like, work is killing me. Can we schedule? Like, yeah. He, it was just mature. Yeah. Th I mean, that's, Alvin that's respectable. Yeah. Yo, cents. Alvin, thank you, man. Thickney complained about men giving their snap on dating apps, but men have to go through women giving their only fans on dating apps. <laughs> that's very true. They're that is very true. It, though. What's that? They're the ones paying for it. Yeah, you don't have it, to subscribe. So, like, no one's making you subscribe. You're yeah. typing in those bank account numbers, babe. Yeah, like, but nobody... Not her. But, Send them my way. But when a guy sends account. you your Snapchat, you're under no obligation to add him on Snap. However, you still find it annoying that they are doing this. And I would say the OnlyFans example is much more egregious than a guy wanting to add you on Snap. Because at least he has... It's not the wanting part. I don't mind them wanting to add me on Snap. My it's irritation... The effort. It's like literally there's no co no conversation. The first thing he does is just send us the link. Okay, so not cheeks enough effort. Yeah. Yo, Cheeks, thank you, man. You ladies need to meet real men out and about, such as beach, food market, cocktail lounge, when you're of age, public events. You guys have too many boys on the apps waiting for you guys to respond after matching and that is considered flaky slash fake. I agree with that, I honestly. I agree as Yeah, well. meeting people organically, I've found is like, significantly like better like i know what you look like first of all like there's no there's no secrets there and then it's like if you're a weirdo i can be like oh, bye but like on a dating app like it's you never know so yeah no i agree with that yeah i mean i agree with you guys too i think dating apps are not the ideal way to uh meet someone i think we would probably all agree here i mean i don't want to put any words in anyone's I mouth but hold on that obviously meeting organically is, you know, better than online. Go ahead, Tara. I think you guys should all delete all of your dating apps right now. Oh, actually, that could, yo, chat. Um, okay, what would it take for you guys to take out your phones right now and delete all your dating apps? Cash at me. No, 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 no money. <laughs> Just um, never mind. I mean, I so we not a super. I wasn't thinking like a super chat coming through. I was just thinking, what if everybody in the chat, if everybody in the chat puts, what what emoji should they put in the chat? Uh, cucumbers. <laughs> Will that? Would you guys do it? Will you delete your dating apps? Not for a bunch no. of random. I know. People. I don't know. But what, what, what about for yourselves though? What if I, I told don't you want you to. like damn one hundred percent? I would not. I would not mind. Have not like, I like a better dating experience. I like having my little experience. game that I get to go on at the end of the day though. Just yes. Yeah, yeah yes, but no, I would yes, argue no, that. Fun. I would argue oh, though that I got it. treating like dating as a game is just a bad habit. That I mean, probably it's not dating though. Like I'm not dating any of them. I'm I mean, not but up like that's where not arguing with you, but like I am like going on the dates. You know, like for me, it's not just a game. Honestly, I've been thinking about deleting it soon, just because it's distracting me. Like honestly, like I really don't need it. Like I don't. Yo, here's here's what everyone is gonna put in the chat. I want you guys to. Sorry, the cucumbers weren't doing it, but <laughs> here I'm gonna put it. Copy and paste my shit. Copy and paste the Lenny face boys. The Lenny face, copy and paste it. I'm gonna put it a bunch. I want you to spam this Lenny face, guys. Spam the Lenny face and they will delete their dating apps right now on the show. Official, whatever, 2023 dating app destruction hour. Spam Lenny face, guys. <laughs> this is going through. Um, okay, so um, before that chat, oh, go ahead, Tara. We could Oops. get to this later if we're still on this topic, but I also happen to have a I have a controversial dating mm. take well, that we can get to at some point. Yeah, we'll we'll come back to that. Um, did did people spam it? No, they're not really doing it. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> nice try, Tara. Though I thought that was good. That was good. Um, but you guys wouldn't be down to just delete it right now. The dating app. No, I don't have one. So. Sydney. No, I'm good. Amanda? Yeah. yeah. You, I'll oh, delete she'll it. delete it? Would you delete it right no. now? 
you got a couple pending it's, things in the works. I don't even go on them that often. I feel like that's an honorable mention. I don't even like open the apps that often. It's just like when I do, it's like I like having it there, but I don't I don't go on them that often. Right. I, and I recall earlier you said that you like to scroll with friends. Yeah. It's like a little with activity. A, with Amanda here. Do you guys scroll together? You guys are friends, right? We may have. Yes. We We're roommates. Have. Once or twice. have you guys ever matched with the same guy? Yes. Oh my oh my god. Yes. That's awkward. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Would you would you be upset if you match with the same guy and he's like hitting on both of you? Would that bother you or you would just accept like he doesn't know? He doesn't know. I, I don't okay. I wouldn't necessarily like be mad at anyone. I just kind of be like, oh, damn, because it's like, how is he supposed to know that we're literally roommates? Yeah. And there's um, there was this one guy that we, we, we live with five people in our house. He literally matched with every single one of us and was texting every single one of us. And we were laughing our ass off because it's like at the same time, <laughs> like, how do you not? OK, OK. For the most part, I understand that you don't know. Like you, there's how, how would you know? But if you go and follow all of our Instagrams, like the way he did, it's like, we clearly have photos together. Like, come on. Guys, yeah. guys know, can I say though? Like, awesome. guys know if it's, if the roles are reversed, right? So there's like five guys and they're all texting this one girl. They know they're all texting this one girl and they're kind of like, mm. make, not making a game out of it, but they, they all know. Not really, guys really don't talk about Oh no! Women the same way that men talk, or I don't, I don't that know. women talk about men. I worked for. No, let, well, I'll give you an example, yeah. right? So, okay, let's say you just hooked up with someone. Like, if a guy hooks up with a girl, and his buddies ask, "Hey, so how'd it go?" He'll be like, "It was good. It was cool. That's it." Right, but, I'm but not if a about girl hooks up with a guy, bro, within five minutes, her best friend knows all the intimate details. Yeah. Y'all share, y'all share way too much. I think that needs to change, but okay, go I'm ahead. just talking like DMing or like, like hitting on girls. Like guys talk about that to their friends and they'll like, they'll even like switch phones or like just, I don't know. Like guys talk about talking to girls and if they're talking to the same girl, they know and acknowledge that and it's not like a thing, you know? I suppose. I'm like super discreet about girls yeah, no. I date. Like my friends, they don't like, we pretty much have to be engaged for any of my friends to even know that I'm even talking to a girl. Mm. Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. For the ones that like you, or I mean, especially like for those like who use it more like not seriously for dating. Do you like, how does it make you feel to think about like, wh what do you think about the possibility of like a group of guys and their friends putting like standing around a Tinder thing and going like making a game of like hot or not. And like your profile being one of the ones that pops up but like, for guys, like a group of guys who are, I just wouldn't be surprised if they it. aren't already doing that. Yeah, what does it matter? Like, yeah, I really don't am personally to know like that doesn't affect me. Like it doesn't because I know. Seeing, yeah, you just see me to the screen. It's not that's like, also out there for anyone to screenshot, anyone to see, anyone to have a conversation about. Like, who cares at the end of the day? Yeah. Like, okay, so I just want to come back, or actually going back to this. So let's talk a little bit about sharing details. So. This is more so after you've hooked up with a guy for the first time. So after you've hooked up with a guy for the first time, what do you tell your girlfriend, your like someone you're close with that you might share that sort of stuff with? Honestly? Yeah, honestly. I sit them down on the couch and we debrief like the whole thing. T okay, so pretend I'm Amanda. <laughs> um, I don't know how to, um, hold on, let me get something here. Okay. So pretend I'm Amanda. That makes you Amanda. The cat You're food. irresistible and soft. The cat food. <laughs> I guess. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so you just you just hooked up with Gustavo and Campo. Sure. He's he's a UCSB the the he's the UCSB uh, soccer team captain. We don't have football at UCSB. Um, What are you asking me? Hey Maya, how'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you want me to? Oh. Role play. Um, I can't give you like the same energy that I would give her if I would like had just come home though. Like it's not, it's not, not the same Rule thing. Number seventy six, no excuses. Play with a champion. <laughs> do it. Um. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. 
Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Hey, Maya. <laughs> so how was it with, um, with Rupert? <laughs> Stop, we call our roommate that. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, how was it with Maximilian? Oh, Maximilian. It was so good. Yeah, no. Um, what, what would I normally say? I mean, I'd probably... Obviously, the, the first question is always, like, how big was it? Like, that's... That's the first? Yeah. That's, is that really always that's the first? That's not the first all what? the time. Not all the time. But, does, no. okay, does it always come up? It Sometimes. Rough. Sometimes. Rough. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Go, go on. Um, and then, like, just, like, how was it in general? Like, was he Wait, nice? question. When it comes... Oh, oh. Reed and Cheeks donated Thank $50. Thank you, Cheeks. Pick two of the three to gather data on the panel's standards. Six feet comes with a six-pack, six figures, or six inches. And what ethnicity with your two choices? I know what pick me wants. <laughs> okay. Uh, just because I'm, I'm on... We'll, we'll come back to this question, Cheeks. Um, yeah, we'll come back to it, but... Uh, Thank you, man. Um, so, oh, what is hold, what is thick me want? I'm just no, 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 no. We're moving on. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Besides the size of the phallus, do you also like go into detail about it? Like, well, it kind of sloped that way. Oh no, no. It sloped like this, and it was like. Are you, we don't notice no. that. Are you kidding? Yeah, it's, You've never seen like a leftward sloping peen? I mean, most of the time no. in college, Girl. tell me if I'm wrong. I, I'm like, I don't know. Most of the time in college, what? Do y'all sleep with the like, have like fool around with the lights on? Like, is that like, Hell no. they no. always want the lights off. off. I don't like, eye they want the lights off? Yeah. Huh? Eye contact is weird. No, they sex. usually ask and I'm like, uh. Shit. Okay. Y'all missing the, out. The LEDs. They usually keep the LEDs on. Oh yeah. God. That's, that's so like college. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. What else do you share? Um, like, if he was a munch or not, like that's um, always important. A what? A munch. <laughs> I'm, what? I'm still pretending to, to be Amanda. What's a, a munch? Well, first of all, Amanda knows what a munch is. Okay. So you're not doing a very good what? job role playing Amanda. Tara, what, what's but, a munch? <laughs> what? What's a munch? Oh, like he goes down is. on you? What yeah. is a munch? Oh. oh. So a munch is a guy who go, goes... A certified munch means like he's good at what he's doing. Yeah. That's like a... I feel like don't girls want a guy to go down on you? That's like the worst name you could give a guy. They, I don't even know where that I came would from. Not, I would not I, want the title like of the word munch. That's going around right now. <laughs> Matt, that's terrible. Okay, so, I didn't make it. I'm okay, you sorry. didn't make it up. Okay, I so apologize. you call the munch. Um, um, just whether or not he was good. Wait, like, do guys go down on you like in like ho casual hookups? I mean, yeah. That's, really? Rip. RIP in the chat for them. <laughs> what? Not for you specifically, but shit. I don't recommend that, but okay. Um, go ahead. I mean, what else is there? Like, whether he was good or not. Okay. Like, did he climax too quick? Does that come up, for example? Oh. How, if, lo how long did he last? You know, yeah, that sort yeah, of Yeah, that's, that's typical, like, banter. Definitely. Okay. What about you, T-Dog? Oh, um, my... Into the mic? Sorry. Um, so, like, with your girlfriends, do you share kind of intimate details after your first time with they, guy? They are usually really nosy, just like any other girls. They, they would be like... How big is it? Was it good? Would you do it again? Um, was he and, sweaty? And do you share? Was he sweaty? I don't know. Stop, that's always <laughs> do you share all that with, with I, your... I do, yeah. I'd be okay. like, yeah, they're mostly, most of them are sweaty. Um, was it big? I would say. I don't, know. I don't sweat oh. during sex. That's good. Because she does all the work. Okay. Even during the summer? <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Mm. Even during the summer? Well, I mean, like... But you don't sweat at I all. do some of the work, but... Huh? Oh, interesting. Mm, you know. I do work. Okay, never mind. I'm not. Gonna <laughs> okay, what about you, Amanda? Yeah, yeah. There's some information that I do keep to myself. Such as. That's classified just for that like matter. But like, so. okay, do you do you share, for example, like how long they last? Do you share the peen size? If they ask, sometimes, yeah. If they ask, yes. Okay, you just hooked up with Eduardo, and Maya here asks you. So, <laughs> Amanda. How was it? Where's the fucking in and out cup? 
was it like this? <laughs> we do use stuff to compare it to. You use like like and at like objects like physical objects. We will use that to compare. Okay. We just ask. We don't judge. We don't say anything. But more, really. but do you share? Yeah, we okay. share. Sweet. We share, but like I don't know. There's okay. some things that you talk about, like oh, like how'd you get there? Because sometimes you have to think about like if they're gonna pick you up or if you're gonna go there. So. Uh, Yo, Zentians, thank you, man. $49.99. The only guys that might talk about DMing the same girl would be Pookie and Chad because these rubbish 304s are Eskimo sisters as evidenced by all the girls talking to the same guy even after they found out that fact. I bet they all let him smash too. Which one, Pookie or Chad? Zentians. Yo, Zentians, thank you. Do you guys have a response to Zentians? What is 304s? It's an area code. Don't worry about oh, okay. it. Okay. What was the question? Definitely area code related. Huh? I, yeah, what was his what question? Was the question? Do you, were you were, were you listening? I was. was I just too fast. Do you guys yeah. have a response? Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, okay. I guess they don't. Okay. Hold on. So, Sydney, do you share like intimate details like with your girlfriends after? Oh, wait, question. Okay. What if like something embarrassing kind of happened? Like, let's say the guy had trouble getting it up or yes, he came to, about that. like, because I could see you wanting to share, like, if it was good, right? But maybe if, like, some kind of embarrassing shit for him happened, like, maybe he, he came too quick or he had trouble getting it up. In those instances, would you not share or do you just, you would still share? Those are always shared. Always shared if yes. some potentially embarrassing thing would... Yeah, even if it's on my end. Even if I did something stupid, which almost never happens. But, like, if I did, like, I'm going to tell... Like, the, you have to also understand that, like, when I'm... These people that I'm telling, these are, like, my best friends. Like, I'm not just going out and about, like, pr talking my, on my private story. Oh, my God, guess what? This guy did... Like, no. No, that's not... Like, I'm just yeah, we're telling not... my, like, very, very close friends that I talk to and see every single day. So, sure. it's like, they already know everything about me. I don't... Your girlfriends, sure. Yeah. Oh, wrong. Okay, Sydney, what about you? Do you share the intimate details? Yes, but not, not like they do. Like we don't. Like we just. I just kind of like, like if it's something embarrassing, like the question you just asked. I think we would talk about it if that guy was like a one and done, and we're never gonna see him again. If it's someone that we're dating, we might not bring up that embarrassment mm -hmm. to the girlfriends because that might reflect back on. I don't know. It's kind of like when you get in a fight with a boyfriend, you don't talk about that fight because then they will only ever focus on that one fight, mm. not all the other good times. Sydney, that's very good. Thanks. That's very good advice. <clears throat> I think it's really bad if you're having an issue with your significant other. I think last resort, you should last resort, you should talk about it with friends or family. Or because, like a therapist. Because people get can't... yeah. Well, people get in, yeah, sure, if you do that, that's fine. But like people get into d disagreements and fights, but typically you don't go to your friends and like tell them like, oh, it's when it's going great, you might only go, not some right. girls do, but you might, and for guys too. But if you go to your friends and you're constantly always going to them for advice or he's they doing only this, see the negative. they only see the negative, then they're going to start to hate him and dislike him that's all that they see they only see that one point of view that yeah. you give them versus all the amazing things mm. it's like unlevel but you only yeah. show them that side and yep. that's all they see and then the friends start hating yeah. the boyfriend and then they start wanting you to break up so i think if there's like something you genuinely need advice on but if it's just some silly spat or whatever right. i think just like you know if if you need talk to someone i will say though women versus men are different with how they handle that men I feel like men go to the like their guy friends about like the situation where it's just like oh yeah like this girl did this or like oh she did this or oh she's crazy this way where it's like men will see like the his, their like homies girlfriends as crazy versus women will go and be like okay well this happened and this happened and this happened and this happened like women talk about both sides whereas I feel like men only talk about the craziness. Erroneous. Do Erroneous. you do you go to your Bruh. guy friends and talk about like? Oh, she did this today. It was amazing Zero. that she did this. Like, do you talk about the good things that happen in your relationship with your guy friends? First off, I don't, I don't talk to my okay, role guy play friends. with me here. <laughs> role play. I don't talk to my guy friends about about my girl. Okay, but then. Well, when I do have a girl, but okay. well, I guess I'm kind of engaged. I shouldn't. Jesus. All right, I'm kidding. okay. Um, I, I think it's actually the reverse. You think? When I, yes, because. When a woman talks about an issue that they're having, not all, okay, some women when they're talking about an issue that they have with a guy or with another girl, 
my experience has been that they will leave out certain details to try to paint themselves. I can see that. At, in the most favorable light possible. There's definitely guys that do, look, I, I shouldn't gender it. Actually, both men and women have this, this behavioral error of tr limiting details that potentially paint them in a bad light and emphasizing the details that paint the other person in a bad light. I when, feel like it depends on who they go to to have that conversation with, but I do see what you're saying. Well, I can say for me, like I will try to give an as unbiased as, of, if I'm asking a friend for advice, I will try to say, okay, here's what I did. Here's what she did. Maybe I did this a little bit wrong, but then she did like. Exemption super chatted $49.99. Yo, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Of course, these come guzzling who are shared. Yo, Zentians, come on, man. The HVM men who Jesus. use them as night depositories, they share more of the same DNA than they realize. Although, if they share more DNA versus STD <sighs> is questionable. Ah, uh, Zentians. None of them are wives. Zentians, you're a little spicy tonight, man. Um, I, I, I would ask, maybe let's avoid some of the ad hominem, but um, did, did the brain surgery, uh, like, I know you're a brain surgeon, did... Was it a rough surgery today or what? Everything okay, man? <laughs> you can always call me, man, after the show. But uh, do you guys want to respond? He's shooting shots, so I think you guys got to shoot some shots back. No. I, I mean, thanks no. for the money. Unfazed? That's like, yeah. what, like 150 by now? Yeah. Like 200 bucks? Thank a little, you. A little s In the first oh, hour. But, okay, so bringing it back to the whole relationship thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> so... Yo, I, I've just, I've had the experience where a lot of women will bend the truth of what actually happened to make them seem in as favorable of a position as possible. I feel I like- I think it's the reverse. I feel Guys like do it depend. too, but I think it's, I do think it, women do that shit way more. I agree. I think it does depend. Obviously, I, I feel like it depends on who they go to like if it's girls going to their like absolutely like, best friend roommates like you two oh. Jared has uh -huh. super chatted $50. thank you jared you cannot let your parents or friends get involved because they will always be biased obviously you should say something if you are being abused but still yeah, yeah. but it's just like if there's a little spat a little argument like if you're just always going to your friends and yeah it's just i think it's bad for the relationship and you're just ha coaching your friends to basically hate your significant other and then of course like there's always like I don't know if you, any of you know, like on again, off again, people that are in these on again, off again relationships, um, like constantly breaking up, getting back together. That's, that's when it's the worst because <laughs> super toxic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So did you want to continue on Sydney? No, nope, we're good. Okay. I think we touched it. I wanted to say something though. Like I agree to a certain extent that like, oh, like maybe you should, you know, limit some things that happen in between, like in your private relationship. But there's like a certain point where if your significant other is constantly and not, maybe not abusing, because that's a, that's a big word to use, you know, like that's a serious word. Yeah. Um, but like, if there is a like endless amount of bad things happening in your relationship, like I totally believe that you need a strong support system behind you so it's like going to someone like your friends or your family like in certain times I feel like is necessary especially if this is like a constant thing are you referring to like it's it's only like oh like a little fight here and there or like what because if it keeps happening it keeps happening what you just don't want them to tell anyone about it like no like I would I, I mean I also just overshare so I tell them like everything but it's like how could you not but, share yeah, like, I mean, all these terrible I, things that keep happening. But can I, I? I don't. I don't think it's black and white. I don't think it's. You can never say anything to your friends. Um, and I mean, if things are really on the rocks, then I sure. But I think if it's like an occasional, you know, argument, and you're also never telling them that things are really good too. Like if if the only thing they hear is the bad, but there are good moments and. Perhaps most of the time it is good, but there are occasionally some disagreements and you only go to your friends for advice when it's bad instead of occasionally saying, oh, things are great. I, I love him so much, whatever it is, you know, then I think that's when uh, that's when it can get a bit problematic. I think also, I mean, I don't know, some of you are if you do therapy or whatever, I think that's a really good outlet, too. And I think that's a better can be a better outlet. But so can I also thing. say too, like. I see it from that point of view, but it's also like I have a girlfriend of mine and she comes to me whenever she has like 
oh this happened with the boyfriend or oh he did this or oh he like it's just like she comes to me with all these like bad things and she tells me about the good things as well but now every time she tells me something about him i was just like oh i don't like him i want you to like end things with him just because she only comes to me with the negative so it makes me only see that side of him regardless of how good things can be i agree yeah okay i'm gonna wrap up on this point soon tara um when it comes to if you've just hooked up with a new guy do you share like details with the friends is there girl talk you know about details about the dude i probably wouldn't go out of my way to share like sexual details but my friends definitely ask, so if they um, ask, I'll probably, I wouldn't say anything embarrassing, but sure. I would probably just tell them, like, did I enjoy myself or not, and would okay. I see him again, for sure. Got it. Okay, so I can, I'll speak for me. There's definitely some guys out there that I think do this, but I don't share any details. Like, if I hook up with a girl, my friends don't even know, if we, they don't even know that we've hooked up, that we've had sex. I don't share that. Some guys do. Maybe I'm a bit of an outlier on this. I don't know. I think, actually, let's ask the chat. Eric, can you pull up the chat? Um, yo, chat, let's say you've just hooked up with a new girl. Do your f close friends, do your friends, do they even know? Do they even know? Um, do you share intimate? Maybe they do know, but you keep it very vague. You say perhaps, uh, yeah, we hooked up. It was, it was good. You know, you keep it kind of vague. Do, or do you go into intimate details and you talk about oh it was this wet and it was the pussy was you know like okay it looks like a lot of no's a couple vagues so i guess it could either be no vague or yes sharing a you know similar to how they just describe sharing stuff nope yeah okay interesting that's very interesting um so uh huh do you guys have any thoughts on that? Like the difference between how men, I think I'm, some men do share that shit for sure. But like, I think men I could, talk I about would the never... chase more than the actual activity of it. Whereas women talk more about the activity of it than the chase. I think guys just don't even, we don't even really talk all that much about. You just don't talk to people. Shit. <laughs> that is true. I think one thing like men, we need stronger brotherhood. We need stronger brotherhood and we need to be able to talk more with e with each other. I think, and a lot of us tend to, I think there's more men who tend to be lone wolves yeah, than, absolutely. than there are women. So um, yeah, but I mean, I would, I honestly think it's, don't hate me ladies. I think it's wrong for women to share intimate details about someone that they've just hooked up with. That's why, why we don't tell you. Why? Like, why does that bother you? Well, for example, like, let's say, you know, I've, if I've hooked up with a new girl and she's just told her three closest friends that, uh, you know, penis size, the, the quickness with which I climaxed or, you know, other details, uh, that, that's like very private because I view like that's, that's super intimate and you're like spilling, like imagine... First off, I don't think, maybe this is like, maybe I'm old fashioned. I don't think that you should tell other people about other people's like genitalia. Like, I don't know, that seems like a very private thing. Like for example, let's say I was like, <laughs> if you thought about it, like let's say I was telling my guy friends the degree to which you were wet or dry. So? You don't, okay, what about if I talk, I mentioned like, your labia size. Yeah, Brian, don't don't you jokingly have a large it's, labia advocacy <laughs> charity? So what do you what do you mean <laughs> you don't like talking about other people's genitalia? Well, didn't well, you still no, open no, the episodes with that? You're right. However, no, no, no. But it's different because is it? No, it's different because I'm I'm never oh, going. It's oh, it's different when he does it. Don't worry. No, guys. no, no, no. Hundred percent. No. It it's different always different when he, when he says something. It is well, when he no, it is different, and here's why. Because I'm ne I never tell my friends about a particular girl. Oh, she her, she had a wet pussy. She had a dry pussy. I'd never tell a friend she had an innie. She had an Audi. What you're referring to, Tara? Hold on. What you're referring to is I happen. Women have peen preferences. I have a labia preference. I happen to like Audis. I said it. I said it. I like Audis. Oh, SD saved by the bell. Thank you, SD. First of all, Cheeks, stop super chatting WTF. 
<laughs> Second, being a girl is so easy. Oh. You literally don't have to perform in bed. Just lay there. And of course the girls prefer in person over hinge. Average girls get approached constantly. Guys get rejected. Yo, SD, thank you for the uh, super chat. Um, we'll talk about the easy thing here. We A bit later on the show, we do have... Uh, a video to react to related to that. Okay, so bringing it back to like the sharing intimate details thing. Um, yeah, I just think it's like a betrayal of trust. I suppose I if you're, like I suppose with your one night stands, you'll never see the guy again, yeah. I suppose. But imagine like this is gonna be your, bo like for me, for example, if I found, and I, look, I know girls do this, so it's like, and I think men should push back on this honestly, but like, I would think it's a betrayal of trust if my girlfriend, or well, I shouldn't say my girlfriend because we're not there yet, but like, let's say a girl I'm, I hook up with and we're both like interested in continuing to see each other and if that blossoms into a relationship, then great. If her girlfriends that I assume at some point I'll meet know details about our sex lives, they have like information about me that they ought not to know. Yeah, that's super fair, because, like, if I'm seeing someone, like, I don't want to know that his house, like, I, I wouldn't want, like, his friends, th like, thinking his friends, like, knew what I looked like naked, or, like, parts, you know, yeah, so that's, like, that's totally fair. Yeah, it's, that like... That would feel, like, kind of violating. I don't know, have... think, like, think about it, like, let's say this is a guy that you really like, and you want to have a long-term relationship with him, and you, he, you found out, like, his, he told you, or he told all his friends that you had, like something weird or like there was this weird thing or like she did this and did that like and then you met his friends that wouldn't make you a little uncomfortable i wouldn't well, care i don't know but it wouldn't make just, you a little uncomfortable well, because then it's like you're saying and then that would be a double standard if i did care but i don't care you don't care no okay i mean that's totally fine if you don't but to me i just think it's a betrayal of trust I agree it is a betrayal of trust, but like this is only hypothetically speaking that you guys are actually going to go into a relationship exactly, and you guys yeah. are furthering things, you know, and w if that is the case, then I would apologize for doing that and, you know, learn from that. But if, but like, as I said, like right now I'm single and like right now I'm not, I'm not in the state to go into a relationship right now. Sure. So. I kind of agree. Like if it's like a one night stand or it's like a guy that, like if it's like a yeah, but be honest, you do it with guys that are not just one night stands too. I I personally don't. I mean, but I also don't do like when it, if it comes to like the like the last guy that I was seeing, like we like waited like quite a while before we like hooked up, and then we hooked up, and I was like, yeah, we did, and then like that's it. Like I didn't tell my girlfriends like any details. Still to this day, I didn't tell them details about that because it's like I don't know, like because this guy like comes to the house, he hangs out at the house. Like I don't need my like girlfriends thinking about those things necessarily. You know, like I'll tell my best friend who's lives in another foreign country all the details but she's never going to meet these people right listen i i 100 percent acknowledge that this is just something that broadly speaking women do like you guys we gossip like that's just the thing like yeah i acknowledge that it's something that women do but like i i i i and oh, martin on. super chatted 50 dollars it's an age thing. Thank you, Martin. My friends are very successful and we're in our 30s. We talk about accomplishments in business. We don't talk about SEX conquests amongst ourselves. That's lowbrow. And believe me, there's been some smoke shows. Still, no details. Yo, Martin, thank you for the soup chat. Yeah, I mean, I think it's wrong. I, I think it's wrong. It's not the crime of the century, but I do think it is you know it's it's just like men care a lot about respect and like i think it's just disrespectful like honestly one of the biggest things like you can do for a guy is is honestly respecting him and i do think like listen i i know i'm probably not going to change your minds i'm not if you guys want to continue on that's totally fine but it's just like i would never think to tell my friends about even a one night stand like about my partner's genitalia their ability um, their ability to perform in bed, uh, any sexual dysfunction they may have. I don't know. I would never do that. Um, so did you want to come in, Tara? Or do well, you guys want to respond to that? Um, By the way, I'm not like trying to scold you guys. I'm just saying from my point of view, that's how I feel about it. 
Have I changed your minds? Your opinion. No. Have I changed your minds? I was just going to yeah. ask, just because I'm curious, if you had, um, if you were like really, really, really amazing in bed, would you like have a problem with like your, the, like the girl you're with sharing that with her friends, like positive, like really positive things? Like you're telling me you would still find it disrespectful? I mean, what, like really positive, like if I was great in bed? Yeah. I mean, if she kept it vague, like if, I think a girl just saying the sex was good, I, I, that's not really what I'm objecting to. What I'm objecting to is like, I mean, chiefly the big one. You said that the first thing that comes up is what? <laughs> that's just maybe me, but I'm like, if, his, if it was big or not, like that's. Right. So if a, I, that's more so what I'm in, like, if a girl's just like, yeah, the sex was good. I mean, that to me is a bit more vague. It's you still are kind of, but it's more so like the very specific details, like you know, if there's any kinks involved, then, you know, revealing that sort of shit. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, I think it's, you know, if it's big, if it's small, like, that's, that's a problem. So, if you hooked up with the girl, and mm -hmm. she came home to her friends, and she said, guys, his dick was seven inches, it was huge, I finished, he was great at fingering, like, you would be upset about that, or you wouldn't be upset about that? If she gave you a great review, like 10 out of 10, yeah. it was amazing. You would be upset about that. Yeah, because I'm Zentians not, I'm more than, thank you, Zentians, appreciate it. If a woman reveals intimate details about you to her friends, what other secrets would she reveal? She lacks loyalty and discretion. A woman like that would use your Huge. own fear slash weakness against you, even if it's not sexual. These 304 lack character. What is 304? I'm so confused. Area code. It's definitely Can area code. Can I tell code. them? Because it took Maybe me a long time. All right, sure. 304, I guess, is like um, code for calling someone a hoe. So when they say that, they mean it's like, hoe. It, when you type it into the calculator and you flip the calculator over. Oh. Uh, did you guys? Clever. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I don't care. How did, sorry. Why take time to figure that out? Like, I did, like, boobs in high school, you know, like, 8008. <laughs> but yeah, like, that, it's similar to that. It's very similar dumb. to that. Okay. But, so, I just, did I clarify the whole thing, though? Because you said, oh, Brian, you have this labia thing. Yeah, you yeah, still, I'll, let, it, I'll let your different. argument. I'll let your argument No, slide. but it's So you different. think it's, yeah, it's okay to talk about genitalia anonymously. I think it, if, not, a, if a girl in a conversation says she, ha she has a preference for a size that's okay but it yeah this, yeah. this comes down to yeah a one, i follow i follow i'm on yeah i'm on board i follow yeah it comes down to a one-to-one -one thing where if there's I an just, actual I individual just the yeah call, you wanted to call me a hypocrite that, but, no, but no, it didn't okay. work nuts no, no, but um sure. by the way do does anyone have a peen preference is anyone bi by the way here any bi anybody peen preference at all um, big small average doesn't matter i i have a penis works. size preference <laughs> Oh, what is it? Let's hear yours first. Well, I'm... What? I want to hear... Like, you said you have a preference? Seven inches. Oh, What's okay. oh I'm kidding, guys. I'm chat. Come on, chat. I'm... I'm That's funny. I'm kidding. Um, I mean... Motion of the ocean. Doesn't matter. I'd rather not say. You like... You like the... The tree trunks? Oh, hell no. Huh? No. Oh, okay. What about you? Um, obviously not small like a pencil, but... All right. All right, P is in the chat, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like average to average big. Okay. Not, like not huge, though. All right. Just no. As long as you know how to work it. Yeah. Motion of the ocean. Tara. I'm a big cuddler person, so if you are like in some way, I don't know. So if Hugging this guy me, has like, a micro, physical like, literal touch. micro penis, but as long as he's cuddling you, you're fine. Yeah, you're, we're talking you're about right. something totally different. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't know. I guess I would say like, well, I, I, well, let me rephrase it. Yeah. If he could have, he could be like, as like have like the whatever most amazing penis in the whole world. But if he's not like hugging me after aftercare, like i wouldn't take yeah. it okay aftercare but is so important i wouldn't sure. not as in like I aftercare prefer. yeah it's like a bdsm term do you want to reveal is it really do you aftercare? want to reveal something i mean i'm are you a sadist or a masochist i don't even know what 
Okay. You know, Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. You know, just whips and dungeons and all that oh, shit? Yeah. I haven't no? tried those. No? Anybody I'll here? I'll let you know when I do. Anybody have any <laughs> kinks or... Like no. BDS, hello, is this, mm-hmm. anybody? Okay, nothing? Okay, oh, yo. Cameron Oyola super chatted $50. Seven inch gang we up. Sure. Yes. yes. Yo, Cameron, yeah. awesome. thank you for the uh, $50 TTS. Appreciate it, guys. I will get to the regular super chats here soon. By the way, guys, uh, I will read super chats, $20 and up. 50 and up triggers TTS. If you want, you can donate through the link for that is in the description. Uh, you can don't, uh, excuse me, getting tongue tied here. You can donate through Streamlabs. Oh, Revenant Ronin super no YouTube cut. Thank you, Revenant. First time listener had an ex tell her friends how good my bedroom game was, and it caused strife between them because it coerced them to try me secretly. Single women tend to keep women. Yeah, um, also, like, I, I mean, I suppose, like, you're kind of doing us favors when we break up if you're telling your whole friend group that we're fucking insane in the bedroom because we're just going to start weaving through your friend group, especially if the breakup was, uh, if Y'all there was do that now acrimony. Is that, did I use that word That's right? That's true. I was like, you guys Acrimon? do that now if we're, if we're, like, talking to you. Wait, like, what's that? I was like, y'all do that now if we're talking to you. Uh, I did. I used it. All right. My fucking, uh, fuck, my, uh, what's it called? You okay over there? Yeah. I'm, the energy drink I'm tweaking out. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh shit. Smoggington donated Smoggington. $50. Thank you, man. Ryan, this is an all-star panel of gray day level oh. over 9,000 harlots, but something doesn't feel right without bangs here. Her feminism filled the cold space that used to be filled by my heart. We, <laughs> we are going to try to get her in. Guys, by the way, if you want, you can roast back. They're roasting you, so unleash. Why are they? I don't even see the roast. Where's the roast? Oh, it's, that, it's not, not, it's it's not, not enough. I don't. Well, I mean, he called you. Oh, hold on. It's over 9,000. He called you over 9,000 harlots. Hoes don't get embarrassed, you should be embarrassed. Hmm. Here, let me, I'll pull up the definition so I don't butcher it, but it's basically uh, a harlot is basically. A, she was a hoa. B, she was a hoa. Do you want the definition? Sure, yeah. Oh, a prostitute. Hmm. Yeah. Do you, That's clearly do what you, I'm doing. Do you want to fire back? Yeah. I don't care. No? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> I okay. don't know. Prostitution is legal where I come from, and that's like we just talk where you come from. Yeah, where I come from. Oh, like, Nevada. And yeah, is it Nevada or Nevada? It's Nevada. Nevada. It's Nevada. It's Nevada. No prostitute, but I mean the legal age of consent is also much lower there than it is here. Which in I didn't, Nevada, really? What is I didn't, I didn't know that until coming here because I like was like talking to friends and I didn't realize that it's oh. 18 here. It's Jared 16 in Nevada. $50. Yo, Jared, thank Speaking you, man. Speaking of movies, what are your favorite movies? <laughs> in my opinion, movie preference says a lot about someone's character. For me, I love Forrest Gump. We'll watch every time it's on. Uh, okay, we'll go around the table really quick. Tara, what, what's your favorite? Uh, actually, I'll get my first. Uh, the Matrix is my favorite movie. Go ahead. Uh, my favorite movies are like documentary types. Especially nature documentaries. Okay. I like the classics. Like, I like Dirty Dancing or I like 16 Candles. Like, oh my God, I love 16 I just Candles. Love 16 Candles. Yeah. Um, I'd say Super Bad. Oh, that's, that's a good, good one. one. That's a good, that's a good one. That. Yeah, I just recently watched it with our other roommate, oh, Ruby. Wait, question. So, you know how you two were blacked out on Sunday? <laughs> like, just maybe not you, but you were blacked <laughs> out. Okay, and the guy offered you the cocaine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you boop her nose? You know, it's super bad. The nose boop. Oh no, the I nose didn't. Boop. No, I didn't. Can I ha- Can you guys do a nose boop? Nose. I'm right now. Why do I not remember that part of the? At movie? the very end, when they're like sleeping, cuddling, basically. Were they cuddling in the movie at the end? I don't even know. They're both drunk after the party, <laughs> and he boops. You want us to? Boop our um, nose no, together. I, okay, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> boop you. I like yeah, comedy. Boop you. Eric, can you open the door? It's getting hot. I like comedy movies, so I would say White Chicks, my favorite movie. Oh, that's a, White Chicks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Classic. It's a classic. What about what about you? 
Ratatouille, thousand percent. That's always oh, my ooh, comfort that's food. That's a good one. That's a good one. Dustin Chin ninety one donated you, fifty dollars. Jared is wifey material, but she doesn't answer DMs. Oh. Give me back on and get Dustin Chin ninety one. Tear. I'm trying to find out if I'm husband oh. material. BDW, I agree with Brian and some of the other super chatters. I don't kiss and tell. I let the women spread the good word. Okay. okay. All right, Tara. Um, is he gonna get a response to a DM? What's up? I'm. I'm definitely single, but I am like sort of seeing someone. So I'm not gonna be seeing. I'm not gonna talk to. So what is I'm definitely talk, I'm, single? She's then. talking not, to somebody. Well, de- definitely like single. As in like we're not we're not exclusive or anything. Yeah. So okay. I, well, I guess I don't know, I'm not definitely single, but as in like I'm not I'm not in a relationship. Right. But I would say I'm. Not okay, so, so I'm gonna bring it back really quick to something that you're saying. So, you had your you've been on Hinge for four days, you have two dates set up, <laughs> and I said that was impressive. And then I think a TTS came in, so I think that's impressive because, like, most men's experience on dating apps and Hinge to get two dates already lined up within four days of downloading an app is most guys can't pull that off. I mean, oh, okay, Revenant Ronin, thank you, man, thank you, Ronan. Similar to Jared, a woman's music preference can say a lot about her personality. Edit, Single Women Tend to Keep Women Single by Kevin Samuels. Single women tend to keep women single. Well, I think, uh, I mean, certainly if like, this kind of relates to the whole going out to the club thing, going out to bars and parties, like if you're in a relationship and you value that relationship, your single friends, for both, I think for both men and women are going to be a bad influence. They're going to be a bad influence on you, and it could impact or lead to the downfall of your relationship. Those aren't friends you should have then in a relationship. What's that? Those aren't friends you should have in a relationship then if they're going to like jeopardize your relationship. But like, here's the thing: your single friends miss the single you. They miss. But then the girl. I get that, but then if like they're the, like still the guy your friend, that you could do fuck boy be. shit with, they miss the girl that you could do hood rat shit with that's still you you're just in a relationship and you're loyal like you can still do the hood rat shit without being disloyal and cheating i like agree in the club. that's yeah. still you that that's just a memory to do. like you being in a relationship has nothing to do with a personality change Haram! okay you, i don't think you should be out at the club oh or the bar. I, I i go out to the i don't drink though. if you're I in a relationship I, if I you're disagree. in a relationship i think it's it's bad for the relationship oh you're so, okay i mean to each their own you know that we've talked about this we one have before, and i don't though, like yeah. having this conversation yeah you don't like it because <laughs> it, i mean uh, if that's your... you and your relationship each relationship has its own standards and its own like boundaries for what is and isn't cheating depending on the people in that relationship sure okay we'll come back to that so I want to bring it back to something here. You said that when you were on Hinge, I don't know if it was you, one of you said that, let's say a guy, and we will do the dating app reviews of uh, some of the girls here. So you said that a guy liked a photo of yours, but you had a friend in the photo and Mm -hmm. he was trying to like get you to be matchmaker. Mm -mm, That wasn't it. Was that somebody else? No, I said it, but it was like, that was, he's like, hey, and I was like, hey, he sent me a Snapchat without saying anything else. And I was like, no. Okay, so here's my question. Okay. Here's my question then. Let's, some of you are on dating apps or have been on dating apps. Do you have any photos with like a girlfriend on your dating app? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you be offended if, for example, on hand, you know how you can send a message along with like when you like a photo, for mm-hmm. example, if he was like, he wasn't rude, but with the photo with a friend, he was like, hey, is your friend single? Would you object to that? Not Honestly, at all. probably not just because I do the same thing. Like if I say, if I'm swiping and they're your homie's hot, what 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 am I gonna what do I have to lose? I've done like it. all you all you're gonna say is no like uh, okay, but I don't even do it that much. I've done it a couple times because their friend was that hot, but again, I'm not really on these dating apps like actively that much anymore. So right, but if that did happen to me, I wouldn't think it's the end of the world. Okay, you yeah. wouldn't be like you wouldn't feel almost rejected or anything because like you're on the dating app, but he's like sending you a message trying to get at your friend. I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care. Yeah. Would you try to do the setup if you thought If he my was friend cute? thinks he's hot, why wouldn't I? Okay. Like, that's No, I think that's yeah. totally fair. What about you? I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care to be honest. There's plenty of other guys out there 
okay. that would love me for me would and you, is attracted to me. So it's not in the world. Would you try to show your friend, try to do the setup or? Yeah, I would. What or about encourage. You? Yeah, I agree. Okay. I'd turn Sid- it up. Sydney? Yeah. Tara? Um, I mean, I'm pretty against dating apps anyways, but if I could like try to imagine what this would be like in person, like how I would respond in person, say I go on like, I guess what, a first date with a guy and then he changed and then he... No, 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 no. Okay. The guy sends you a message. The first message, you have a photo of your friend in one of the things and he's polite. He's just like, hey, is your friend single? So basically he's saying, I'm more interested in your friend than I am in you. Do yeah, you, I mean, I would set it. I would. I would guess. Okay. I would set. I guess I would set. Okay, it that's up. cool. That's sweet. I feel like my friend would be really flattered. Because so. I've I've definitely done that on Hinge, where I'm like, not rude or anything, but like the girl is maybe not my type or, you know, whatever. But she's got a fucking babe friend or whatever. So I might be like, <laughs> I've only done it maybe two or three times because I I don't know. I feel like it's maybe slightly rude, but I'll say, hey, is your friend single? And has one it, time, has it worked? No, it hasn't worked. <laughs> well, I've not matched, but I did have one time where I matched with the girl and she was like, that's really fucking rude. Um, I'm on here. And we don't want you. We want your friend. Like, anyways, anyways. Okay, so um, we were talking a bit about, oh, this was related to the Snapchat thing. So do you feel like when guys do that, they're not putting in enough effort? Like if a guy, those of you who've been on dating apps, if they just send a hey, do you feel like, and maybe I can ask this more broad, broadly outside of dating apps, do you feel that men don't put in enough effort? Depends on the Hold situation. Hold on, let's start here. For, and like put in what context? Like put in enough effort in like the, in the chats? Like not putting in enough effort in the chats? What are we talking about? Enough effort. Just in general, like put in enough effort, whether maybe you matched on a dating app, Maybe when it comes to dating, they're not they're not putting in a lot of effort. Do you find that men are not putting in a lot of effort? Personally, yes, but that's just been my personal experiences, and you know I think everyone's experiences are going to be different wherever you go. So there could be some really great guys that are totally on top of knowing how to treat a woman and what you know we expect from them, ideally in our own heads. Um, if they can meet that standard, then I mean kudos to you but i personally haven't found that that many okay. men put in that much effort um from my experience um no they give effort but the ones that didn't i obviously just like ghost them but they would be like hey come over I'm like no what the fuck i'm not coming over <laughs> that's not but enough other, effort that's not that's not even at least say hi have you perhaps now that's your standard but in the past have you ever taken someone up on that offer to come over? Yeah, just come over. No. Never? No. Never? No. Wait, okay, question on... Or, uh, let me let everyone finish. Go ahead. Uh, what was the original question again? Do you think men don't put in oh. enough effort when it comes to dating? I'd say it depends on the person, but in my personal experience, I've, like... I guess I can be a bit biased saying this, so I guess take it with a grain of salt, but I feel like I've always been the one who's been hurt most, so... You get hurt the most? personally speaking but from like obviously like I'm gonna be biased and I try to you know be balanced with like his side my side but yeah but it depends on each person like one guy could be like putting in a lot of effort you know and I noticed that and maybe I will take well hang out with them the next day Hmm. so wait you get hurt the most well in my personal experience like I don't know for example like my last relationship he broke up with me over Mm. facetime how long were you guys together three months three months yeah actually i said that's commendable that he even did a facetime three months that's a text i guess but you know it still hurts you know i thought your wasn't your longest relationship two years no that's not me oh sorry that's you yours was did you say what your longest relationship was? Three months. Oh, so that was your... Okay, that makes more sense. Sorry, I got you mixed up with the mm-hmm. other note here. So you, the guy, your longest relationship was three months. He broke up with you over FaceTime. 
Well, I mean, I, I mean, I feel like I just got hurt more because I was a lot more invested in it than he was. And obviously mm-hmm. looking back on it, like, yeah. it's just like, it's whatever. Like he broke up with me over FaceTime. It's shitty, but it happens, you know, but I mean, you live and you learn, so. And so you said, were you guys friends before or? Yeah, it was like friends. like That transitioned mm-hmm. into, uh, okay. And who initiated kind of like it becoming more romantic? The guy. He initiated he it. Did. Okay. And how long were you friends before? Uh, um, I'd say about like three months. Okay. So like you knew him six months total about yeah. dating for three. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you, you said you were 18, right? Okay. I mean, that's, I mean, three month relationship. Yeah. That's not, um, nothing. Exactly. Well, yeah, but yeah. Um, I mean, also, it's at eighteen. It's I'd say most people your age. A lot of people haven't had like really long term relationships too. Mm-hmm. So that was your first. W- were you in love with him? No. Did you say I love you though? No. Okay. He did accidentally, oh, he did. but oh. it was as a like joke, and he quickly realized. But. Oh, so okay, so okay, I gotcha. Mm-hmm. But you didn't love him. No. Okay. So I, but as far as the him breaking up with you over Facetime, I actually think that. Three months, I think text is fine. I guess. I, I mean, like, at the end of the day, it is, like, you're going to break up with them either way. But it's just, like, if you think about it from, like, the other person's perspective, like, wouldn't you want to be broken up with over person? Like, well, wouldn't... I feel, I'm probably a bad guy to ask for advice on this one because uh, if I've been dating a girl for, like, two years, send me a text. Send me a... T- oh, hold on, I'll finish my thought. $50. Ryan of the TDS2100 moving forward after tonight. Yeah, I got to do it. Let's get the fuck off dating apps. You studs are being ignored by mediocre girls like the ones on the panel and can't even show you the audacity to acknowledge you also. Six inches, six feet, six figures. Right. Thank you for reminding me. We will we will come back to that. I just I want to uh, get the conversation going. So uh, thank you, Cheeks. And yeah, I think uh, I think I will have to boost the super chat just or the TTS trigger just so that, you know, I can, uh, it's less interrupting, you know, but, uh, but I certainly appreciate everyone who does. So maybe next show I might have to boost it. So I guess get, get your TTSs in. Um, uh, so I'm a bad guy to ask when it comes to this, because honestly, even though I've been, even if I've been dating a girl for two years, like just send me a, a text message. That's horrible. Eh. That's horrible. See, here's the thing though. I'm such an, here's the great thing about dating me. I'm such an easy guy to break up with. Sure, because I'm you're very emotionally, easy to break up. You're emotionally with. closed off. That's no, no, no why. I'm not emotionally closed off. A little bit debatable. What well, what makes you say that? Just because of the cell phone texting thing? Sure, sure. There could be multiple examples that I can bring up, but like oh, I, yeah. oh there's more. Yeah, okay, yeah, you've yeah. been observing me. You've yeah. been observing me. It's easy. <laughs> What's easy? Easy to observe anyone. To, to read me? Okay. Yeah. Well, in any case, uh, what what I would say is is that. I guess my thing is, well, first, it's very easy to break up with me. I don't need, what, what's the term that people often use? I don't closure. Need, I don't need closure. So, so that's a benefit of dating me. I, if you break up with me, there's not going to be, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to plead. I'm not going to like need an explanation. I don't know if any of you have had experience where the guy's like doesn't take, like you've determined you want to break up with him and he won't take it. Uh, no for an answer you know like he's persistent or he's like no but and he wants to negotiate the breakup my view is as soon as the breakup conversation like as soon as a girl even says the word breakup as soon as it's in your it's head it's done over there is no negotiating if if we're there i'm out i'm done so to me it's just like just send me a text message I'll say goodbye to you. I'll be like, hey, it was really nice meeting you <laughs> two years. Yeah, but wouldn't you wouldn't you feel hurt by that just a little bit? Like, damn, like I wasted all that time and energy. Like maybe went I'm, on a couple dates or whatever. Like, oh, that sucks, you know? You're still going to feel a little bit hurt, right? Like two years, really, a two-year relationship, you just, you don't care about meeting in person to break up? Well, I feel like sometimes girls will be like, they'll be like, we need to talk. And they'll send that shit through text. And I already know, so I'm like, eh, it's okay. We don't, we don't gotta talk. Wish you the best. That's because you-, you guys don't like to talk about their emotions. No, but here's the thing: if 
here's the thing. If you're breaking up with me, you don't get, if, if a girl breaks up with me, you don't get to decide how I react to that. If my reaction is, it was nice meeting you, I wish you the best, you're out of my life, then that's, what I, that's my decision, that's my call. So, like, I, to me it's just, I don't want to have a pro, I don't, first off, I don't wanna know why the girl's breaking up with me. I don't, what? I think that that's, not, I feel like you should though, at least just so you know like what you can do to better yourself moving forward. Nah. Like, do you not wanna always be able to be the best version of yourself? Or but you that's just don't based off their Girls? opinion, not what like that's what she doesn't like about him. Yeah. Well, it could have been like a problem. Like, but if, that's. From, I just think that like that's knowledge that it's good to have moving forward. Like, just something to keep in the back of your head. If, not necessarily that you need to mold your whole personality moving forward when getting into relationships based off that one thing. But I just think it's something that it's nice to have in the back of your head. Like, oh, why did this end? Like, what did I do? Or what was the? I I think that that's valuable information. I mean, if things are on the rocks, I kind of am already gonna have a sense if the relationship's kind of shaky. If the girl breaks out with breaks up with me out of the blue, there's another guy in the picture, hundred mm -hmm. percent. If they're like, yeah, I mean that, and sometimes it's there's nothing even wrong with you. You said that your last guy was great, yeah, right. But you said he wasn't, um, he was not enough. Yes, he was very emotionally unavailable. Okay. Um, well, there, I'm there's not just sure. a lot of... AMD Rustic Design Super Chat Thank you, man. $49.99. Do you girls think you deserve a man that makes 100k right now and why? Sorry to switch up the conversation. Um, okay, really quick on this. Um, and then I, want, I do want to come back to the whole breaking up, uh, texting thing. So... Do you want, just yes or no, do you want to, uh, a guy that makes, a hunt, like, perhaps... I certainly would not complain. I would not complain if you made 100K a year. Like, I... What, what Here, let me, let me it? frame it like this. So, your future partner, you're like... Because, obviously, you guys are both... You're 18, you're 25, correct? 22. So, like, for, some of you might not be looking for that super long-term guy. Especially at 18, most of the guys you're dating in college, they're not... <laughs> They're in college, right? They're not making a ton of money. But let's say when you're a bit older, when you want to get married, how much do you want that guy to make? Um, well, for sure, more than me, that would be yeah. ideal. Okay, so how much? Your, as long your as you can, future husband, how much do you want your future husband to make? As long as you can match me, and or preferably be above me in that scenario. Preferably above? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it has to be a set number as long as sure. I'm happy. Like, that's what's most important at the end of the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you said match you or be above you. Do you have a sense of how much you think you'll be earning? I have no idea. I want to go into real estate, and I don't really know what that entails, but okay. I don't know. So match you or more? Mm -hmm. Okay, how much do you make currently? Uh, 45. Okay, so 50K and or 45K and up? Uh, or yeah. how much would you? How much do you want your future husband to make? Uh, more than me, like, I would say like fifty. How, how many kids do you want to have? Two to three. Two to three. I could run through this checklist perhaps later. Um, you want two to three kids? Do you want to stay living in California? Um, Cali or Miami's nice too. Miami, okay. Um, you, okay, so you want to stay in California or Miami? Uh, how many cars do you want? Two cars. Um, two cars. How big is your future house? How many bedrooms? My future house, hopefully. Yeah. Like a mini mansion. Mini mansion. Yeah. Um, how many? Do you want a bedroom for each kid? Um, how many bathrooms? When they get older, yeah. Not when they're like toddlers. Okay. It's unnecessary. You're gonna have to marry a guy who makes more than 45k. For sure. If yeah. you want two to three kids. To I mean, if to live. A semi comfortable, especially if you want to stay in California um, or Miami or move to Miami. But um, what about you? Uh, match me in the future. Match you in the future. Do you have a sense of how much you think you'll be earning by, um, say, 30? I think like 45, maybe. 45K? Um, match me or. More? Yeah. Okay, Tara. So my answer is enough to support and spoil as many kids as we 
decided we want to have together. How many did you say you want again? Um, I, well, as many as I could afford. So I guess sure. that's like a circular argument, but. Okay, sure. Um, okay, so let's bring it back to the breaking up texting thing. So I was, <laughs> shit, I've, I'm trying to remember where I was on that. So your boyfriend broke up with you over FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Were you guys in the same city? Yeah. Okay, so he could have done it in person. Yeah, and then literally, like, I think, like, three hours later, I dropped off all his stuff immediately, just at his house. Dang, Nick donated $50. It's called being secure. If I can date a girl for two years and she breaks up with me, well, what can I do about it? I can be mentally checked out pretty quick. She's made up her mind and has a rebound guy lined up. Just move on. Yeah, I, and also, like, my... <laughs> I think it's the case, like, I, when a girl breaks up with a guy, like, a lot of, like, a, they're gonna, they have another dude in mind. A lot of the time. Are you shaking your head in a grin, or are you just... No, I'm sorry. I was, I'm just, um, <laughs> what's the word? Jittery. 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 Sorry. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, he broke up with you over FaceTime. Yeah. Mm hmm And... Were you upset with him, like, over the phone that he did that? I didn't really... I was just kind of, like, accepting it, and I was, like, yeah. kind of, like, asking, like, why. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. But, I mean, other than that, I just accepted it. I wasn't, like, mad or, like, yelling at him or anything. Right. I mean, so three months, although it was your longest relationship, I would say anything under six months... And, look, I'm, and this is just not me. I'm just speaking in general here. Any, anything under six months like a text i think is fair game no, so yeah. i think he i mean to call you you disagree i think like at least a phone call like no I, but he yeah. he facetimed it wasn't in person but, no, but you're saying a text is sufficient but that's i, I think a, no, i think I a agree. text is sufficient like under six months at least a call i would i would appreciate a call for sure that's instead of that's a text. fine that's fine um but certainly for three months i think well, a text is acceptable so i think he didn't do it in person, but he did FaceTime. He at least, at least you spoke to him. I guess, but that's still like the bare minimum, I guess. Ooh, question. Because it was oh. out of the blue. Okay. Um, question. How long was the breakup conversation? How long were, were you guys talking? Like two minutes. Oh, two minutes? Yeah. It was nothing. Yes. That's awesome. What but the, yeah, but I mean, like, obviously, that's like, that's in the past. It's so far, like, I don't even think about it now. Plus, I was like, what, like, 17 when this happened? I was young, so it's not even, like, a thought in my mind anymore. Okay. All right. Um, oh, shit. I need to pull up Discord. Um, we're going to do the call-in here. Um, while I work on the computer really quick to do the call-in, Tara, can you maybe... Uh, mention your controversial dating opinion oh yeah and we will get have everyone oh and we have to do the dating app review too um so if you want to do that yeah go for it okay so my controversial dating hot take is that if you're a girl and you feel like you're not being treated by guys like the way you want to like they're not putting enough effort in that it's not the guys that are the problem. And I mean, not, this is all pre-dating. I don't mean this like in a relationship. I mean this like in pre-dating terms. And I'm saying it not as in like, you're not good enough to get that treatment, but as in you're not carrying yourself and just having high enough standards to where the only other treatment you will be having from guys is of, is like guys who put effort in. I'm confused on what the question is. Yeah, yeah that, it's not a question. It's just like a, it's just a hot take. Oh no, I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Like, That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not agree? Are you saying like we like, like we accept the love that we think we deserve? Is it that kind of like what? Are, I'm, I was yeah, just confused. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's on that. Um, I mean, I definitely think that as far as terms of dating like women definitely should have higher standards than i feel like a lot of my friends and like my personal experiences like the bar for the guys is just on the floor like below sea level like it's bad so i think that 
all women should have you know decently high standards especially when taking into consideration if you're gonna make this like a serious relationship I think that you should value yourself and know what should be acceptable versus not acceptable I mean I think both genders should have like high standards for what they deserve definitely um, I'm not saying that like women should settle for anything I don't think that like I think like if we're with someone and they're not giving us what we want I, like personally from my past experience like I've been with some like guys who have not treated me well and that was like a stepping stone for me to realize like okay like I don't like this like I don't deserve this like I don't want this from like my future partner like I think like now is the time that we should be going on as many dates as possible and dating people to see what we do and don't like from a partner and I think that goes for both like men and women I think men should also be like exploring their options and seeing like okay like I like this like I want this from like my future spouse like all of the above but I don't think us being treated as lesser than has anything to do with how we see ourselves I definitely agree with that very well you're said. I'm, I'm not a fan. Thank you, though. As long as you're honest and open at the same time, you set boundaries. Like, for example, hey, like, I don't want you to, like, have, to, like, homies as your guy friends. And if she's, like, you know, not willing to compromise that, then, yeah, you should just no longer speak to her. Do you know your worth. each of you guys think that you're being treated by guys the way that you want to or like think you deserve to be no but that's also because we're in college and i don't i haven't been impressed by any of the guys that like my friends have been involved with or i've been involved with you know what one guy did open the door for me the other day like he picked me up and not the other day it was a while ago <laughs> but he that was the first time a guy has ever opened the door for me like that's yeah yeah well th that's what i'm saying what i'm saying is like cases like that where you feel like you you're not expect like you're you don't think any guys in college will like treat you right that it's not because there's no guys like that out there it's because of how you're like behaving in your dating life i disagree with that i don't think it necessarily has anything to do with how we are being i think we're in college i think we're all young i think we're all trying to figure it out but like like i know for myself like i want certain things from my future partner and if i don't get them then i'm gonna leave because I know what I want I know what I deserve as should like everyone but I don't think that has anything to do to represent us so I kind of disagree with you on that I hope I'm not butting in at a uh, inconvenient time not where you're going to respond or... um we do have a uh by the way like... chat this is our first time doing a call in so if there's any technical issues I do need you guys to uh, let us know Bryce can you hear me Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, welcome, Bryce. Um, chat, Eric, can you just show us the chat? Um, can you guys hear Bryce? Is there any echo? One, two, one, two. Can you guys hear Bryce okay? Is there any any echo? Anybody? Any any echo? How's the, guys, in the chat, how's the audio quality? Audio quality good, audio quality bad. Audio quality good, thank you guys, thank you, perfect. Um, Barely. How's how's the volume? Can you hear Bryce? Bryce, can you uh, one two one two? One two one two. Okay, perfect. Uh, so Bryce is a tier five member, and as part of being yes, a tier sir. five member, he gets to uh, call in. So Bryce, do you have a question or comment for the panel? Well, I think we might be going into standards soon, so I just would want to at least have a statement. Uh, if you guys have this, the, it's like the unholy trinity, okay? Six feet, six figures, and six inches. Do you know how many men you eliminate when you have... Uh, Is it too loud now? Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I think... Is it better now, guys? Is it better now? Anyways, go ahead. Sorry, sorry oh. Bryce, go ahead. I was just saying that... If you have those three um, standards, do you know how many men you eliminate by having those standards? A lot. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. A lot. Like in the sense that you would only be going for the top 1% of men. Oh, one, one thing. Uh, by the way, 
if everybody's wondering who Bryce is, um, Eric, if you can. This is Bryce. Uh, anyways, just thought you guys should know. <laughs> so uh, it's <laughs> dank naked in the chat, by the way. Um, Honestly. Yeah. So, uh, per, so Bryce, is your question like, do you think what percentage of men have all those? Right, exactly. Like, do they know that if, even though having those three sam, like, uh, or, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm escaping words, <laughs> but having those preferences is unrealistic. It is. I, I agree. It is unrealistic to have those, like, expectations automatically off the bat because I know I'm not like, like a ten. You know, like I know that, and like I should, and because of that, like I know, like. I care more about personality. And like obviously I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, you care about looks, you do. But like, you guys don't know me back like online. You guys don't know me personally. And I do, I do personally go for personality because like, you know, that's what really matters. All the experiences you build with someone, you know? And like, I've, I've had so many like fun moments with people that I'm like, man, like maybe I could see a future with you, you know? But like, mm -hmm. you know. I, I know not to have unrealistic expectations because then I would have to have that of myself. Okay. Looks can change. Personality doesn't really change. You know, like that's kind of like how a person is and their looks can change. Like I'm a big gym junkie and like people can like, like plastic surgery, like lip fillers, like all this shit, like people can get done. But if you have a shitty personality, like that's not going anywhere. So I, I agree, especially if you spend like, enough time with someone and you get to like know them and their personality like you can fall for that like you see like those like like love is blind like that stupid reality tv show oh where you God. like that was the worst get to show. know this person like behind a closed door and you don't see what they look like like it's something like that where yeah t-dog come in on this air closed door that the um percentage of men will decrease to the option with the options of like six feet six figures or <laughs> sorry what oh so the question was um with the percentages of men like decrease a lot like if a woman chooses men's to have like these three categories i think what bryce is trying to get at is that a lot of women want all these characteristics in men however there's not enough of these men to go around so what ends up happening you have basically men who are all chasing after the top tier of men the top 10 top 5 top 20 percent you hear different statistics and because they all a lot of women want to get the best guy mm -hmm. what ends up happening is if women are all chasing after the best guy those men have the an abundance of options so they're not going to commit to you yeah that's true because there's not too many guys out there that that makes six figures has a six inch dick and what's the other one six something so, uh, six, six, feet six, six feet tall <laughs> yeah, yeah that so yeah, yeah this, the chances are very slim so yo bryce thank you for calling in uh, do you have anything to add um not necessarily it's been a pretty good show Hey, thank you, man. By the way, Bryce is uh, dank naked That's in right. the chat. So can we get some W's in the chat for Bryce? Thank you, man. Um, thank you for being our first call in. Appreciate it. I appreciate your patience on us uh, finally getting you to uh, come in and do it. So, uh, oh, sweet, man. no big deal. Um, just, hey, uh, you can send me your Amazon uh, wish list if you want. The girls? You're well, worth it. No, no, yours, Brian. <laughs> oh, my, my wish list? You yes, sir. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, and what, what is this a courtship, Bryce? I mean, does Kiki like is she involved too? Uh, I could arrange a meeting with Kiki if you want. If she ran through, no, she her chastity's intact, nobody has laid with her. Woo. Okay, okay. <laughs> yo, Bryce, thank you so much for calling in, man. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, W's in the chat for Bryce, guys. <laughs> Thanks, man. This was a great time. <laughs> Thank you for calling in, man. Eric, you can go ahead and close out uh, Discord. All right. See you later. See you, man. Have fun with the rest of the show. Thank you, man. All right. Bye -bye. Is, LOL, this is how Brian broke his back. Key, what? With Kiki, key, key, huh? Bruv. Okay. So uh, we were going, we were doing, con oh, okay. Before we do that. So question for you guys. Would it be a deal breaker 
if a guy had trouble getting it up yes hold on let's oh. start here and we'll go around i like just dealt with this too um it wasn't necessarily a deal breaker like we just made it work but i mean have i seen him since no but is he still texting me and am i still replying yeah he's cute but and he's funny too but it's just i don't think it's necessarily something that it, it should be shamed for for like the rest of the oh nope never again it's just that sometimes i understand that you know there's some there's always some circumstances for every situation so i don't mm -hmm. think it's a deal breaker and you said was it just one time that it happened with this guy or was it like kind of a pattern he was so drunk like oh, he was okay. yeah so i was like oh, got I it. Get it okay okay but even like that one time did it kind of even though he was drunk and it was just that one time was it kind of like it impacted i guess the sexual chemistry kind of or um i still find him attractive and everything it's just that i have I don't Spit know if out. I want to <laughs> see him again. I'd like not. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. What about you? If he constantly can't get it up, then that would be a turn off because I'm, it, that's just going to make me overthink like, hey, it's like, are you not attracted to me anymore? Did I do something mm. wrong? And then, you know, just like start thinking of the worst case scenario. Okay. And I wouldn't want to see him again either. But you would give him maybe an op a second opportunity or because for some girls I would try to help him yeah okay for some for some girls if the sex is trash the first time it's it's a wrap it's done for me if it's the second time then second time if it's trash it's yeah but I'm like done. okay, yeah, okay. Right. all right and, and what about you like outside of erection difficulties if the sex is trash done deal or you work try to work at it or mm. he's got one or two times tops and I feel like you can redeem yourself like for the one time but if it's just still not good like bye you're getting blocked yeah wait you're <laughs> blocking well i'm not gonna talk to you ever again like what's the point or like we're not gonna see each other ever again why would i wait so but is it the, have you done that <laughs> have you done that is it a block um not as necessarily after like no i actually no i feel like that was an exaggeration i you don't think be I've ever blocked someone okay. because of that but i've definitely ghosted them after having like really terrible sex so when you say you ghost like did he text you and was like hey i'd like to see you again or are you free thursday yeah. and you just never responded yeah because the sex was bad it was terrible terrible like, yeah it was really bad. Like, I wanted him to go home, like, the entire time. <sighs> now look who's asking right. for details. <laughs> it's different. Okay. Yeah, it's is not. it? All right, yo, all right. It's girl talk right um, now. What's yeah, his name? Um, was his name uh, uh, Miles? Miles. I'm just making up a fake name. Okay. R.I.P.'s in the chat for uh, for the dude. But, um, okay, so... Uh, so so he texted you and he's just like, hey, are you free Thursday and just no response after the bad sex? I think I like, I texted him back like twice to like, cause he wanted to make plans again, but then I just never. It just replied. fizzled kind yeah. of. Okay. All right. Uh, what about you? The Deal breaker if a guy has difficulty getting it up? No, I don't think it's a deal breaker. I okay. don't. It's it's happened before, and like I get it from their situation because it could be it could be stressful. Like they have to perform. Oh, and, okay. Like, you know. That's 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 good. Yeah, that's how I am too. Like after like the first or second time, no. But if it's like a continuous thing, then it's gonna be a little bit of a it's an issue. Yeah. It's a. Uh, this is oh, can you lower it to seventy, Eric? Um. Sarah, what about you? So trouble getting it up is usually indicative of like a larger health issue. So it depends on, it would depend on like what the root cause of it is and whether that is treatable or not. Yeah. But would it be a deal breaker? If it was because of something untreatable, then yeah, it would be a deal breaker because I don't want to, I'm not going to like marry someone if I can't have kids with them. Kind of like if it's going to mm -hmm. be a problem for, yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> Reverend and Ronin super chatted fifty dollars. Uh, thank you, Ronin. Statistically speaking, it's more of a fraction of the one percent that has those requirements. Yep. This does not include race slash ethnicity, orientation, etc. Yeah, it's a very small percentage that has all those things. Uh, Ronan, thank you for the uh, fifty dollar super chat. Much appreciated. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So um, I think everybody got to go on that. Let me just, uh, all right. Oh, can you hide that, Eric? Uh, yo, guys, Blue Chew, get Blue Chew. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's move it along. Actually, you know what? I think we should get to some Super Chats here. So guys, get your Super Chats in once again. $20 will be rad, 50 and up triggers TTS. And if you do it via Streamlabs, if you, if you do TTS through Streamlabs, it comes through the same, same with Super Chats. Just YouTube doesn't take their 30% cut. The link to donate through Streamlabs is in the description. All right, we have Stifler here. Ask the ladies to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. Sydney, you go first. I'm in the middle. Don't worry about it, go first. First. 10. Uh, and then we'll go you, 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 and then Tara, go ahead. Um. Are we talking about like overall? Looks. Looks? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to break it down, you could do, if you really want to break it down, you could do face and body. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, That's so it looks overall. That's too weird. Um, I guess an, an eight, a nine, I guess. I don't know. I don't really look at myself and think, damn, I look like, I guess I do if I have a good day, but I'm like, damn, I look like a 10, but that's just mentally speaking. I don't know. Like, I feel great. Okay, but so looks, like what do you rate yourself? Eight or nine? Sure. Which yeah. one? Pick one. Eight and a half. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. I think without makeup, I would say like seven. And with makeup, I would say eight and a half to nine. Okay. I'd say like a solid seven or eight. Okay, Tara, what about you? Let's say eight. Okay, so only one ten at the table. Sydney, we go through this every time. And we don't have to this time. Oh, uh, we do, but okay. Would, would anyone like to revise their answers? I have uh, some makeup remover. Does that, I mean, you mentioned anybody? I mean, I would take my makeup anybody? off and still keep my answer regardless, so. Uh, shit, I can't do that. Um, so wait, okay, Sydney. One day I'm going to convince you. Do you think all women are tens? You're going to convince me to lower my answer <laughs> yes. and lower my confidence? Yes. Is that, okay. No, it's not about lowering your confidence. I mean, I don't think, like, for me personally, like, I will always continue to say that just because I don't leave room for opinion from anyone else because it's just, like, kind of my, my confidence booster. And again, like, I don't care about, yeah. Okay. Next, super chat. No. Okay, so... <laughs> I just, so I haven't done a good job trying to convince you. No, you haven't. Yet. You're not. On this. Why? Let's, why? Because it's, it's delusional, Sydney. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. But Call I want to ask why it's delusional. Yeah. She's already set in her mind about it. So like nothing you say will this change This is like it. my sixth show with you. Like you got to accept it at that point. Well, I, I suppose I accept that she says it, but. But why you're, is it you're a 10 in delusion. Okay. I'm not saying that to be mean, but like... You're not... I don't take it as mean. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, you, otherwise you wouldn't be coming back on the show. No, I'm, yeah. I'm a big girl. Yeah. But, I, okay, like, let me... Do you guys know any guys who think they're hot shit, but they're not? Yes, a yeah. thousand percent. <laughs> Too many, actually. So you think I'm not... <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting there. Okay, so... Um, would you prefer a guy who is modest and humble or a guy who is cocky? Just really quick, yes or no answers. Why is humble? Here, move it. This microphone's kind of blocking you if you can scoot it. Or you're kind of like sitting, I don't know if you're looking at the monitor or what. But. Alvin Sam super chatted $49.99. Sydney, women also demonstrate confidence through humility. Like, isn't it confident to also just be like humble and humility? I'm not going to sit here and just be like, okay, like I'm a seven. Like, I'm not going to... I don't know. I just like personally for me and there's some days that I feel like that. Absolutely. Like there's some days I struggle with confidence and some days I struggle with looks and like my hair and like trying to figure shit out. But like 
I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, well, like, I'm a six and then leave it up for, like, another person's perspective. Like, I don't really care about what any other, like, another person's perspective. So, the, like, the crux of the whole rating thing, though, is it's not so much... The question is, what do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? But it's kind of like, what do you rate yourself within the context of the dating marketplace and what you kind of think, like other people potentially view you as mm -hmm. if I were to ask you that question if I, if I were to ask if we lined up a hundred men what they would rate you would that change your answer I'm not gonna sit here and argue the whole rating thing with you again like I'm over it Dang, thank you Bryce appreciate it we need to change the question these females never understand low ask them what do you think others would see you as attractiveness is based off of how many people you can attract not what you think slash feel about yourself Yo, Bryce, thank you, man, appreciate it. Um, but okay, so the question, kind of bringing it back. So would you prefer a guy who's modest and humble? Sure, I'm not, I'm not having this argument with you, honestly. I'm not doing this today. I do this we, with you we every, do it today. no, I do this with you every single time, and I'm not and, gonna do it And today. they love it. I'm not the doing it. The audience loves it. Well, we have 49 other starred super chats that I'm sure the audience <laughs> Listen, would love Stifler, as well. Listen, Stifler is dying to know. Oh, there are those 50. But, but are all women <laughs> tense? <laughs> I'm not having this conversation with you today. Wait, just, okay, I'm, I'm, not, not, gonna, I'm not gonna press you on your rating, okay, but Okay, great, are, let's stop. Hold on, but are all women tense? Sydney, it's my show. Okay. Are all women tens? Sure, yeah. Are all men tens? Sure, yeah. No. You don't think all men are tens? No. Come on. I don't think all women are tens. I don't think all men are tens. I'm saying for me. And that's all I'm going to say about this topic. What if you talk about it? I'm not having this topic. I'm not continuing this topic. Tara, go ahead. What if you have it on like an averageness rating? Because then by definition, if five is average, not everyone could be a 10. Okay. So what if, what if, what if like, what if you phrase it in like a just averageness scale? I'm not continuing this topic just because some of the point, again, nothing to do with you, but some of the point of views that you've said, I don't agree with. So I'm not going to continue a conversation with it. So I'm done with this rating topic. Why are you, why are you so triggered? I mean, I'm, I'm planning I'm on moving triggered. on, I'm but you're a bit like, triggered by this question. I mean, like, if you've asked her this, like, met, like multiple times, what do you expect and her to Martin say? Super chatted $50. Thank you, Martin. Here are the actual unbiased ratings from oh. a man with a very deserving Incoming. eye. From Brian, Daddy Data, 7.5, Chelsea Clinton, 5, Sweet and Sour, 6, Asian Persuasion, 8, X Monarcissist, 7. <laughs> I that love the name. That was funny. No, you, I like that. Actually, can you add that to your Instagram bio? Oh, Eczema wow. Narcissist. Eczema Narcissist. I don't think I'm a narcissist, am I? I'm of course 20. not. Of course not. Okay, let's do a couple super chats. Then we have to do the dating app reviews for the girls. Okay, so, and then we also need to get everyone's, keep this in mind for later, uh, your controversial dating opinion if you have one. Okay, so we have uh, Alvin Sam here. Yo, thank you for the 20. Appreciate it. Ladies, double standards or gender differences, pick only one. A promiscuous woman is a 3FO. A promiscuous man is a stud. Shoring support from Sacramento. Yo, Alvin, thank you so much for the support, man. Good to see you back in the chat. Uh, appreciate the support from Sacktown, man. Thank you. All right, we have... Uh, Tara, can, can you read this? You have a good speaking voice. Go ahead. Hey, Brian. Been big fan of the show, but can rarely catch it live here on East Coast. What's your thoughts on getting a married man or couple on the show? Have a good stream, y'all. Uh, we will be having, I don't know if you guys remember Lizzie from last show. Uh, we're gonna, she's been dating a guy for a year or two. Really cool girl. She's got a cool boyfriend. So we're gonna actually have them both be on the show. So uh, def definitely open to it, Nikolai. Thank you, man. All right. Yo, thank you for all our memberships. Appreciate it. Go for it, uh, Tara. I've noticed the hottest girl is always the one sitting across from Brian, and the oh ugliest is in the back. Come on, be nice, guys. Quality content. Also, Brian, those girls who call guys the p-word for wanting non-hairy women is wild AF. You were? Were you there? No, no, no you weren't there for that show. But oh, I, I was I, there for that show. I was, yeah. Oh well, the, but there we had another one recently, which I no. don't think you were here for, where the girl was saying that guys who prefer women with shaved legs are P words. Like as in like little children P words? Yeah, let's not use the actual word though just because yeah. of YouTube, TOS and stuff. 
but yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna really talk further about that, but I just thought that's, that's absurd. Um, anyways, thank you, SD, for the 20. Yo, Michael, thank you for the uh, 20. Question for the ladies, do you, you regret who you lost your virginity to? Yes or no? Go ahead, we'll start with you. Um, a thousand percent, yeah. It was not a good situation. That's all I want to say about that. What about you? Yeah, we were really young in high school. We, we don't know any better. Okay. Also, age, can you guys share like how old you were when you lost your virginity? I was 14, and I regret it a lot, yeah. I was 16. 18. And do you regret who you lost it to? No, I don't. Was it a, was it a hookup or boyfriend? Uh, I guess you could say situation. Sure. It lasted a while. Yeah. Sydney, what about you? I was 16, and I don't regret it. Tara? I was 17, and... I don't know. I guess, I guess, I yeah, I probably do regret it. All right, Kiki, what about you? Okay. Thank you, Kiki. Insightful as always. Yo, Jay, thank you for the $20 soup chat. Uh, God, bro, what the, the chats? Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, you girls now, the chats have been more ruthless this show for some reason than any other show I think we've ever had. So the three of us on the panel, smell your vibrator and tell me you deserve, deserve a good, what does that, what does that even mean? No idea. You, I don't know. Martin, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Cody, thank you. Appreciate the uh, membership. Dr. B, that came through. That came through. Uh, go for it, Tara. Recently single because he wasn't doing anything for himself. The guys you are seeing now, did you know them during your previous relationship? Was it an easy out with him going into the service? No disrespect, just curious. Is this directed at you? Um, it going might into be. the service? Was he going to the military? Yeah. Okay. The um, Marines. A little closer to the mic. Um. I mean, I he didn't officially decide to start like moving forward with that until after I left him. Um, so, I mean, it, it wasn't like an out. It was that I was moving for college, and I already knew that there's no way in hell that I would be able to maintain a relationship with someone that I'm not able to be with physically. Um, because I do feel like I, I'm not necessarily going to consider myself high maintenance in a relationship. But I do, like, I just need you physically there with me. Like, I need to be able to cuddle with you. Like, I need, like, it's it's so important to me. Like, that aspect of it. Like, I can't just maintain a relationship over the phone. So that was why we broke up. It was, that, like I said earlier, there was no bad blood in between either of us. Like, there was no ill intentions. There was, it was nothing bad. So it was just, I was moving forward with my life and he needed to move forward with his. All right. We have uh, Joel here. Actually, you know what? T, can you read this one for us? Ask the girls what they think if a woman says she's not in the right mind for a relationship. Is it possible later, good friends now, or just move on? So I think maybe this is more directed at you. You said earlier you're not really looking for a relationship right now. Do you have a response to Joel? I mean, If you're not ready to be in a relationship and you know yourself well, which I mean, I know myself pretty well. I've gone to years of therapy for that. I know myself pretty well. Um, I I would know whether or not that I'm emotionally ready to, you know, engage in a relationship with someone else because that's a whole like they're a person too. Like yes, I'm a person and I'm my own person, but that's a it's the same thing. Like they're their own person. They have their own lives going on. Why would I get into a relationship if I'm not ready for one and then potentially hurt the other person as well? Like, that's just not fair. Let's have you read this one, Amanda. I, I like, can't. Okay, okay. First girl on the right was making fun of her ex writing letters to her being a nice guy, yet still dumped him. Yet she's out hooking up on dating apps going after the F boys. Then wonder where are the nice guys dumped? Sorry, that's just how it happened. Like I I we broke up and he still writes me letters. I don't know what to say. Do you have to a that. copy? On I you. don't have Can you show me. us? I don't know, I don't, I don't. Okay. But um he sent Is it question it oh sorry, go ahead. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. He sent me like three within the last two weeks and I'm like Wait, is this like a stalker yeah. situation? No, 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 no. When did you break up with she's him? She's downplaying, like, I feel like his situation because he's low-key obsessed with her, too, Yikes. a little bit. 
That's a yikes. Well, it's it's reasonable. Like I said earlier, I was so much and this is this is going to sound really cocky, but it's like I was such a better partner than he was in the relationship. He was not necessarily the best at being a boyfriend meanwhile i was a really good girlfriend and i will i will hold myself to that high position like i was a good girlfriend and i know that i was a really good girlfriend and he realized after the fact and i feel like a lot of men do this he realized after the fact wow i lost a really good girl and he was like devastated and i was of course sad too like i was (laughs) thank you for that brian thank you so much you're welcome yeah thank you um i it's not I don't know. He just realized after the fact that, wow, I lost a really great girl. And I was like, yeah, When did did you break up with him? Uh, Like the end of June. So nine months ago about? Yeah. um, And was there any getting back together or was a clean break? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, he, I did still see him from time to time. Like if I went home for like break, like we'd like go get Starbucks or something. Um, But that was Starbucks him asking. is Starbucks code word for I'm not going to comment on that. Wait, but so okay, you guys hold on. You guys broke up but you continued hooking up. Here and there, yeah. He also came to Santa Barbara to come see me, which I thought was wild. I was like, "All right, sure," but he really wanted to and I was like, "All right." Um and that was in like what was it, Amanda? Like what month was that? It was like mm. the like early early like yeah. September maybe. Well, you, hold on. You just said there was a clean break, but you guys continued hooking up, and he came to see you recently. We're not together. He's not my boyfriend. That's, that's what not I mean a clean, clean. break. If you're still sleeping with someone, that's not a clean break. Oh, everyone goes back to their ex. Come on now. Let's. No. Nah. Yeah. Some people no. do. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's you didn't have a clean break, is what I'm saying. Sure. No. No. It wasn't a clean break. I guess. Okay. If that's what you define as a clean break. Okay. When's the but last? Th- I never led him to believe that we were going to be together. Like, I, like we're not together. We are not dating. You are not my boyfriend. I am not your girlfriend. Is he more into you than you're into him? Now? Yeah. I've, I'm like moved on. I have a million things happening in my life, like with school and work. Like I'm a busy person. Like I don't, like there's so many things going on, like with friends. Like I, there's just. When's the last time you saw him in person? Um, Christmas break. It was like. This is really messy situation. Um, I mean, it's not a. So I mean, my previous statement I would retract. He's not. I mean, he's obviously. Uh, you know, he's writing you letters. Are they? Mm-hmm. Are they poems? What? No, what they're is just he? like little letter, like updates, like oh, like what he's doing, in the. Um, what? Is, oh my god! I keep I keep thinking it's Navy and it's not the Navy. Um, Marines. Marines. Thank you. Um, it's just like he'll just tell me like what's going on and like he'll always add at the end like oh love you miss you and I don't know I just it's a lot okay well that's an interesting situation you've got yourself in um, does he know that you're seeing other guys I don't imagine so I'm not gonna go out of my way and be like by the way like I'm doing this like I don't think that that's like that's my personal information. Obviously now it's not because it's on the internet, but it's like why I don't feel like I owe him that to disclose that to him. If he straight up asked me, I would be honest with him, but he's never asked me. Do you think he's seeing other girls? I doubt it. Do you think you're leading him on? No, I've told him a million times and I've 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 tried to like be like, "Hey, like if still talking is like too much for you if that's like hard on you i like we don't have to talk anymore and i personally think it's better for both of us that we don't talk anymore but he always insists that no like he still wants to keep in contact and i'm obviously i've tried You, you have no idea how many different times i've tried to be like listen like this is not good for like either of us mental health wise like this is not good for either of us you know still be <clears throat> talking and he just like cannot let go so okay know. so when you have these conversations with him have you ever said do not contact me ag- again or i don't want to hear from you again or we're done S- stop talking to me and does, does he persist it's more so i i give him the not the option but i'm i lay it out like as it is i'm like this is not good for either of us 
so are you sure and every single time he still wants to like keep me around so is he in love with you probably i imagine so are you in love with him i care about him still i don't think i'm in love with were, him were you in love with him yeah 100 percent. okay um i it's obvious that he's he probably loves you well i mean i that yeah. sounds to be the case right but i mean you've stated you don't want to have a relationship with him and you don't see it ever going back there correct Unless he changes a lot about himself, like, I don't think I could see myself in the future being with him again. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, and I think even then, it's sometimes it's my philosophy when it comes to getting back together with someone, it's better to just move on, find someone new. I mean, what I, I would recommend to you is, is I think um, it's going to be hard for him, but I think it's pretty clear that he's not he's in love with you. Like he's not going to be wanting to distance himself from you. Um, you know, I think for the, for the best thing for both of you would be like, you might have to be the one that is like, Hey, I, I can't do this anymore. What are we doing here? It's, it's right. not fair to you. It's not fair to me because perhaps this guy's preventing you from, well, I know you said you kind of want to be single right now, but perhaps it's preventing you or inter and maybe it's not interrupting with your other, potential dating options mm -hmm. and I mean from what you said it sounds like you don't want to uh, this is not gonna become serious again or it's unlikely to it makes me feel guilty to some extent because but at the same time it's it makes me feel guilty but then also frustrated because he never put this effort when we were together he did he did not care that much when we were together he, and yeah. now all of a sudden that we're not together it's like this whole different person that's like putting in all this effort and wants me so bad and it's it's ugh, like he, you know it's, it's that say, that old saying you don't know what you've got until it's gone uh, exactly. you know yeah so um i think uh i mean i think the healthiest thing for both of you would be to he's not going to do it i think i mean it you're free to do whatever you want of course yeah. but uh i would i would nip that in the bud if i was if I was you. No, yeah, I have a I have a letter written out because they were like, Maya, like you can't just not send anything oh, back. Oh, you haven't sent it? No, it's still in the notebook. <laughs> oh, is it a breakup letter? It's not like a- And Martin super chatted $50. Thank you, Martin. Tara, Maya, and Tram. I've noticed that two of you have mentioned cuddling. Two questions. Have you ever been on a G600 jet? Have you ever cuddled with a six feet one inch multimillionaire? <laughs> Asking for myself, not a friend, but I'm only offering package deals, all or none. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Um. So that's for Tara, Maya, and Tram. Do you, Martin? Do you actually have a jet? Wait. Yeah. Um. Six one multimillionaire G six hundred jet. Do you guys accept his offer? I think he wants a foursome though. No, oh, I don't know about that, but. Not okay so. um okay let's uh we're gonna move it along but i i think uh it's it could be the case that you might be leading him on a bit that maybe that's not your intention but i would i think you should you were saying you've written out your final breakup message it's to him final breakup message it was just like at the end i was like by the way like i appreciate the letters you've sent and everything but i just don't think it's appropriate for our situation for you to be sending so many so I, the, and I, I was like, I hope you understand. Yeah. yeah. So you said he's a good guy, right? You said yeah. you care about him. Um, sometimes the best thing that we can do for someone is to like is to let them go. I know that sounds cliche. Oh, I tried. I tried. No, he sounds persistent, right? Yeah. Um, however, uh, you know, I think you have to be. I mean, when I say firm, I mean you do like a final conversation, and then if it continues. Is this guy gonna fucking hate me for saying this? If it continues, that's a block. I mean, if if yeah. you want it to be done, you seem to be okay. If you're okay with this kind of situation, by all means, continue. But I'm just, you need to lay down boundaries. Like, I'm done. Respect my decision. I wish you the best. I please find a. Uh, what's going on here, Eric? Um, oh, you got a. Sorry, guys. Fucking technical issue. I have no idea what's going on. Uh. Fuck. Yeah, you gotta close that thing. Just minimize this. Yeah, just close that. Fucking ad block piece of shit. 
<laughs> Motherfucking ad block. Wait, F11, F11. All right. Sorry, guys. Welcome to the Whatever Studios professionalism at its finest. Anyways, let's move on from that. Um, so uh, let's see here. Okay, we got this one here. Lukewarm, $20. Brian looking alfalfa from the Little Rascals. Is it still there? I fixed it. Yeah, my hair was scuffed. Thank you, man. Thank you, Luke. Appreciate it. Yo, Dylan Lolly, thank you for the 20. I'd be a full simp for Sarah. Actually, you read this. Go ahead. I'd be a full simp for Tara, but she's a California girl. Instant red flag. Love the show, Brian. Yo, Dylan, thank you, man. Uh, do I move the show to not California stand? I don't know. California, I'm... Beaten Cheek says, I, I, think, I thought about moving it to Hawaii, but he recommends not. I don't know. Maybe California, the weather, it's hard. I don't know. Anyways, Mike Davis, thank you, man, for the uh, 20. Folks, been away. Actually, uh, hmm, Sydney, you and Mike Davis have an intimate connection. Why don't you read this one? Do we? Okay. <clears throat> Folks, been away at an overseas vacation. Number one lesson I can report on is call it a day with these degenerate, oh low-life God. Western women. There's a whole world of women out there who will treat you like the king you are. True. Guys, please respond to Mike Davis. He wants the smoke. Oh, he's Maya, such a he wants the smoke. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. Maya, um, he wants the smoke. He wants the smoke. Mike, I think it's a two-way street you know in the same way that it's totally fair that girls need to stop saying there's no good guys out there consider there's good girls out there too so you know i think both sides need to stop with this exaggerating talk about there's no like good people of the opposite sex that's that's one not good vibes and counterintuitive <laughs> and yeah Yo, Mike Davis, Mike Davis, confirm or deny, are you a passport bro? And how many times have you gone to Thailand? Okay, uh, let's see here. We have, uh, oh, that's the one we just did. There's so many tonight. Yeah, we, we get we get a, getting a lot. Okay, Dave Auth, Canadian 20. Merci beaucoup uh, for the Canadian 20. It's okay, Brian. Even with your hair like that, you're a 6.9 tonight. Thank you, man. Brian, which girl from the panel is mostly your type? Oh, you're doing me dirty here, Dave Auth. Um, putting me on the spot. Hmm. Which girl is mostly my type? Um, I like to go to the club, so you can count me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, here, I'll... Now he's all nervous. <laughs> Put me on the spot. I'm blushing here. Um, how tall are you? Like, Five three. How tall are you? Five two. Into the mic. Five two. Um, what other questions do I need to ask? Uh, Aren't you gonna ask like our peen size? <laughs> oh, you mean labia size? <laughs> yeah, excuse me, excuse I me. I mean, if you guys are, I feel like that could potentially be a bit prodding, but if you don't object to that question, I'll no, ask. Oh, I, I object. object. I object. It was a joke. It was a joke. Tram, object or? About what? Your labia size. <laughs> no comment. Any rowdy. No comment? No comment. Okay. Tram, can you speak a little Vietnamese to me? Oh, God. <laughs> sure. Chào anh, anh khỏe không? That means, hi, how are you? Uh, I, I need, like, a, at least a paragraph. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Uh, let me see. Let me think. Hôm nay tôi ăn mì và gà. Tôi ăn một mình và không có không có muốn đi với ai hết. All right, I hope that sufficiently answers your question, Dave. Uh, <laughs> Alvin Sam, thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, we have Joshua Hayes, twenty dollars super chat. I use it for dating. Go out and meet people. Okay, I think that was related to the uh, dating app conversation. Uh, yo, James, thank you for the merci beaucoup pour le. Uh, eh bien donc, je ne connais pas les numéros, mais merci beaucoup for the uh, Canadian twenty set or twenty eight. Uh, this has been driving me foo for months, what is that green object in the center of the table? I cannot figure it out for the excellent panel of girls. Would you p 
reject or refuse a man over their general politics. So the thing in the middle of the table is, I don't know if we can do center zoom there. I don't know if Nickelodeon, 90s, there was this show called Guts. There was Global Guts and Guts. It was like this live studio audience show where they like would have a bunch of kids compete and they'd do like different challenges and they would get points as they move through the rounds. Oh my God, and then, I remember that. I've and then they that. would climb this mountain called the Agro Crag. Eric, can you pull up some like uh, Google images of the Agro Crag? And, it, and maybe Nickelodeon Guts, pull that up. And I fucking loved this show as a kid. And actually I was gonna on eBay, so they would give the big award. It was like that, but like 10 times bigger. And they sell for like thousands of dollars on eBay and I'm trying to get one. So this is like a little miniature. It was like a little trinket, 20 bucks. So that's from the TV show, just like a little nostalgia piece. Um, uh, F11, Eric. All right, I don't know if any of you re remember this, any nostalgia. Yeah, if scroll down just a little bit. Uh, no, on the other side. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's Mo. There's Mo, my first crush. Um, she had like this dope British accent. Scroll. That guy does not look like a kid. Scroll down a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's just like, I don't know. It's just like a nostalgia piece for me. Uh, so, oh, politics. Um, I mean... Would you reject or refuse a man over their politics? Sure, really quick, just yes or no on this over here. Um, it depends how, like, because I'm more liberal, obviously. It just depends how far right. I feel like m majority of the time it's gonna be, yeah, it is a deal breaker, but I don't know. Personally, I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, should we ask? Yeah. Okay. What, does every, everyone, ah want to just like say, are you more left, more right, liberal, Definitely conservative? Definitely more left, yeah. Um, yeah, same. Yeah, more, definitely more left. More liberal, more liberal. I mean, I would, like his political stance would be like a, like a factor, just like with like everything going on with like rights and like where to vote and stuff All like right, that yeah, right now. Get, let me help out with this. Put, put this on. I'm okay. Put it on. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's say, um, let's say you meet um, Trey. No, put it on the other What's way, up? backwards, backwards, backwards. There we go. All right, let's say this is, you meet him, this is Trey, and he's like Trump 2024. No. <laughs> Done deal? Immediately no, immediately no. Yeah, I agree. Bye, Trey, I'm sorry. Come on, Trey. Um, Do a man voice, Tara, come on. I'm giving you uh, a layup here. <laughs> What's um, up, dog? Oh my god. How about them taxes? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Taxes. <laughs> oh man. What do you want me to say? Actually, hold on. I want to come back to this one, Brian, with your type. Um, mostly your type. Um, you're seeing two guys right now. You're going to have to break up with them. I'm sorry. I know you're gonna have to break up with them. Like it's you know, like it's if a it's mutual. You thing. and me, like if it's gonna work out. <laughs> Honestly, you, you, I need you to be. You you have to just be loyal from the jump, you know. So okay. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so we have. Uh, let's see. Um, this has been trying. Okay, we already did this one. Uh, let's see. So by the Blondie standards, it's okay to objectify women on dating apps and lead them on, then waste their time. Good to know. That's already what they do. So. Who, women or men? Men. Men waste women's times on dating app? Yeah. Do they? I'm not, I'm not speaking from just my personal experience. Like, I have have plenty of female friends that have, like, dealt with men on dating apps. And, like, they're, it's, They be like, catfishing for real. They lie about their height, their, oh my God, the height. their Don't occupation. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started yeah. on but No, let's start on crazy. height. Wait, they lie about their height and their yeah, occupation? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, all Are the you time. kidding me? Are you kidding me? All all right. This was way back when I used to use dating apps, so they lie about it. Back in they the can day. Lie about them, like, I feel like everything. they don't lie anymore because they'll get caught. Like, like it's a known thing that like guys who lie really get old. caught. So it's like they'll be like five eleven or like six one or like I don't know. I don't know. I think I haven't I, gone on a date in a long time though. I think everyone's been lying on dating apps, so I think I I think it's cool. It's okay for men to lie about their height. Response. By how much though? Like what? To what extent? Like if you're five okay, dude, ten, dude. If you're, you're five six, just say you're six feet. 
Oh, absolutely not. That's way too much. Fuck it, dude. Bruv. Well, here's why. Here's why. It's because you mentioned catfishing, right? Right. Right. T-Dog. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) T-Dizzle. Okay. A lot of women on dating apps, the photos that they use on dating apps, full face of makeup, filters. That's lying. Ergo, we're just leveling the playing field. Hmm. Hmm. Do you, Do you have a response? I think yeah, I, I agree. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. that was easy. <laughs> well, I no have counter. a solution to this whole debate. Everyone, get but off backwards. all dating apps. Backwards. 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 Yeah, Has backwards. to be backwards. Okay. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you notice that anime shirt I was wearing at the beginning, it's because my I had like a little. Clothing mount function and Brian. Nobody no sh- nobody cares. I put this shirt on. I know, but you wanted it on so bad. Nobody and I just want to know. I just want to know why. Whoa! The, actually, that hat is quite looks good. Right, chat. Mm-hmm. One's in the chat. She looks good in the hat. Okay. We pro hat. So you guys are against. You guys got to push back. Uh, I mean, I mean a I, little against me here. Like I just said, men should. I just said men should lie about their height on dating apps. Well, I don't then, think you need to lie about it. I'm. I still text back men that are not six feet tall. Like it's not like a deal breaker. But a lot of women do care about height. Sure. Yeah. I think it definitely women, plays a actually. factor, but it's not necessarily gonna mean whether or not you're getting a text back. If it, if it kind that, of is though. Not from. Uh, I don't know. I'm speaking Most, for myself. If, that's not true so if a guy's shorter than you if he's okay uh, i said that i've gone on a date with a guy shorter than me and i'm five feet okay <laughs> that's wild <laughs> i just want to throw wild. that out yo there. but look at that's look fine. at your reaction right but okay so because five feet come on hey for a guy not you, you gotta be taller five, i know i come on five feet that's it wasn't short. a bad day that's way too short it wasn't a, a bad day i will say threw me off a little bit only because my 12 year old brother is like taller than me now. So I'm going on a date with a guy my age <laughs> oh, who's no. my height. Threw me off a little bit. But we just sat and we watched a movie at the movie theater. And so his height wasn't a factor. We were sitting. Okay, that's f- fine. That's, no. that's an exception. I mean, you went on a date. Would you, would you say, generally speaking, though, you prefer tall guys? I mean, tall for me, though, is like 5'5, five, 5'6. Five, five, General, okay, let me rephrase. I don't care about General, height. Generally speaking, would you prefer if a guy is taller than you? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Gen- it's not a factor, though, for me. Like, sure. It's not on my checklist. And generally speaking, men don't give a fuck about a girl's height. We don't really care. No, I think that I've, like, from experience, a guy would be like, oh, no, she's too tall. Like, if they think a girl is too tall and they're, like, insecure about their height, that plays a factor. I'm not saying every single man, but I'm... That's a kind of a common bias that I've heard. Yes, some men perhaps don't. It's I would say it's much less than women who wouldn't want to date a guy who's shorter than them. I agree with that. Yeah, much less. And then the thing I would add to that too is men men have that because not all men, but some men might not want to date a taller girl. It's not that they wouldn't date them. It's just. A lot of men just pre-disqualify themselves from even pursuing tall women because they just know from experience that tall women are not attracted to shorter men. Like but then I, that's where the confidence comes in. You're con- Look, you can be 5'5 five, five as a guy and confident. A lot of women who are, are not going to want to date a guy who's 5'5". Five, five. I'll take those ones. <laughs> All right, they're gonna into your DMs. Give they them go. to me. Send them Sydney's into the way. DMs they Send go. them Sydney's into way. The DMs they five go. five. I'll take you. <laughs> okay, we have uh, this one here. Uh, okay, let's have uh, let's have T Dizzle read this one. Go ahead. Telling a girl a secret is like buying an ad in the New York Times full page ad. That is half of the reason girls even look, even sorry, even hook up is for the bragging rights. Truth is, I don't trust niggas either. Take oh. it to the grave. Got to blurt that out, by the way. Can, are you allowed? <laughs> Can, oops. Okay, thank you, Mike Davis. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate that. Okay, Bernito Sandriguez, $20 soup chat. Tara, you get this one, go. 
Bumble is easily the worst dating app. First off, as a company, they support gun control. Second, they rely on women to make the first move when they almost never do. Even women know that making the first move is a man's job. <laughs> uh, Next. <laughs> Wait, why were you laughing, Sydney? I don't know, like, m- that's a man's job to make the first move? I mean, like, Pretty I see how of. most guys do, but, like, I think, like, Bumble being, like, the one to like have women make the first move is like a nice kind of like switch in a way but it does make things more complicated i don't know just like how he kind of like labeled that it was here yeah well he's not wrong though like it, <clears throat> were, did you want to come in or um, oh. can i give my argument as to why it should be a deal breaker for a girl if for or like how it's like a girl should maybe only accept if a guy makes the first move let me go first and then i'll yeah. have you come in so when it comes to Bumble, even it's, it's a very token level of, of initiative that women will show on Bumble. Because like I said previously, even though women have to message first, what, what they do is very different than what men do on different dating apps. And this has been my experience on Bumble and I've probably had over a thousand matches on Bumble. Um, so they will say, hey, How's it going? What's up? Because they have to. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they do that, the entire conversational burden shifts back to the guy anyways. Yeah, no, I, I agree so with like, that. So like, yeah, they have to say hi first, but it's so token, it's almost irrelevant because my experience on Bumble is they say, hey, what's up? How's it going? And then they expect you to just do what you would otherwise do if you were initiating. Mm-hmm. So it's a very token level of initiative. And I guarantee you, if I did what most girls do on dating apps, which is never move the interaction along, let me get your number. Let's go on a date Thursday. Are you free? I've maybe one time I've had a girl be like, are you, are you free Friday? Would you like to grab a drink? It's always me that has to do it. If I didn't do it, maybe we'd talk for two weeks and eventually she might do it. But my philosophy when it comes to dating apps, exchange a couple messages, you have to keep things moving pretty quick. There's no point having a pen pal for two weeks. Yeah. I'm gonna move it along. I'm like three messages. I'm like, you wanna grab a drink? Do you wanna get dinner? Whatever, don't do dinner dates, guys. But um, so even though with the token initiative, They'll send the first message and they're still going to expect you to just ask for the date, plan the date, set the time, get the number, all these steps. So I suppose it's a step in the right direction, but it's kind of negligible. Bumble's just like an interesting app, but like I do like how it kind of gives the women like the perspective to play with it. But I mean, I also like making the first move. Like I like initiating stuff more so, but I do understand how it's like it does like fall back and I feel like it's almost like a way for women to like be able to like initiate who like when they actually want to if that kind of makes sense there but I haven't yeah. downloaded Bumble before I've never done uh, a yeah. Bumble like I've done like the Bumble BFF when I was like younger but yeah I mean basically just the girl has to make send the first message yeah which they, I mean I don't think is <laughs> yeah there should be an app for more than that but in any case um, Tara go ahead you wanted to go So before you start, before you're like in a relationship with someone, basically every, every interaction you have with them, all of their behavior and their words is something I feel like you should be paying attention to. And so I like to have as a precondition that a guy approaches me first because it indicates that he has if he doesn't have like the courage and self-confidence and self-assurance to take a risk and go out of his comfort zone by approaching me first because he thinks I'm worth it enough to take that risk in the first place, even just making himself vulnerable by approaching me and everything, then he doesn't have the level of courage and self-assurance that I'm looking for in a partner in the first place. So by having that as like a first line of like expectation, then I've already 
that's like we talk a lot about like having standards but it's not it's so much more and way more like subtle than six feet six figures six inch whatever it's way more you know their character and that's such an easy way to tell so much about someone's character and like you know have high standards in just that one act no yeah I totally agree with that honestly like I think everything she said was pretty spot on like if you can't even like send the first text it's like really it just doesn't make sense but like can I ask if you like want to talk to the guy too and like you have a crush on the guy or like want to reach out to the guy would you be willing to send that first text to initiate first or would you just want to like kind of like sit back and like wait for him to do it no, I wouldn't I, I have I've like just been like hi like it's just a simple little hey hi or like you're hot I don't know just any like it's not I don't see it as like a big deal to like for me to do it obviously I'd rather them do it first but it's like for example like with tinder it's like if they've already swiped right on me and then I swipe right on them it's like I'm like okay now we matched now that I was the one that took initiative but it's like sometimes if they're, if they're really hot I'll be like you're hot and then that's it. But would you ever take initiative to be like, oh, like, let's go for a drink sometime or like, oh, no. let's go. Why? Hmm. Can I ask? Yeah. Just because it's like, I don't really, again, I don't use these dating apps that much, like to actively like be dating people. So it's like, if you want to see me or something, then you can ask, but I'm not going to go out of my way to ask. Well, here, I mean, here's the other thing. She doesn't have to. Yeah, that too. She doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Like, if a guy doesn't, because girls don't really throw themselves at men the same way that men throw themselves at women. Right. So, like, as a guy, you need to take initiative. So, women understand this. Women expect it to happen because that's just how the meta is. So, why... You're in a stronger negotiating position if someone's chasing after you. Like, you're in a better position romantically. So why, why would you give up that power? I don't know. See, for me, I find Being, it the opposite. Well, okay. You, that's a good point because like there is some power in like being the one to like take that initiative, yeah. but also like when you have someone pursuing you, you are in a position of, they want you. Right. No, like, I you're in a better, uh, power position, let's say. So, um, like, so why nobody wants to nobody wants less power i don't know for me i think it's like at least like my perspective like as a woman like coming into like like one of the reasons that i like making the first move the most and why i enjoy doing it majority of the time you don't do it the most Sydney. is come I, on you do it you do it but you don't do it the most no but like for like people that i want to yes but then if i have like like i have like guys in my dms that i'm just like not interested in that are shooting their shot but like if i like see a guy and i'm like interested and I go up and I talk to him I find it more of like a more power move for me just because like guys don't get that shit a lot you know like if you compliment a guy's haircut he remembers that all week like guys don't 100% get recognized right. like that a lot right so yeah. I feel like if uh, me as a woman like goes and like makes that first initiative and makes that first move that's something that will throw the guy kind of like off a little bit and mm -hmm. like 100% either a leave him thinking about it or just be like oh and that for me is like my power move Oh, definitely. I mean, like, I think, yeah. and I, I think one, if women do shoot their shot, actually your chance of it actually being successful is really, really high. Yeah. Whereas like most dudes, like honestly, you're lucky if like 10% of the girls you talk to or even want to talk to you. Well, that's why I most think, like, dudes just little get compliments blanked. too. Like even like random compliments, like for a guy at a grocery store, like, oh, like your haircut or oh, like I like this, like something. Sure. They think about it all week. Men, mm -hmm. men almost never, like exactly. men never get complimented. So you say all week, like a dude who doesn't get a lot of compliments and if you compliment him, he'll remember that shit for. Yeah. Cause like think about like us as women, like our girlfriends are complimenting us constantly and like guys don't have their homies being like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. That's just like kind of like my look on it okay got it um so let's actually let's keep it moving yo lewis brito thank you for the 20 dollars super chat i love your s smile Brittany. who's Brittany? who the fuck <laughs> um who the fuck is that guy who is Brittany? hello all right thank you man all right uh we have davis here uh let's get uh let's get amanda on this one okay. thank you mike davis for the 20. 
Never share good news with men or women, like a shark sniffing blood. <laughs> women will blood suck every drop. As for men, be smiling in your face. <laughs> Meanwhile, they praying on your downfall, like it's the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> All right, man. I, the, the chat has been uh, a little spicy tonight. Eh? Uh, is it those post Valentine's blues? I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Um, Yo, Britta, whoops, Sydney. Sydney, I love your smile. Can we, Sydney, can you give a little smile to this Aww, camera right here? That was sweet. Little wink? Little wink to like, which camera? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that. Can you do the wink? The wink? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Sydney. <laughs> All right, we have Burning Below 20. If you're always having problems with your SO, you shouldn't be together anymore anyways. Sure, you had good times, but it's obviously not working anymore. I share with my friends if we broke up. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, we have Alec here. Alex, excuse me. Keep up the good podcast, man. Love them. I'm hooked. Also, please bring back the pranks. I don't know what happened my, with my voice there, guys. Apologies. Your math poem reading is one of my favorites of yours. You should show them if they haven't seen it. LOL. Yeah, that, that's honestly my poetry reading one's one of my personal favorites. So, by the way, guys, some of you might be new here to the channel. Like, you just think I do the dating podcast. Well, that's what I just do now. But in the past, like, I have a ton of good content on the channel. If you want to go consume it, it's small, digestible, three-minute videos, prank stuff, um, some very viral, previously very viral stuff. So check it out, guys. All right, this one came through. We have... Uh, Poke, poker ace, I don't know. 20, thank you, man. How do the ladies feel about men sharing their nudes with the homies? This is actually kind of an interesting comparison. Does this sound violating to you? Well, same, almost all decent men. Oh, signed, almost all decent men, respectfully. Yeah, so your response to that? What do you mean, like, sharing nudes? Like okay, so just really quick show of hands. Who here has sent a guy a nude photo? Show of hands. Thick knee. No? Okay. All right. So he's asking, how would you feel about your man sharing your nudes with his buddies? Like showing, not sending it to him. I suppose that could be the situation. But let's keep it a bit more um, favorable. He's showing your nudes that you sent him on your phone. I definitely, I mean, like, I wouldn't love it. I, I would be kind of mad. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that to him either okay being like if you sent me a dick pic and i'm just like oh my god guys look no i'm mm, not gonna do that sure i would be so pissed i would like tell him to delete it or i'll delete it myself off his phone mm. it's just rude and so pissed I would, be would you pissed. slash his tires fuck yeah i would have you ever slashed a guy's tires yeah i have oh shit he deserved it though what did he do how many I, <laughs> all four i believe you <laughs> fucking cheated on me how <laughs> all four tires that's a bit no i did one so he doesn't good. claim insurance good oh, i heard if you <laughs> wow <laughs> Wow. Um, oh, man. Careful, Brian. Yeah. Uh, although, uh, <laughs> okay, so. Um, no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Have you done it to any other guys or just that guy? Just that guy. Did you destroy any of his other property? Um, no, the other ex, the other ex, I bleached all of his clothes in the bathtub. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Uh, Okay, finally we're getting to some juicy stuff. I got. I want to hear the rest of the tea from the rest of the table on on this sort of shit. But okay, so you bleached all his clothes. Mm -hmm. What keeps spilling? Let's hear more. That's it. That's oh, that's all, it. All the crazy stuff I've done. I Come think I'm on, done. there's more. more. There's more. No, that's the, the crazy. Is there any other things that you've like thought about doing? Um. Into the mic. Definitely. Um, <laughs> I kind of like. What's your next game plan? What's the next cheater getting? Dude. Probably leak his social security and Bro, <laughs> yikes. on the internet on like Craigslist or something. <laughs> oh, oh. Real quick. Um, okay, so you slashed a dude's tires. Did he know it was you? I'm pretty sure he knows it was me because it was literally the day after we broke up. And he, <laughs> wait, but so he cheated on you? Yeah. How long were you guys dating? Seven months. Okay. That's and a text. That's a for real. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> could have saved him some tires. Okay, and um, have you ever cheated on the guy? No. Okay. Damn. Okay. So don't. Uh, okay. Slash your tires. <laughs> How did? Wait. I'm trying. To, I lost my place here. Um, Eric, can you close the door? It's getting a little loud. Um, how did we get to that? What was the question? Anybody um, remember? No, oh, the nudes. Sharing the nudes. You'd mm. be pissed if you shared your nudes. What about you? 
Um, yeah, I'd be pissed, but I, if I share nudes, it means that I trust you, and like, I've only sent it to like two people, mm -hmm. you know, like sure. total, and like I've talked to them before, and like obviously, like if they start pushing, I'll be like, I'm not comfortable, like unless I trust you, then then I might share it. Sure, Sydney. Yeah, I mean, I don't send nudes, but I like I think like. Yeah, I think, like, if it's comparing to, like, what we were talking about earlier about, like, women, like, telling the secrets of, like, the bedtime or, like, versus, like, showing it, I think that's two completely different things, like a visual versus a verbal. Yep. But, yeah, no, would not be happy if I, like, the fuck? Tara, what about you? I mean, obviously, I would be so pissed if the person I was dating did that. So, I mean, I guess I, I, get, I get the analogy here on that that is, like... I think to us like an obvious extreme violation so if we were to you know it, go in explicit detail about the body shape form or performance of our partner to a friend like that that could be seen as that that would be violating as well yeah i sent the photo to you specifically to you not to be shared with everyone else yeah mm -hmm. i think this tts is about to come through so i'm just waiting on it There we go. Oh, Pythera super chatted $50. I like with Tram. She said N word without hesitation. I, Tram, if you ever want to go on a Texas date, <laughs> let me know. Texas. I'll fly you out, fly you out, baby girl. We'll roll out with a marathon date. <laughs> you down, T? If he's not a weirdo, then yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, Pi. Op Opa, thank you for the uh, 50. Appreciate it, man. Or thank you for the TTS. So is that you're agreeing to go on a date with him? No, I was just kidding. Okay. Hey, sweet, fly you out. Come on. All right. So Sorry. we're going to come back to the Super Chats. We're going to do the dating app review. Eric, can you pull it up? First one. We only got two profiles here. Oh, wait. Sorry. Hold on. Before we get to that really quick, that just back to this one. This so I think what he's trying to say here, obviously, it's not exactly the same but in the same way that you know we were talking about how men might feel hard done by if a woman reveals to her friends intimate details after a first in sexual encounter he's kind of relating it to hey how would you feel if your guy is sharing nudes with his buddies all right eric you can go ahead and pull it back up All right, so we have Maya's hinge profile here. Okay, so we'll instantly hit it off. You hit hate Helen Keller. You watched White Lotus and loved Tanya. You pay for my Starbucks. Okay, you want dudes to pay for your Starbucks next? Uh, my greatest strength, everything because I'm perfect. <laughs> Are you perfect? Obviously, that's just to be funny. <laughs> Wait, what's your beef with Helen Keller? Oh my God, that bitch was fucking lying about everything. She literally, she either, okay, 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 okay. Oh. She was not a real person. Like she had, like she could see, she could see in here. She could, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. She could see, she could hear. <laughs> I hate Helen Keller. That whole thing is a lie. Everyone agrees with me. There's few people that don't agree with me. And I really like, I, I you got me so riled up right now just talking about so, it. Like, so you're yo, not a fan of the always believe women movement, clearly. Oh my God. Please, that has nothing Whoa, to do with Helen Keller. What? Tara, freaking derailing the conversation. Do you really think that? You, do you really think you. that a blind and deaf bitch drove a plane? Oh, really? Bitch. Really? Tell us how you this really so feel. I, oh, Tell I us will. how you really oh, feel. About Helen Keller, I yo, will. Yo. I cannot stand Helen Keller. I can't. What did she I do really to you? <laughs> she lied to everybody. She lied to everybody. She's um, a bad impression. She lied to everyone. She was not blind and deaf. I know she was. Like, even if she was a real person, like, she existed. Yo. She, did, she was not blind and deaf. You, you've been checked out of this conversation for the past hour, but bring You're up Helen Keller. $50. Can the prettiest girl in the podcast, Tara Roll, play as a cat girl for a minute? If she meows, I will donate $100. Wait. Love them blondes. Free top. Uh, okay, go for it, Tara. T meow yeah into this camera right here can you do a wink while you do it too or afterwards um, how about just the meow oh okay <clears throat> look meow right there into the camera meow. 
You guys, do I get a cut? Anyways, I know, bro. Maybe he'll he'll have to up the ante. What? Tell us what he, else. He just gave you. A, he said he'd give hey. you a hundred dollars. Yo, uh, go buy Iffy. Let's up the ante here. What else do you want Tara to do? Maybe me and her we can negotiate something. Um, okay. As long so. as it doesn't cross obvious boundaries. Yeah. Yo. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's. Um, Helen Keller. What else do you, you want? Do you like, share, I, Amanda, do you share her disdain for Helen Keller? I don't. <laughs> does she talk? How frequently does she bring up Helen Keller? She's brought it up a couple of times about it. Why? Because she literally lied to everybody. She was not real. I don't so, care. You sounds, cannot convince me anything else. Helen Keller was not blind and deaf. Like that she it was like that whole thing was a lie. It was a it was a, it was a lie. You know who else this reminds me of? Hmm. Speaking of famous women. Amber Heard. Amber Heard lied about all that shit. Okay, moving on. Amber Heard. Oh, okay, cool. We're on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's bring it back to the app, Eric. Oh, what the fuck did I just... All right, 18cc. Oh, she's from the Bay. Can we see you go... Do you know how to go high fee? What? You're from the Bay and you don't know how to I go mean, high like, fee? I've heard the word, Hello? but like, what are you... like? Ghost ride the whip? Shake them dreads? Tell me how the fuck, how's the rest go? Chat, help me out here. Ghost ride the whip. Shake them dreads. How, chat, help me out. How's the rest of that fucking mid 2000s song go? E40, yep. Help me out. Ghost ride oh, the E40, whip. Yeah. Shake them dreads. Hello, anybody? Chat, hello? I think the moment's over, Brian. I think Might there's a over. delay. I think there's a delay. Okay. Um, next one, Eric. Okay, yes, drinks, yes, smokes marijuana. Okay, next. Be funny, tall, and slay. Oh, okay. Be funny, tall, and slay. How tall? I mean, uh, it's not a deal breaker. But just be tall. Like, don't be short. Give us a number. Minimum, like, 5'9". Go ahead, Tara. You wanted to say something? I was just laughing. It was just a funny way to put it. Don't be short. Obviously, she's, <laughs> it's a joke. Like, guys can't just not be short. But, yeah. Okay. Um, wait, wait, pull it back up, Eric. Okay, be funny. Funny guys are important to me. It's very important that you're funny. I, and if I, you can't yeah. match my sense of humor, I... <sighs> I want to ask the girls here. What percentage of men that you meet or what percentage of men do you think are funny? Go ahead. A lot of them. A lot of um. Give us a percentage. Percentage, you know what? Half, I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna 10%. say like like sixty. Sixty percent of men are funny. Okay. That that I've met, yeah. Okay, a lot of sure. the guys that I know are funny. All right. T. Seventy um, percent. Oh say. wow. Okay, that's generous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, seventy-five. Oh. Thirty. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I'd, Thirty. I'd say like half. Oh wow. Okay. I put that. Okay, anyways, um, pull it back up here. Next. All right, and I think no that's the <laughs> end of Amanda. that's the end of her hinge. Next one. No, there's... Oh, there's more. Uh, my therapist would say I need to resolve issues with my father really quick. We mentioned that beginning of the show. Give us like a 30-second breakdown of what you mean by that. We don't fuck with Robert. No, no. Robert is not a good person. We don't like Robert. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Yeah. Any? Do you think it's po any chance of reconciliation, or that ship has sailed? He's a very stubborn guy, and he has his own issues to resolve. Mm -hmm. So, sorry until okay. that happens. Sure. Yeah. Eric, can you pull it back up? Next. Okay. Next. And you have twenty-four pending matches. That's as of like, literally. Today, to, yeah. Today. When we took the screenshot, yeah, before the show, because I, I told you I went on a little hinge binge oh. last night, and I was just like, da, 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 da. nice, yeah. nice. Okay, uh, let's do the next one, Eric. We can go ahead and pull it up. All right, this is oh, this is Maya's Tinder. It's basically pretty much the same, but her Tinder, and then she says, "I will make you a sandwich." In her Insta, that gets a lot of feedback. The, the, sandwich, the sandwich thing? thing always gets feedback for some reason. Okay, uh, next. Okay, that's you next to a waterfall. It's in Hawaii. Had a great time. Next. Also next. Maybe. Next. 
Selfies next. Okay, Spider Man for Halloween, maybe. All right, next. Okay, bathroom selfie. Oh, is that CC? It is, yeah. yeah. Okay, next. Don't ask me why I recognize the woman's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was really quick. Crazy, but that not was questionable. <laughs> Have you been in Yo, there? What? what are you I, doing in there, Brian? Huh? I went to CC a, a long time ago. So the me, the men's and women's bathrooms obviously have the same architecture, whatever. Ooh, interesting. And tile work. Okay. And, okay. <laughs> next one. Maya. Okay. Next. Next. Oh. You look so beautiful in all of these, by the way. I'm sure, you get, I'm sure you get lots and lots of matches. I bet she gets a shit ton of matches. Asking for sandwiches. Okay. It's always the sandwiches. It's always That's the sandwiches. Always what they do you make a good sandwich? I though? make a mean sandwich. Is it a good? Brian. Is I it, do. I what, do. What about um, Amanda? Does she make a good sandwich? Amanda mm -hmm. makes good sandwiches. Do you, do you make good sandwiches? Mine are pretty plain. Yeah, but they're still good. They're still good. I At thought least Amanda I'm aware. Uh, let's pull it back up, Eric. All right. Uh, Amanda is weirdly attracted to mustaches. Okay. Um, why is that? Top Gun. Pretty oh, much. The, that, like that's the, it. The movie? Yeah, yeah, no. I, yeah, the remake or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. What about beards? Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really mind facial hair. Aren't you engaged? <laughs> Pull out the ring, Brian. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, God. He took it off, so that explains everything. Amanda? <laughs> I'm pretty young. Will you marry me? <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to say no. Because of the, because two, the I, two other guys you're seeing right now? Is it because of his fiance? It's because I barely know you. Come on, guys. I, mean? ba I barely I've, know you. I've had a crush on you for years. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I, I've had a crush on you for like two hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Still, that doesn't tell me anything about yourself. He has a mustache. Ask me some questions, okay. baby girl. What's up? <laughs> Ask her out on a date. What the, the baby fuck? Girl. Not the baby what? girl. <laughs> the real one. All right, let me do the, uh, let me do the shift. Yo, T. No, not me. Do her. No. Uh, she you hates me for sure. Why are you homie hopping right you? now? Who told you I hate you? T do someone else who said that. I just feel like you hate me with a passion. Okay. What? T, will so you marry me? True. No, I'm okay. Is it because... Um, <laughs> you think about that. No marriage? What, what about like... Um, what about like... A relationship where you just bring me food all the time and I kind of ignore you a lot. That's a relationship to you? Yeah. Are hell you down for that? No, Not no. a marriage, but like you just bring me food and shit. Hell no. And I just use you for back massages? I want massages. Huh? I want massages. Huh? I want massages. Oh, can you hear me? I, oh, you want to oh, no, no. do a trade? He would be the only one getting the massages. Oh. No, I'll trade. I'm down to trade. You down oh, wow. to trade? A ring for a massage? No, 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 like massage, <laughs> massage for massage. Yeah. You, do you give a good back, back massage? I would say so. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I have small hands, do you, but After the show, you down fun. for a little massage exchange? Maybe. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Hello, Riz. Hello, Riz. True. That was pretty He's good, Riz. Kidding. Yeah, Brian has Riz. Was it? I'm There's... actually not upset about that. I thought it was... I'm not upset about it. Yo, you it. haven't seen nothing. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, nah, you know. Just, okay. Um, let's see here. We have... Uh, oh, no, sorry. We have to continue with Amanda's wonderful dating profile. Right. Where she gets all the bitches. Right? Actually... I bet you get... Amanda, you're popular. Come on. You get all the bitches. Amanda has Riz. Amanda if she's for sure has else, Riz. she's lying. Amanda has Riz. Amanda has Riz. I guess. <laughs> Yo, do you have Riz though? I don't know. Oh my god! I don't know if the, I do. Tell him the what's the one Riz word we use? What the, Riz? Uh, the, it's like the like not the Rizzler. What is it? The, can I can I get the full definition of Riz? Because I still game. don't fully understand it's it. Like, game. Game. Yeah. Like, He's got game. He's okay. got Riz. Cool. Yeah. I'm a little slow there. I just didn't. Oh know. my god! I'm, the Wizard of Oz. 
The mm. Rizzler. The Wizard of Oz. The Rizzler. Okay. <sighs> okay. The Rizzler from Sizzler. Don't oh eat at God. Sizzler, by the way, guys. That food's dog shit. And I'm never getting a sponsorship from Sizzler. Did they go bankrupt? Okay. Um, let's pull back up the dating app review. Okay. Weirdly attracted to mustaches. Cool. Next. Wait. Hold on. Go. Shit. Can you go back to it, Eric? Yeah. I had a question about that photo. My photo? That photo. How drunk are you in this photo? <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm actually sunburnt. Oh. Yeah. I thought you had a little glow going. No. You know. No. See, that's, that's such a cute photo. Yeah, it's you for guys Fourth are of July. so cute. And all your, I know, all don't things. we? <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> uh, okay, 1853. And you're kind of too tall for me, Amanda. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. You giant Amazon woman. Okay. Uh, what's the shirt say? It says make boys cry. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, you should have worn hold that up. on this show. Are you kidding Yo, me? I should have. It that would have made a lot of people no, mad. Hold on. <laughs> what do I got here? <laughs> 10 seconds later. Um, make boys cry. It's easy. Is that what the, sh that's what the shirt says, right? Yeah. By the way, pull it back up for a sec, Eric. Bro, you gotta clean your fucking vanity. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Amanda, get your don't, shit don't together. That. Don't look at that. Yo, are you guys roommates, housemates? That's not our house, though. No. Oh. This is back in my house, like with, with your parents? my family. Mm -hmm. We actually even just worse. Our <laughs> Yo, clean up your shit. What is that? A fuck? What's that? Seven Eleven cup? What is that? No, what is it's that? Chick Fil A. It's a Chick Fil A cup. Bro, and you're leaving that shit on the kitchen, on the bathroom it's vanity. The bathroom. What are you like? You're drunk after a it. night out, I'm and you're just like puking, and you're like drinking your. Chick-fil-A I want to I want to ask why you think I was drunk. Why did you think I was drunk the first time? I don't I don't know. Don't worry about it. Okay, so your shirt says what is it? Make boys I can't sorry, I can't. What does it say? Make boys cry. Make boys cry. Why? I just thought it was just a funny joke. What, what do you think of like, men? Why not? What do I think of men? Yeah. Like what do you mean? In general, what do you think of men? I don't know how to answer that. I like. You I don't have think a shirt. Any... You have a shirt that says "Make it's, Boys it's Cry." Not, it's a joke. It's a joke. I don't actually want to make them cry. Obviously. I mean, to some degree, though. Like for you're you looking to... at it too literally. Like well, I like. I don't know. I just. It's, a, it's just a shirt. Well, I There's mean, welcome, of welcome what to about a your man's, anime shirt. Welcome to a man's world. We tend to view things quite literally. But um, what about the anime shirt? How's that? You're kind of deflecting there by bringing up the anime shirt. <laughs> and the anime <laughs> shirt doesn't deflecting. say make women cry. But so it's a joke? Yes, it's a joke. It's just a you, joke. You I can confirm Amanda does not make boys cry for fun. I can confirm that. But I mean, what, I, what would compel you to wear something... It's just a cute fucking t-shirt, right? It's Brian. just a top. <laughs> like, 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 I would like wear it. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever worn that to school? No. Okay. I haven't. I've, have you worn it in public? Mm, I think like once, but I literally don't even remember when. Well, in any case, you've taken a photo in it and it's either on your Instagram or it's on your dating profile. That's true. I want to ask the girls a question. If you saw a man wearing a shirt that read, I like to make women cry, <laughs> would you not view that as misogynistic? Probably. Mm. Would you stay away from that guy? Probably. <laughs> Honestly, mm -hmm. like if you take it as stay away, like okay, then stay away. It's it's I don't it's, it's not a win win deep. type of shirt. Like shoot, they stay away from you and you have a cute top. Like okay, bro, whatever. that's a big hold on, hold on. <laughs> maybe maybe take it. A win it is a win. A win is a win. A yeah. win is a win. A 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 win why is, a is it wait, why is it a good thing for like all guys to stay away from you? Girl, it's not that serious. It's just like it's like okay, like you don't want to pick a match with me almost. Yeah, like like if it's you okay, can't take like, a joke over I, a shirt, yeah. that's another it's problem. Whatever. I get, your position may be that it's a joke, but I guess like the way I'm trying to frame this is if a guy wore a shirt that said, I like to make women cry, I don't think a lot of women would think that's funny. Well, we said boys, not men. But I'm, 
I'm giving you the exact mirror opposite. Right, but I'm just saying, like, women, girls, like... So it's okay when women wear something like that, but it's not okay if no, men wear something no, like that. I was that. just I talking about the wording. Like, it says make boys cry, not like make men boys. cry. Like, if you're gonna cry... Like a boy Oh, so you, it's girl. better to make children yeah. cry? Yes. Oh my God. That's even worse. Oh, gosh. No, but... I think, I think this conversation's already dead. Like, it's if people already are gonna see it, like, either from my perspective or your perspective. But... I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. So would you, and I want you guys to answer honestly, if you saw a guy wearing a shirt that says, I like to make women cry. I like to make girls cry. Obviously we're, I know we're talking about adults here. You wouldn't like, that wouldn't make you raise an eyebrow. I think it would. I'd raise an but eyebrow, but I'm aware of most that. Most women would not take that as a joke. Okay. Well then funny. if you don't take her shirt as a joke, you don't take it as a joke. Boo hoo. Sorry. It's a cute t-shirt. I don't know what else to say. But that's here's the difference. It's okay to like wear shit like that. That's like basically man hating, but it would never be okay to wear that. You roll you roll your eyes, but here, roll your eyes again so the camera picks it up. <laughs> no. Do the eye roll again. Oh, oh shit. No. Michael, thank you, man. Michael Wyndham super chatted $100. Damn. Love you, Tara. Baby girl. <laughs> Keep brining Tara to your future podcasts for free money. Always bored. God bless America, free top G. Yo, uh, Michael, thank you for the big $100 soup chat. Really appreciate your support, man. Thank you so much for your patronage. It means the world. I think this is, uh, I believe this is your first time uh, super chatting during the show. So thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to let you off the hook yet. So would you take an issue with a guy who wore a shirt that said, I like to make women cry? Or I make women. I don't. I don't exactly remember like, the exact. But the thing phrasing. is, I'm self aware of that, and I'm self aware that the shirt is toxic. And like, I'm already on the app, you know. Like, I'm already talking to multiple guys. Like, I'm like, I don't know. Like the app. Like you're already talking to multiple guys. You're seeing multiple pe profiles, I guess, mm -hmm. with different pictures. So like, I don't know. Like you can obviously obviously tell. Like I'm not loyal to anyone but myself in that moment because i'm just in the market you know like well I'm, I'm not asking if you're loyal to anybody i'm asking you specifically about the shirt i think what brian's getting at is or i mean how i see it is just even if it wasn't a men thing even if it was just like make blondes cry like make brunettes cry like but that's also the same just, thing as like blondes have fun Blondes do everything more, or like have yeah, more. Yeah, blondes have more fun. Okay, like you irrelevant. Know what I mean? Like this, this is, is all just like. I just don't think it's cute to be like. I don't know. It, it's. I feel like it's become like cute to be mean or cute to become toxic. Like it's like quirky to be toxic against men. Like it's quirky to hate men. It's like quirky to be a bitch and like do whatever you want and say whatever you want. It's quirky to make boys cry. It's quirky cute, and I like. I don't know. I, I just. It's not that. Deep. So I deep. like swear like it's not I just it's a t -shirt. it just <laughs> matched it was I red know. and no, red this is an like, attack on you I don't think you're a bad person sorry this is the, I didn't mean that at all I think I, I didn't want to mean for it to come across that way that's my bad I think it's more just it's crazy to think that there's like fashion statements that are romanticizing just the I don't same know, brand also the has a t-shirt that funny. says it's a cover like the same brand also has a t-shirt that says like a bunch of like explicit explicit like sex shit on it or like more like worse stuff we're not like talking that. about like, that it's, not, it's irrelevant it's a t-shirt that's irrelevant it's a t-shirt it's, it's just literally a just a t-shirt like, it's also the same thing as like dilfs like i love dilfs that's like, different like what? whatever it's still like it's still a title like whatever let me okay you see you're tired of this too it's no no no, no I'm, not, I'm, I'm happy to engage in this so okay here's if if you replace the word man with another group and it's either let's say it becomes sexist or racist it's probably wrong yeah i like to make x group cry okay i like to make i, I don't want this to get clipped so i'm trying to like <laughs> scape scape around it I like to make X ethnic group cry, racist or not. Well, if you're specifying gender, yeah. Wait. Oh, I mean, not gender. I mean, um, ethnicity. Sorry, I blank. But you've specified the gender. I was, I was thinking about earlier. What were you thinking about? 
this the whole thing about the t-shirt yeah no that's what i'm talking about explain it again look explain what like what you just said again okay your shirt says what is it make boys cry i made what is it what yeah, does it say yeah, yeah make boys cry make boys cry I'm saying if a guy were to wear a shirt that says make women cry, it would not be appropriate. I guess it wouldn't, but that's also like why I haven't worn the shirt like since that picture. Like I haven't worn it. Yeah, what? I don't think it's like the people that wear it are endorsing like bullying people, but it's just it's just I mean, yeah, and this doesn't really apply because it's not like you're, but it's just, you know, it's, it, it shows like it, it shows a, like a certain amount of like someone's character or like values at least a little bit, I feel like. So it doesn't super apply if you're not, if you're not wanting good relationships with the opposite sex, but I feel like if you do want a, a good relationship with the opposite sex, you probably shouldn't start by like. Please send me the here, link of that t-shirt later because I want to get one. Send, send me Yo, the link. what the fuck's... Hold on, repeat that, Sydney. It's not... It's just a t-shirt. Like, it's, it's just not... A repeat it. I was just saying, send the link of the t-shirt. Like, I, I, I see the, the brand... That's the fucking shocking. That f That's fucking shocking. It's literally a t-shirt. Like, like, that's really? honestly, it's Sydney, just that's a abhorrent. It's t-shirt. Yeah, it literally is. I you disagree? I think it's that big of a deal. That's abhorrent, Sydney. That That I've just communicated to you like how I think it's wrong and you're like doubling down on I see how you think yo, it's wrong I'm a back you up girl sisterhood I'm a buy a t-shirt that says I want to make men cry <laughs> that's so disgusting this is the point I'm trying to get at is hatred of men is basically fully accepted in society dude that's shut up it's no I see it's what like, he's saying though like I see what you're saying with the whole hatred of men huh? thing but it's if, like Eric I'm not talking to you no I'm saying oh oh Okay. I see what you're saying with the hatred of men thing, but I'm like, like I don't know. In my, I just see it as like a silly T-shirt. If, if it's different for you, absolutely, like I get that. If it's a different like stance for you, and I see what you're saying with like the whole like race and like ethnicity group thing, mm. like I see that stance. But I don't know for, I don't know. But honestly, like I just see it as like a silly T-shirt. Like it's a brand that's in LA. Like yeah, what, and can what? I also say something? Respect people's feelings. So even if we don't intend something to come across a certain way, if it affects someone a certain way, aren't we supposed to? Okay, look, uh, let me just be blunt. For a lot of men, if they see something like that, if I see something like that, I assume that you hold contempt for men. That's my first impression. Whether that's true or not, you say it's a joke. However, like that's the impression a lot of men are going to get. They're going to think you're a raging feminist. You hate men. You have disdain for men. Do you? I guess I guess that's true. Like maybe like after this I like yeah, like I agree with what you were saying like how you were trying to explain from your situation on like how you might see this and like I think that's true also because I'm, you know, I'm obviously going to be biased in my own opinion, but like I think just talking about it, I think yeah, maybe maybe I should just not wear the shirt and take it down and burn it, you know, but like I, I get where you're coming from, though, you know, like, but that wasn't my intention. Like, my first thought was like, oh, like, that's a cute shirt. Like, I like it. Why not? It's cheap. And like, I apologize if that like, yeah, like rubbed I see off that the wrong way. Well, like, I didn't realize I'm, I'm the not, message like, it's, this puts out. I didn't realize, but. Well, it, it, I, I think it will turn men off first off if they see that. And I'm just kind of trying to point out like, the same shirt if a man wore it it just it would not fly you're right it like wouldn't. if i if i had that photo of me wearing a shirt saying i like to make women cry on a dating app one i'd probably get mass reported and banned from was it hinge or tinder i don't know which one was that on hinge it's also like the shirts that say like i heart milfs or like yo that's totally different sydney okay can i ask something really quick saying saying you love someone is different than saying I want to make them cry. Like, go ahead. Amanda, have any men said anything about that shirt on Hinge or do they usually reply to like something else? They usually under? like it. <laughs> okay. But what I do don't mean, know they if like it, it? they like, you know, on Hinge. The men, they want to sleep with you. Right. Congratulations. You've just met a man who's not trying to fuck you. Right. You're looking at him right now. Although I did you just, propose just try to, to propose. you. <laughs> I did propose to her. So, however, here's the thing, right. that, and this applies to all the women. 
men will overlook certain things you say because they don't want to potentially impact their chance of sleeping with you. Men will overlook a lot. Like if you, if you sh put out a certain term, they're not going to check you. So, and men will, and you guys probably agree with this following statement. Men will lie to sleep with you. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So a lot of men, they're not going to start off a conversation how I've just started off with you, <laughs> where I'm like, I'm grilling you right now, right? I'm grilling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm doing this, like, my recommendation to you is honestly, I wouldn't wear, <laughs> I wouldn't wear the shirt again. That'd, I see where you're coming from. That'd be my from. recommendation. I, I see where you're coming from, honestly. You know? So, um, yeah. I, hey, I'll burn it. I'll burn it for you if you want. Bring it. I can bring it. You want, I can you bring want it. to you do round it. two? Yeah. You'll bring it. We'll burn the shirt. We'll burn it. Yeah, Yo, I get it. Like, I've done I'm, one good thing in this you know. <laughs> world. You'll bring the shirt. We'll burn it on I'll the show. I'll bring the shirt. We'll burn it. The, the viewers you know. will love it. Okay. Like, I, I, yeah, I mean, I guess you could just call me young, you know, and I'm still, like, not thinking no, about I, it. And I could see the message it can portray as, but. Yeah, and, and I, I want to commend you for being open-minded to my feedback and criticism and that you are open to what i mean whether it's just you're placating me or not that you're open to uh because i don't think like one thing i dislike in this uh political climate is if someone says the one wrong thing or they do make one mistake that there's no redemption i think people should have an opportunity if they do something wrong that Hey, where's, where's forgiveness? Where's, how do we move forward? Because if we just, someone says one thing bad one time, should they be expelled from society and not cancel, like lose their job and all this stuff? No, I think uh, if someone puts in an effort to attempt to correct something then, and it seems like perhaps it, and I, and I don't think it's necessarily your fault because there is 100% a, a narrative in society that, especially, I mean, you're in college, uh, that, I mean, we're, I don't want to dive too deep into like all the feminist stuff, but basically like to some degree in society, contempt and hatred towards men is more accepted and it's not checked. And, uh, and you see these narratives a lot and, uh, there's certain indoctrination that occurs in universities and in social media and, uh, in the, in the, uh, traditional media too. So, um, I, I, anyways, I'm, let's continue <laughs> back to the dating app. Go ahead, Eric. And then guys, get your last minute super chats in. We're going to wrap here pretty soon. Eric, how long has that been up? Did he send that twice? Anyways, whatever. Okay. Uh, all right, next. All right, Amanda, she likes Red Bull sleeping for hours in random positions. I'm jealous of you, Amanda. Um, okay. Uh, sleeping for hours in random positions. Like, what's sleep a random well, position? Sleep so weird. Yeah, just I just like. I just fall asleep really weird. And like everyone, like our roommates, they like to take pictures of me. Like, <laughs> and so I just funny. look like a broken rag doll in like every picture. So. Okay. Yeah. Next one, Eric. That's it. Really? No, there's got to be more. Really? Okay. W was that it, or were there more? No, I think oh. there was more, but... Did... Where are they? Here, let me do some... Uh, oh, okay. Yep, next. Okay, next. Oh, that's a cute it's one. Cute. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Um, by the way, and I... Um, whatever, okay. We have... Uh, let's see. Yo, Mike Davis, the only reason girls want to break up in person is so they can snatch one more meal on your dime. <laughs> um, I think this is directed towards you. Oh, I, we never finished on that. Yeah. Um, no, no. I actually, the same guy that I was like in a three month relationship with, I actually asked for closure. I'm the type of person that needs an answer so I can move oh. on, so. Oh, Pythera super chatted $50. Yo, at final 2K and Brian, I ain't sharing tram. I'm trying to massage her back until her skin sings songs that her lips don't even know the words to. 
Tram going to end up having me writing poetry about her beauty. Your response. I oh, appreciate the a compliment, even though it was kind of weird, but thank you. You don't like weird compliments? You're not a fan of weird compliments? Oh, not really. Tram, you have really nice clavicles. <laughs> Just thought you should know. Okay. They're like really thank you. dope. They're like sick. They're like sick, bro. And Martin okay. super Thanks, chatted bro. $50. No problem, bro. Amanda, have Maya wear the make boys cry shirt on the plane. I couldn't care less. Tara, please don't fight with Maya on the plane ride over. <laughs> Tram, you seem to be low key, so keep the peace. Yeah, he's flying you guys. Where did he say Texas? I think it was Texas. Yeah. Yes, we oh, was that same guy again? Texas, yeah, yes. it's that guy again. Mm. All right, we'll just keep it moving here with the uh, super chats here, but. Uh, He's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just send a text, guys. Two years, just a text. It's good. All right. Oh, super. Seven years, married. Mm -hmm. Text. Do it. Okay. Uh, Tomo J, thank you for the New Zealand. Can, should I do this in a New Zealand, a Kiwi accent? Um, <laughs> most girls wish they could get a guy. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck it. Okay. Who would do that and you want cuddling and the dude, a Marine, chat doesn't hate any of you. We want to help bet on him. What? This is for it. you. Oh, am I? I'm the dude, a Marine, chat doesn't hate Okay, moving on. Okay. Tomo, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Raul Perez Maya, thank you for the 20. Uh, here, let's uh, have um, let's have uh, T read this one. What are you... What are you doing is keeping him on the hook. The man is still holding. What the fuck is this? The man is still holding out hope that you can mend the relationship with each other, not doing him any favors by continuing to entertain him. So why do you keep him around? I'm not, though. Like, we already went over that. Like, I, I haven't sent anything back. All right. Flan Life, thank you for merci beaucoup pour le uh, Canadian 20. Appreciate it, man. Don't lead the man on while he's sending you letters and shit. Don't hook up with him anymore while he's clearly in love with you. Send a clear message to him. It's messed up. Your response. Um, like I said, like the hooking up was like a while ago. And then um, I, we already addressed this a couple times. I haven't been sending him anything. He's just keeps sending them at his own free will. And I can't do anything about that. So did this come through as a TTS? No, that's what I started. Yeah. Uh, yo, thank you for the uh, 5,800 yen. Uh, I, the TTS trigger is 50 USD, 50 US dollars. So How you'll have to do the. How much is that in US? Huh? How much is that? I have no idea. Okay. You're going to have to do the conversion. So if you wanted to come through as TTS, I know YouTube has like the preset numbers, but if you're on desktop, you can, you can adjust it. Uh, it's just the way Streamlabs works. It has to be the converted amount. I have a theory in my, actually here. Uh, Maya, can you read this? Sure. I have a theory in mind. Men's are the apple. There are bad and good apple. While women is snake, where she will feed on everything on the apple tree. Example, birds laying on the tree and will leave if there are no more prey. Hey, Nero. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right. Flynn Life, Canadian 25. Thank you, man. Merci beaucoup. Brian's weeb. Confirmed. <laughs> this was after the yeah. anime shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to put it back on, by the way? Oh, shit. You don't... I'm, okay. I uh, can. My, sorry, excuse me. Amanda, can you read this one? I'm 5'8". If a girl is taller than me, I know I have no chance. And with regards with Bumble, the basic openers are very common. Then I have to drive the combo. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of guys just know. I mean, for example, I've been on a date with a girl who was 6'2 and like she was like oh it's not a big deal I don't really care about height but like I just I don't know my experience has been my success rate with tall women is far lower than it is with women who are shorter than me so maybe it's just you know my um, pool has not been high enough but my determination has been like my success rate with taller women is much lower, so. And I have no problem dating a woman who's taller than me. No, no problem whatsoever. Hold on, let me wait until that goes away. Um, while we do that, while we wait till that passes, and I'll continue on with Soup Chats here. Controversial dating opinion. You went, right? I said mine. 
Tara, you said yours, right? Did you guys want to? I don't really have a controversial one. I sure. don't think that's totally yeah. fine if you don't I have any. I haven't thought of one. T Dizzle. I haven't T Dizzle. I know you guys, bro. You be slashing tires and shit. What's up? <laughs> um, controversial topic of relationship. Yo, I think I've got you figured out. What? What is it? You want a guy to be obsessed with you? Yes or confirm or deny? Confirm. Obsessed, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Okay. But, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna grill me or something. I could, should I? Oh, you know what? I saw one of your TikToks. Should we pull it up? Let's no. pull it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, pull it up, Eric. It's uh, one of your videos. <laughs> Let's pull up one of her TikToks. Yeah, go oh. for it. I don't understand why people get mad <clears throat> that you don't show up to things or you don't reply back in a timely manner. Like, I'm an adult. We should be having busy schedules. We should be living our lives and having a social life, balancing work, the gym, and all that should be hard enough as an adult. And I don't understand why people get so mad that you don't show up to their birthday or you like, you know, have all the time in the world to text and reply. <clears throat> um, like, what is there to be mad about? I don't understand. Sorry, I am not on my phone all day. Sorry that I can't like make time for you. Like there will always be a next time. Like, I don't understand what's a big deal. Yo, tram toxic. Toxic, toxic AF. Toxic, toxic AF. No, I don't think that's toxic. I'm not on my phone all day. I'm Come on, working. Yes, yes, I'm, I have a life. I, just because I, I'm not like you know texting you, or like you know. So did you have a situation where someone? To, did yeah. you have a situation there where someone got I've upset? Had, yeah, that are just sensitive, and I'm like I have to drop you because I'm just like, I don't know. I, I didn't show up to my friend's son's birthday, and she got mad. But then, I don't know. Just. I'm going through some shit too with my personal life and there are times when I just don't want to show up in public just like you know what what are you going through I mean I don't want to talk about that here okay well, maybe afterwards but sure yeah. we'll talk afterwards while you're giving me a back massage okay so <laughs> um does anyone have a reaction to the video thoughts no it's just you did I did I just put you on blast by the way did I was that am I abusing chat is that I don't know I think everything she said was like reasonable like especially as we grow up more like we're busy like stuff happens life happens life gets in the way like sure. it's not totally like unreasonable to be busy well I maybe and maybe this isn't what you meant because there it was slightly vague but for example like in a romantic sense let's say I'm texting a girl mm -hmm. and like and maybe you guys experience that this ex excuse me experience this with men where like they just don't answer or maybe you've heard of like people who will like this is this always bothers me but they'll say I replied in my head but I forgot to respond have you ever heard that Yeah. so like I, maybe that's the way I'm taking it or just like people are just really forgetful in terms of communication and you mentioned you said you're you're an adult you're very busy but I mean wouldn't you say that like someone who's an adult also they communicate with people that are trying to communicate with them you know mm -hmm. not that i don't communicate i do but if they're still mad then that's on them and what by the way i it doesn't really matter why what happened with the seat booster D I'm did i get it no but did i no no but it it was on the table. oh okay we should well it's obviously too late now but i mean okay um so let's see here uh, we have, uh, which one do we have? Did we do this one? We did not. The one. flowers one we didn't do yet, no. Huh? I thought. Yeah, we didn't do that one. We didn't, do, we the, didn't do this one? Go back. The flowers one we didn't do. Oh, this one. Yeah, we didn't do this one. Yo, Tom OJ, thank you for the uh, New Zealand 20. Appreciate it. Common fact, first flowers a man gets, I don't want yet because it's when he is. Oh, that you want, is this like a sentence completion? No, it's like when he's like. It's when he's dead. Yeah. He's yeah, dead. that's the first time. That is hauntingly sad. Okay. Dave Voth, Canadian, $20. Yeah, the first time a guy will ever get flowers is when he's dead. Since you've identified the girl who's your type, maybe you should close it with a whiff of her armpit, Murloc sound. Um, here, I got you. 
Um, <laughs> I mean, first off, that was an OnlyFans girl who paid me five hundred dollars because she smelled and she she wanted me to smell her. So, um, uh, <clears throat> I mean, do any of you want to drop five hundred? I guess no. T T Dizzle. Okay. All right. Is that how much you made mm -mm. last time? Yeah, she paid, me, she paid me 500 to smell her. Oh, she she had a certain cool. scent. I'll... <laughs> Yo, uh, 20, you're, uh, wait, this is, no, this is pounds, excuse me, British pounds, thank you. Uh, Tara, why don't you read this one? What a treat to wake up to here in the UK, Brian. Ooh, ooh. I left a six-figure corporate job ooh, to be a stay-at-home oh. fiancé slash dog mom and take care of my man. What does the girls think take care of entails? And would they do it? Please ignore the cringe accent. Take care of my man. Um, sure. We'll go around the table really quick. Go ahead. I imagine that just means like taking care of the house, um, making sure he like eats. Um, I don't know what else, but just 50s housewife shit. I don't know. Okay. That kind of thing. Sure. I'm not really understanding the question. Or is it a comment? What, what, what does it mean to you to take care of your man? Take care financially or like emotionally or everything? Well, she was saying because she's like a stay-at-home like dog mom or something. Um, so I'm assuming that means like he's taking care of like financials. But. Okay, so like emotionally I would take care in a way that I will make you feel like you're coming to a home every day. And you, I'm bringing you peace, love, and joy and just a stress-free, you know vibe I guess okay yeah just be able to take my husband emotionally mentally physically you know like just be there for him and make sure that like when he comes back home that he's like you know able to like relax if I'm like the one staying at home if this were if this were the example yeah kind of on the same ballpark the only thing I would add is Using that time to also take care of myself, so making sure I'm healthy, fit, looking nice, and praying and meditating for our mutual peace and joy. Okay, good times. All right, so um, let's see here. We have just a few more super chats before we do that. So nobody else had a controversial dating take that they wanted to share, is that correct? All right, so let's talk briefly about body count and wrap up the show. Should body count matter, yes or no? Are we talking about both ways or just for guys saying, oh, your body count matters, but mine doesn't? Because that seems to be the typical like, way that it is. Sure, we'll, put it, we'll take it that way. We'll say, well, let's not assume that the guy necessarily has a high body count, but let's just say men's caring of a woman's body count do you object to that i think it's dumb both ways like i don't understand why that would matter like i know this one guy that has like he went from 50 to 70 bodies in the span of like a month and like he's he like tries to shame other girls for it and i'm like for having like six and i'm like what like that doesn't make any sense so i think it's just silly to do it either way like i don't really think it's a big deal and I don't think people should be tripping about it as much as they do. Um. Posture check. Sorry. There you go. Thank you. Um, um, I think. One eternity later. Oh, okay. I think he has every right to like ask and know, but um, does it matter? I, it sh I think it does matter, and but then again, it doesn't. So it's like kind, kind of fifty-fifty, I guess. But I, I understand like from a guy's perspective why it does matter, cause he doesn't want to be like talking or being with a girl that's like tossed around and like you know, fucked his friends before you, and that's that's embarrassing. So I get that. So I would lean more towards the yes, it does matter. I mean, if it matters to my significant other, then it matters to me, I'd say. No, as long as you're, like, safe and clean and healthy. I would say that your body count and sexual behavior in general is just a good reflection of your 
dating intentions. So if you're looking for someone who, because you want to be in a relationship and you want someone who wants to be in a relationship and would be a good partner, then it would matter. But if you're not looking for that, then I guess it probably wouldn't matter to you. So body count should matter, should matter. What do you think? Oh, I think body count matters 100%. 100%. But you don't, correct? I just, I just, I don't care about a lot of things. So sure. it's just like, I just, you don't, just one more thing. That it's just you like, don't it care doesn't about. seem like a big deal. Okay, so if body count doesn't matter, what's your body count? Oh, that's like personal though. Okay. T? I plead the fifth. You plead the fifth? Mm -hmm. All right, she's committed crimes. Okay, what about you? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying my body count. I never share mine. Tara? I will not be sharing it, but I have shared it on the past on the podcast. So if you really want to know it, you got to go increase uh, gotta, the views of his uh, previous okay. videos and figure out which one it is. Do you, know, do you know which number that one is? No, they have to go watch every single oh, one every of your videos to figure out which in. one. I, I see there the. Okay, all right. But I mean, if body count doesn't matter, shouldn't you just be comfortable sharing body count? Not on the internet oh. where my future employers can see it. I don't think your future employers care about. You never know. You never know. They might be they big fans. Care. They might be big fans. No, well, whether they see it or not, I, employers don't care about I don't want your my sex dad, life. I don't want my dad to stream <laughs> My <this>. employers <laughs> found the podcast and said something to me at one point. Your employer found the podcast? Yeah. yeah. Who, no who? joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. What? Yeah. What's your body count, Brian? <laughs> I'm a man of God. I do not reveal my body count. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's see how it is. How about this? Why don't you guess? Wait. That's a good I want Amanda to go first. You want me to guess first? Yep. How old are you? 33. 33. Yep. Really? Thank you. I know my skin. <laughs> I got a little eczema, you know. What's up? Eczema gang, we up. Okay. Um... I'll guess four. Four, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I barely know oh, you. I, I, I'm a man of God. I don't reveal my body count. Um, what about you? Are you gonna tell us? Don't Are you gonna tell? Can you tell us who's the closest? Mm, don't worry about it. Go ahead and guess. I don't know. Um, like twelve. Hmm. Okay. What about you? I would guess fifteen. Okay, Sydney. Like 12 to 7. 7. 7. I say 7. T Dizzle. Oh, wait. That's her name. That's, this is T Dizzle. I would no. also get my, my original guess is maybe 13. Hmm. Ah, How old are, are we again? close? Are those, we like in the those ballpark? Are, those are all some wonderful guesses. <laughs> However, I can neither confirm nor deny any of your guesses. Boo. You made us guess for no reason. Come on. If yep. I said mine, would you say yours? What about you guess ours? Yep. No. Oh, I like oh, that. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like that. Wait, I'm not going to say yeah, anything. That's a good one. I'm oh, not you're not going to say? say? No. All right, Tara. Yeah, you should go around and guess. I, I don't even remember. You said it before. I'm, you were probably capping, though. 11, 20, 15, 70. 70? 70. Oh, I got 22. Oh, I don't. What? Uh, 30. <laughs> Am I close? I just made a little stoic face. I'm not confirming nor Multiple denying by anything. Three and that's the real number. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. No, 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 no. That's literally insane. Literally. I mean, you also did, like I'm 18. Like, Bruh. how do I have time to? Come on. Okay, let me ask this question. Do you know any girlfriends? Like, maybe you have an 18, 19 year old girlfriend. She's got a pretty high body count. We're talking 20, 30, 40. Honestly, no. Really? No. Come on. Not that I know. Like, my friends, I haven't. But even if they did, like, I wouldn't judge them for that. Like, that's their business. And Tara, yeah. what about you? What was the question? Do you know any girls that have really high body counts? Um, honestly, I don't think girls... I, I, I haven't talked about body count numbers that often with girlfriends. But I have talked about it with, like, my closest ones. Um... But I wouldn't say any, honestly, were, like, higher than 15. Like, that was, like, probably the highest. 
mm-hmm. I would say. And that's for people oh, like 22. Okay. So, okay. yeah, no, not that. Cr- I mean, I'm sure they're out there. I just like of the types of girls that I'm close enough with that we would talk about that. None of them happen to be that type. How about this? You don't have to give a number, but can you give us a range? Like less than five? Way less than 70 for sure. <laughs> 10 to 20? Yeah. I'm not going to 10 to 20? Anything. Less than five? Less than five. Yep. <laughs> less than three? Not saying more. Okay, it's four and a half. <laughs> All right. Okay, so four let's finish up these soup chests, then we're going to wrap here. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, t- t- oh, wait, no, this one, my bad. Keegan Bichel. I miss. <laughs> Guys, take a guess at how he pronounces his last name. Bichel. 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 Uh-huh. Bichel. Because I accidentally called him Bitchell. Bitchell. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Keegan. I'm very sorry. Um, the Wallabies are my favorite rugby team. Actually, wait, are they? Actually, I, you know, yo, Keegan, do you know Quade Cooper? Fucking Chad legend, rugby player. Um, anyways, thank you for the Australian 31, man. Appreciate it. Much, much love to you. Oh, my God. I'm being ridiculous. Okay. Brian, you've sent guys nudes. Sydney Sloan growing on me, the rest of the girls. Definitely have an interesting perspective. Wish we had girls with an open outlook like Tara in Aussie. No, thank you. No, no thank no you. No acknowledgement. Thank you to everyone no who's shouting me out in the comments. We appreciate your support. Yo, Pharaoh, thank you for the 20. Brian, nah, homie. Tram and I got plans. You're going to be on a flight to Texas. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't give up, huh? He is persistent. I like, I like that yeah. you're persistent. I'll give you that. I like does, the does, he need, does he need more persistence, don't, you think? Don't guess. A, a little more persistence? Don't guess it, bro. Don't, don't, don't drag it on. Don't. Don't drag this on. Mm-hmm. All right. Keegan Bichel, merci beaucoup for the Australian 31. I take back my sick <laughs> Sydney statement. Sydney, your response. I mean, fair enough, man. Like, <laughs> I was heated for a minute, so... Whatever floats your boat, but thanks for spelling my name right, at least. <laughs> uh, let's see. Amanda, can you read this one? Is it is your vision, is it hard to read? Uh, it's just like the microphones are in the way. Oh, okay. Like. Let's, have, uh, let's have Maya do it. Go ahead. Tram, come take a flight. Oh, wait. To- sorry. Let's Tram do it, just since it's... Okay. Go ahead. Want me to read it? Yeah. Tram, come take this flight to Ohio. We can hit Neiman's. Don't just drink the water. Also, Maya, I've been saying the same thing about Helen Keller. There's many Thank quotes you. about her talking about the colors. See? She's a fucking liar. She's a wow. fucking liar. I, don't, I literally don't give a fuck what anyone says. Helen Keller was a liar. She lied about everything. Would you... Uh, if you... If, oh, hold on. M. Martin super chatted Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Your beauty and virtue are what men value you for. The more partners a woman has, the less she values herself. Wealthy people stay wealthy because they don't aimlessly give their wealth away to just anyone. Yo, Martin, thank you for the soup chat. Um, if Helen Keller was here right now, what would you I do would to her? I would slam her on this table and beat her to death. Maybe not to death, but I would beat her ass because for being a liar. You'd she was whoop, a liar. Whoop, I would whoop her ass a thousand percent. No yo, hesitation. Helen I Ke- hate Helen Keller. Helen Keller's pretty scrappy. She might fucking... I wish, I really wish that I could bring her back so I could fucking kick her ass. Like, I hate Helen Keller. I, I genuinely you, hate Helen have Keller. Have you talked to your therapist hmm. about this? Yes, actually I have. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but it's also concerning. <sighs> There's plenty of other concerning things about me. Don't you worry, Ooh, Brian. let's. Don't you didn't. Worry. I feel like you didn't reveal... I was hoping you'd reveal some concerning things about you. There's Good. a lot of concerns. <laughs> There's a lot, but I feel like the methamphetamine use. No, 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 oh, no, 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 not that. that. Nothing the like other that. heroin. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Give no, us I, one. I don't do drugs other than give us one. Weed. That's it. That's only. What you got? Give us one thing. Oh like, shit. Uh oh. Okay, keep going. Like you want me to. Do what? Like, say something. Like what? David Saved Mouse, by the bell. He super chatted 68 Canadian dollars. Hey. Absolutely, body count matters. I was 18 when I met my LW. I was still a virgin, and she had one before me. I always wished she was a virgin like me. If she had a higher body count, I would not have been with her. Your response. By the way, you're one off from 69. I know. <laughs> you were so close, David. The Canadian 69. Okay. I think that 
especially with like our generation more so like tinder oh tinder's definitely guilty of this like hookup culture is definitely a lot more normalized now so i i guess it's kind of makes sense that someone that's you know been i don't know how old that person was but like people in their 30s 40s like they're like like a high body count is like super like bizarre to them Hmm. so i I guess it, it makes sense that like some people don't get it but i just feel like in our generation like it's so much more normalized to have just a high body cul- count just hook up culture in general and That's then true. hook up culture Although, entails higher body counts for people and then it's just like <clears throat> i mean people were fucking back in the day you know but that's true that's true <laughs> but um it just like dating apps like tinder and hinge like it just makes it so much easier and a lot more yeah. accessible and sliding in dms like mm-hmm. they need an app for like cuddling that'd be great <laughs> that'd be what? so great i'm just uh, what, the... what the fuck is a thought it's up there um the, you know what's interesting? The, the conversation about body count, like, just show of hands. Who here thinks hookup culture is bad? That's not a very enthusiastic hand raise. I think but. it's like, mm, I don't want to say like necessarily bad, but it's not like, I don't know. I feel like people should just do what, whatever you want to do, but it's it's definitely in recent years because of these dating apps just gotten a lot like not worse and the worst isn't the word that i'm looking for but you, here's maybe another question do you think people men and women are happy with hookup culture mm, they might be having a good time but i don't necessarily think that reflects whether or not they're happy with themselves or not i think the top like yeah like you're saying like the top like five percent of men who have access to hookup culture are probably living an absolute dream such easy sex all the time like with beautiful girls who like the thought of beautiful girls in isla vista who would oh my God, honestly so have so many hot girls sex very easily to a guy in that top bracket i mean that i mean that's like that's pretty it's pretty great for them but yeah i but i'm pretty i'm pretty um passionate about the fact that i think it's it's da- hookup culture is damaging for probably nine, 95 percent of women yeah i definitely think it's more damaging to women than it is to men like like she said and i totally agree men are having a fucking heyday with this so yeah i agree that's yeah. why i was i'm I'm literally, I've been considering deleting the apps. But wait, aren't you dating two guys right now? I'm not dating dating them. Oh, sorry, sleeping. (laughs) Excuse me, sleeping with two guys right now. We're just talking. It's not like it's like every single week or anything. And it's not like superficial where we don't talk or anything. Like we talk, like we talk about like our family and like what's going on with our lives. Like, oh, like what you been up to? Like, it's not anything like that, you know? Can I ask you guys, why do... So, do any of you guys, would you guys, any of you guys say you engage in hookup culture? Yeah. Mm, I think hookup culture, depending on the person, can be a good thing. Just because, like, I feel like some, I feel like women, I feel like it can be very powerful for women to be able to branch out and kind of, like, explore themselves in a way. Just Haram! Like, well, I mean, when I, you, hold I on, don't take hold on, one sec, one sec. It, but when you say branch, what, what did you say, branch out and explore? Is that what you said? Yeah, I think, like, as women, like, especially... No, no like, but just what did you say? Explore like and branch bran- out? Branch out and explore. And okay, just kind of, when you say explore and branch out, do you mean get run through by a bunch of dudes? No. Let me define what I'm talking about oh, as hookup culture, just so I we can all be on the same answer. page. Go ahead, you're good. So like when what I when I mean hookup culture, what I'm like specifically wearing, referring to is casual sex with members of the opposite sex or members of whatever whatever thing you're attract, like partner you're attracted to, um, without the without going on a formal date. How would I just say that? Like casual sex that you have yeah. that doesn't involve a formal date. And do you engage in that or not? And if you do, I want to know like why you do, like what you feel like you benefit from it. I would just add to that. You can still be hooking up someone and have a casual sex with them. Even if you've gone on a formal date, like you could go on one formal date and then fuck them that night. That's still 
hookup culture, I would say. There's an extra step involved, but I mean, obviously, yeah, there's, sure. there's like I, come but over. I was just bringing it to like the most baseline level sure. because even that is by far the vast majority of like sexual sure, encounters sure. In, okay. in college at least. So, okay, if you guys want to answer a question. What was the second part of the question? Like, why it do was I do just, it? Or? Yeah, yeah. What do you feel like you gain from it? If you're um, assuming that you're gaining from it, otherwise, why would you do it? I mean, obviously, I'm not, like, going to, like, all these, like, hundreds of men. Like, no, no, no. It's, like, a select few. But um, I don't know. I don't really have a problem with... And like I said earlier, like, there was that one guy that it was literally just strictly casual. Like, there was no... Like, we, we've never went on a date. Like, it was, it was just casual hangouts and it was like it was consistent it was good like why would I like why would I not like there's I just really want to narrow down so it was because it was for consistent good yeah sexual intercourse yeah and you like were sexually pleased during those because if you weren't then it wasn't and you can't say it was it was good so because I don't know not to out him but did I ever finish no but mm, I have okay, so 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 let me ask. So you're engaging in something that you you we already agreed earlier that all of us agree that hookup culture is bad. So you're engaging in something that you agree is yeah. bad, and you're not even like that. You're not even. I'm having a good time still. So I just having, didn't. Okay. So I mean, it's still like for I think for women, getting attention from a really attractive guy, even if they don't climb it, well. <laughs> Well, that's an L for you then. <laughs> okay, um, so that's what I'm getting at, though. Is I'm just, tr- I just want, I just like want, I just want to like, I just think it's helpful to acknowledge the real reasons you're behaving in any sort of way, no matter what it is for like any person. So I just wasn't sure if you were like fully knew why you were doing this, and if you did know what it was, because I you wanted thought it to. was good for you. Like that's it. Like just, I wanted to have sex. I had sex with the same person for like. How many months was it? Does someone else want to answer? Like, do you want to come in? Um, not really. No. I mean, I think it can be good. Okay, um, just so one question kind of related to Tara's thing. Um, has a guy ever been able to make you climax, Tara? Um, yes. Mm. No. Never? Mm-mm. Never? Yes. Wait, never, okay. never. See, this is what I am getting at, is I feel like young girls are told the lie. It's empowering to have casual sex with men. Tell me where, maybe that's true. Like, you know, I agree with Sydney here. Like, what I was talking about earlier, I think there's a, like, a percentage of women who really, really enjoy sex and just enjoy sexual pleasure and being able to get it easily is like, it adds a lot to their life. But I feel like if young girls are told this, this I believe largely a lie that it's empowering to have casual sex when they're not even coming with men tell me how like does that I just don't follow that how think- it's empowering to have sex and to have like a lot of casual sex when you're not even coming well is it that any- is confused so there must be something else there there, well oh, then, it's not the I sex. don't think it's You're not coming. You go ahead. Well, is it? I mean, I'm not sure if it's any more or less empowering whether she climaxes. Right. Yeah, so, like, would you judge a good, guy like, if he didn't make you climax? Then. Well, I'm not sure if that's. Well, well, it's just like I don't. Why is the? So how I look at it is, as like so I'm 22, right? When I was in like grade school, we were told we have a dress code. Don't show our shoulders. Don't do this. Don't do this. Like, what does we that told- have to do with anything? Okay, wait, just wait. I, no, but I'm just like, and I do want to apologize. We are running late. I do want to try to end this within 10 minutes. So that's cool. We can be done then. I'm, I'm, you, I'm chilling. I was just saying, no, no, like, no, I think but, it's empowering for women to, for anyone to go through like a little bit of a hookup culture to try and like explore your options, like find out what you like. Like, I think it's like. I think it's good because I know that that's how you like find out what you like. That's how you find out what you don't like. Place Send the asteroid. Do you need sex to find out what you like? No, I'm not saying you do, but I'm saying. But that I'm I defining hookup culture as casual sex. Okay, well, I'm saying for some people though, I think it's good because I mean, as women, like I don't know, for everybody, like we were just taught like a lot as women to like kind of like cover up, and I think it can be very freeing and very empowering for some people. Personally, me, like I'm celibate right now. Like I'm not doing the whole hookup culture thing. I've been celibate for like, two cow. months. Wait, how long? Two months. How about you? I'm going on like four. Nice. And I want to do like a year. So. What about you, Tara? How long have you been celibate? I'm 
talking to someone. So, so this afternoon? What? Was it? Did you hug the, um, I'm not going to comment okay. on her. What about you? Last time you hooked up? Um, no comment. Okay, this afternoon. What about you? Uh, like last week. So yesterday? No, it was last week. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, granted, I've also been texting this guy for like a while too. So You've been celibate for two months? Yes. I learned a lot, to be honest. You what? I learned a lot. You learned a lot? Yeah. Wait, you, so you're no longer celibate? I'm celi- I've been celibate for two oh, months. Oh, so you're, you're still on the two months track. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, so you two said that the guys never made you come? No. Really? Yeah. Rip. RIP in the chat. Um, but ba- like, wait. I. Oh, go ahead. But like, I also agree with Sydney on like, and like, obviously, this can be taken like a lot of ways, like how you see it too. But like, I also see it as a way of exploring. And like, I'm not trying to like, I'm not stringing like 500 guys behind me. I'm not like leading them on. I'm like, hey, we're going to go hang out this Friday. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, I am picking and choosing like, who I'm like interested in and like who I'm compatible with and like okay maybe it might turn into sex but like as long as it's mutual and both of us aren't like getting hurt and both of us like are at the same page about something like then I think it's okay but like obviously like the overall example of like hookup culture is bad like I agree with that I do but like I'm 18 I'm still exploring what I like and don't like and like I still don't know like Sure, like I haven't even climaxed yet. Like, no, I, I s- and I don't think that that we're not like trying to shame you by that. It, um, yeah, well, I, with, with the whole climax thing, um, and I, I shoot, getting tongue tied here. It's late. We will wrap in about five ten minutes, guys. I appreciate your patience. We have gone late, so a lot of women do report that they have difficulty climaxing with a partner, um, and I'm just curious. So, like, are you able to? And if if you don't want to answer, that's totally fine. But are you able to climax by yourself? Yeah. Still experimenting. So. So no. Wait, you've, <laughs> wait, you've never. Like I have, but like personally, and like I know like a lot of other friends, like they personally can't like climax by themselves just because yeah. they're too aware, you know, like I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's all I got to say. Yeah. Well, I, I think, um, I mean, on one hand, like, there's definitely women out there that it's they struggle to climax with a partner, but um, some women like they just struggle to climax. Period. But um, yeah, okay. So the guys just be fucking up. T. I think so. Yeah. But like, have I they guess. at least a guy? I'm sure guys like given it a solid effort. M. Martin super chatted fifty dollars. Ladies, you don't realize the neurological and emotional damage occurring during these hookups. The weight of this fun, wolf and sheep's clothing is going to haunt you and her future long-term relationships. Feminism has lied to you. Permanent dissatisfaction. Martin, dropping some bombs there. Okay, do you guys agree, disagree? I'm kind of curious if Martin's married, and if not, when was last time he hooked up? Okay, um, so uh, have have has a guy tried? Yeah, he's tried, but no luck. No. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. Toys? Have I'm you tried? Honest, have yeah. you tried toys? That's fucked. Have yeah, you tried toys? On myself? No, with a with a guy. Yeah. That doesn't work. That works. Or do but you, that, doesn't that doesn't count. count. That's oh, that's not him. Yeah. No. That's... What about with it? Okay, like hands? Not even then. No, I could do myself better, to be honest. Wait, so, okay. In any case, whatever. Um, so. What? Huh? What? What happened? Oh, wait. What do you mean? No, never mind. Oh, no. I was just. I was gonna just move on here. Okay, so we have uh, Eric. Can you pull up the Streamlabs donations? I just need to read these. We have a few more super chats, and then we're gonna wrap. Uh, Noah donated 20, 6'3 here, 6'4. Uh, we'll do the first one if you go up to the very top. Can you hit that X at the very top of that thing? Yeah, just close that out. 6'3 here, 6'4 depends on the gas station I walk through. Anyways, all this t- all this talk about women liking men who are six foot and taller is a nice outside confidence boost, but they are nowhere to be found. Great show. Would love get on it and speak my mind. Hey, Noah, thank you for the 20, man. 
uh, so we've get we've been getting a lot of requests from men to be on the show. So uh, it's kind of a list at the moment. But if you want, DM out whatever on Instagram. Yo, cheeks. Uh, if you want to scroll down, Eric for cheeks is one. Uh, we have women's unrealistic standards are praised praised upon whereas us men me in particular get shit on for our four standards example me not fat obese have great dental hygiene nice and submissive men can't be chivalrous to modern women due to their entitled behavior okay do you guys have a response to cheeks that sounds like no okay let's keep it moving on here uh did i read this one flan life thank you man brian sent her to the shadow realm repent now apparently <clears throat> excuse me uh amanda apparently i sent you to the shadow realm Hmm? Hmm, eight, my thoughts exactly. All right, we have uh, Lawrence Bullock. Thank you for the 20, man. Ask each guest, are they a misandrist? Because are giving the vibe they are. I mean, so misandrist, do you know what a misogynist is? Misandrist is just like you just hate men totally, Yes. Right? Okay, yeah. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Martin, dude, In thank you, Martin man. Martin super chatted $100. I'm in a long-term relationship with a beautiful woman 12 years my junior. An actual nine. I also have led Resia groups for a think tank and Tennessee study all manners of anthropology and human behavior. I have several studies published by journals and even Forbes. Oh, wow. Impressive, Martin. Hey, thank you so much for the... Uh... Very nice. Okay. Nice, man. Cool, cool, cool. Appreciate it. The uh... big... Was that... A... It was a $100 soup chat, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, dude, Martin. Thank you so much, man. You've been really supportive throughout the whole show. Um, your patronage, like you've been here, I don't know, for a while. I see you every show, man, supporting. So thank you so much, man. Um, do you guys consider yourselves misandrist? No. What does that mean? Like you just man hater. Hate you men. hate men. No, I love men. No. I look good, man. <laughs> all right, Flan Life Canadian 20. Thank you, man. Uh, can we all say, read a passage from the good? Did someone gift Eric? Do you know how many gifted this was? Was it Flan Life who gifted? Uh, Flan Life gifted 20. Was it Flan? Do you know if it was Flan Life who gifted it? Oh, uh, yeah. It was Flan Life, yeah? yeah? Yo, Andrew, thank you so much, man. Appreciate the support. All right, we have, uh, let's see here. We got, uh, yo, Canadian 20. Thank you, man. Can we all say read a passage from the good book, please? This passage is from the Gospel of Future, chapter 1, verses 3 to 4. Uh, is that like Future the Rapper? <laughs> Merci beaucoup for the Canadian 20 man. From the streets did she emerge, and to the streets she will return. And I say unto you, she is for the streets. She belongs to the streets. So be not weary when she must return to whence doth she came. Amen. Can I get an amen? No, what the fuck, guys? Come on. He's not very religious. Amen. All right. Uh, haram, hold on. Haram! All right, we have, uh, let's see. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right. Yo, Keegan B. Shell. Australian 30. Thank you, man. Quaid is the GOAT. Very good rugby player. I thought you said you love the All Blacks. Sydney is a city in Australia. Would be pretty sad if I got it wrong. Uh, yeah, All Blacks are cool, but they're kind of like, uh, I feel like Australian team's the underdog. So the All Blacks, are like the rugby is the pretty much the national sport of New Zealand. It's not soccer. It's not football. Well, football is really the only sport for, uh, I think in Canada, they, they play football, but I don't know if it's, no, it's hockey for Canada, my bad. The U.S., it's football. Rugby is the major sport for NZ, so obviously it's like really big in NZ. Big in Australia too, but it's not the, I think, uh, what is the primary sport in Australia? Is it? Is it uh, Australian football? Anyways, thank you, man. Keegan, much appreciated. Quade Cooper, he, I, there's a, oh, what is it? He has the razzle dazzle. All right, Flan Life Canadian, low key. There are sites dedicated to finding someone to cuddle with in Japan. Yo, passport bros, we up. Thank you, man. All right, that's it for the soup chats. So, okay. Um, final thoughts before I wrap up the show. If anyone has a final thought they'd like to add before we wrap up, anybody speak now or forever hold your peace and info thank you for the uh twitch sub appreciate it anybody final thought tara sydney amanda dog no oh the only thing i want to say is that there was one super chat where um they said 
the chat isn't out to get you. We just want to help or something. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I would, I would, I believe, I believe that's true. I like to think that like the audience isn't just, and like, especially those who comment, isn't just like enjoying shooting down women and like making fun of them and their comments or whatever. I do like to think that it's because they want the people that are on to be happy and get what they want from the opposite sex. So in that regards, it that entails like behaving and living a certain way. Word, word. Although sometimes they're not always the most Yeah, sometimes though, you guys are just mean, but it's funny. About it. So. Okay. Last speak now, forever hold your peace. All right, yo. Whew, long show, guys. We went long. I think I'm going to have to do some adjustments when it comes to the uh, TTS and the Super Chats. Um, I, I want to, obviously, I don't want to come off like I'm trying to be greedy, but I, the Super Chats, and I, I really appreciate it. I don't want you guys to think that I'm uh, unappreciative of your patronage and support because I absolutely am. However, uh, and I think a lot of you in the chat will agree with me that the super chats do extend the show quite a bit. So I, I want everyone to have a voice and be able to super chat, but I might have to boost the minimum for the read and for the TTS. So um, I hope that doesn't come off like bad guys. I obviously like I'm super appreciative of, that you guys want to financially support the show and of your patronage but i i also understand that there's some criticisms from the chat uh and also like the the length of the shows is getting a bit long so i need to really and if anyone wants to leave a comment and say hey here's brian here's how you should deal with it i'm open to your feedback in the chat or in the comments guys so um a guy's never really made you come really shit god damn okay um nope Toys? Have you thought about toys? Using toys, toys don't count. I meant like... No, I, well, I was talking to uh, oh, sorry. Amanda. Um, I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> do you, do you want to get married still? Yeah. yeah Wait, course. really? Oh, I've oh, been... oh. I no. thought you meant in general. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I'm proposing. Again. Again? Yeah, because you turned me down before, but I'm persistent. I still don't know you. I don't know where I've you're from. I've been toxic for like five hours. You know me pretty well by now. <laughs> I guess. I've been obnoxious and toxic. <laughs> I'm, I thought you got engaged to a different girl. We're, baby, we're done. Babe, babe, me and her, it's over. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. You could have been doing anything else, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chatted and supports the show. It means the world, especially since YouTube and TikTok has us demonetized. Thank you to all our chat mods. Thank you to Chaz. Thank you to the wonderful panel. Um, I thank you for your patience while we did go quite late tonight. I, uh, I appreciate you guys sticking it through the whole show. And guys, we will be live again Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. I hope you guys have a good night or good morning if you're tuning in from other parts of the world. We'll see you next time. Have a good night, guys.